Hi guys, and welcome to the intro for this new long play. This is Mystery of the Druids, an old point and click game that's very, very bad, and we hope that you enjoy our playthrough with it. Just want to do a few shout outs to start things off. Shout out to our Patreon supporter, Grunt Life. Thank you so much, Grunt Life, for the continued support. You are oh so numb, right, Krizen? Oh so numb. So numb. And we'd also like to shout out Paul, Paul Calhoun. Paul has a book that we have done some voice acting for the audiobook version of. If you want to check out the book, the link is in the description. You definitely should go and do that because that sounds so numb. Right, baby? So numb. So numb. And finally, I want to shout out our wonderful producer, Alice, as well. Thank you so much, Alice, for being there for us and helping us out so much. You are truly an amazing Nomkin. Her links are on screen right now. Show the Nomkin some love. And we hope you enjoy, question mark. Not sure that's the right word. Mystery of the Druids. Here is the full long play. Sit back and relax. You're a blockhead, Lowry. How could you let such a thing happen? The man was innocent. What do you think the press are going to say about all this? Now get out of here! Get the hell out of my sight! And if I have any more trouble with you, you'll be dishing out parking tickets before long. And that's a promise, Lowry! And here's my good friend Halligan, another one of the invaluable detectives of our glorious murder squad. Don't just stand there gaping, come in. I'm glad you could make it. After all, you're a busy man, aren't you? Now look here, Detective Halligan. I've got used to being surrounded by a bunch of incompetent, half-baked blockheads. But your smart, well-dressed colleague Lowry has just earned himself the golden badge of stupidity. <laughs> Halligan, we've got a bit of a problem. We've had an innocent man locked up in jail. 
Regrettably, he was killed in prison before we could correct our mistake. Unfortunate affair. And now we've got this lunatic killer running around all over London. We have to make sure that at least this oversight is put right. Your clear-up rate so far ought to be sufficient evidence that there's no point in asking you to clear up anything more than a common bicycle theft. But this does happen to be the murder squad. I am the chief of this department. All I have for choice is that blockhead Lowry, you. <laughs> oh my okay, God. chief. What do you want me to do? All right. Let's see so, if this, hey, this subtitles. Hey, yo. Hello, Hello everyone. Hey yo everyone. This is Mystery of the Druids, which you guys unfortunately voted for and has been an absolute disaster so far just to get working. Um, so are you ready, baby, to delve into the world of being a top murder detective? Sure, why not? So, just to summarise, because Chrism couldn't hear the FMV sequences. See, Chrism is not going to be able to hear pretty much anything, because we but can't that's fine. Sound. Because I am just going to watch this as a silent 1920s movie with the man on the prowl for something, don't know what yet. Ba and I'm just going to make up my own head story for this entire series. <laughs> and that's just what we're going to do, and it's going to be lovely. I'm going to tell you, we arrested the wrong person, they got murdered in jail, and now we have to find the real murderer and our department's in shit, okay? That's lovely. But I don't want you to have to constantly repeat it because I worry that the Numkins might be annoyed by I mean, that. I don't think there's going to be that many FMVs anyway, so I think it'll be alright. <laughs> um, anyway, what else was I going to say? The reason Chris and can't hear it, guys, the reason this is going to be a bit of a jank recording is this is some weird engine that isn't recognised by any capture programs or any modern software whatsoever, and it's just a disaster. Okay? We're going to jump in now. Let's find out what we can do. What did our colleague Larry do wrong? Where did Larry go wrong? Your dear colleague Lowry dealt with the skeleton murders last year. You should know that, Halligan. Lowry worked on the case for several months and finally managed to pull a culprit out of the hat. A butcher from South London. A married man with kids. They gave him a life sentence. He was in jail till three weeks ago. Okay, so he didn't do I, it. I, I read it. Pulled it's out fine. of the hat, you say? I'm reading the dialogue. So the butcher didn't do it after all? Oh, you're a genius, Halligan. He didn't do it. We found that out today. Um, he didn't do it. How could he be convicted? He didn't do it. How could he be convicted, then? Detective Lowry imaginatively constructed an impressive chain of evidence, and the court followed his arguments in detail. The public wanted somebody to blame, and they found somebody. That's life. Oh, that's so deep. How do you know the man Lowry arrested didn't commit the murders? Well, all right, these things happen. But how do you know that the man Lowry arrested didn't commit the murders? Very simple. Dead people don't go around committing more murders. Oh, no! It's been another murder. Exactly, Halligan. A pile of bones has been found in Epping Forest. So okay. Possibly a male corpse. We don't know any more than that. Okay. I presume we both agree that it can't have been Lowry's man, eh? Oh. Of if it's the pile of bones, it could have been there for fucking ages! to get that into Lowry's head as well. You heard it. Lowry's off the case. Halligan, you drive out to Epping Forest and take a look at the evidence. Of course, sir. And Halligan, no sloppiness now. I want results. Sensible results. The press has already been terrorising me this morning. The killer must be found. Do I make myself clear? Of course, Chief. Good. I this is the file with all the necessary information, and now you better get going quickly. So can I just say I hate that the subtitles are at the top of the screen? Yeah. I... Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to steal these matches for no reason off his table. <laughs> Alright, how do I view my inventory? Well, I know how you stroke your own hair. I don't want to talk to him anymore. So I need this to get... is a... Well, I don't know why I was about to ask, oh, so this is an English game, because you're dealing with fucking Stonehenge, so of course it would be in England. Yes, it's set in England. And there's a fucking flag over there. Alright, I'm going to try every key on the keyboard until I figure out what the inventory button is. Okay. If we have one. This is where you accidentally closed the Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, we have the file. Mm -hmm. How do I look My at the file? file. 
Okay, I want you to look at it. It won't I... work like that. Put it in your eyes! <laughs> okay. Maybe you can't look at it in this room? Yes, you can. You definitely can. Because it says, to progress in this guide we're using, <laughs> read the case file! <laughs> you know, you could just do this by yourself. <laughs> Everything about this is annoying. I hate it. My case file. You heard it no, here, That guys. won't she help either. Me. It would have surprised me if it had worked like that. There's no tutorial or anything! I mean, the guy's hands right there is a perfect sort of a... picture of what you're feeling right now. Yeah. Do you know what hands I mean? Those ones on the ball right there. Going like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I don't That's know. That's how I feel about everything about this game so far. <laughs> I, 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 I guess I can't. Um, can I just leave? Okay, we're just going to leave. I maybe, guess we're not going to look at the file. Maybe try now? Nope. Oh, wow. We move quite determinedly. We are very tall and gangly. We have very long legs. Okay. Let's look around the building. Oh, my God. We look so ugly. Everything looks so ugly. Yeah, this, this engine is fucking awful. It's in like like that awkward middle phase where it's too high definition to be like coherent, but it's not high definition enough to like look good. I think this is our office. It does look so bad. So we work it's in the like, Scotland Yard. It's like the Resident Evil stuff at least looks coherent, right? But this one is like an awkward half step above. Can we use that? it on? Oh, here. Looks like that won't uh, work. Looks like that won't work. Why is there not an eyeball button? This is basic shit for an adventure game. Okay, I can look at that. Why? Why can I look at this, but not that? <laughs> this is very messy. God oh. save the queen. Oh my god. I like how... Is that her husband next Yeah, he's dead now. But... I like how he looks so different, but she looks exactly the same. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he looks a lot different than that now. <laughs> the vanilla. <laughs> the cleaner will empty the ashtray. Okay. Do you think? I don't think there's anything of note in here, by the way. I think we're just in here for the lulls. I'll take it with me. Maybe I'll give it back to Miss Browning today. What did we just take? I'm determined to give up smoking. Let's go. Leave those alone. Okay. Okay, it's fine. We'll have a look what it was. If it you're was. determined to give up smoking, why the fuck do you have them in your room? I can't do that. Like, I can't even tell what it is, because it's no... It's like green some scarf. sort of scarf okay. thing, probably. It's a green scarf. Got it. Janet's green scarf. I love Janet. She's great. <laughs> Alright, any more things we can look through? Oh, do I have to look at each drawer individually? Yes. Oh, I do. Is there anything worse than thirst? Oh god, why do you have a sock in I'll there? Take it with me. This is wanking sock. Oh god. Obviously. Okay, so we got we got a, some apple juice. Lovely. Everyone loves apple juice. Got some gloves. The other sock. Another I've sock. Already taken one this morning. I guess you can't have too many wanking socks. Yeah. Ex what if one of them gets so like firm that you can't do anything with it? <laughs> god. <laughs> Leave them. I don't need those anymore. What are they? Are those? No. Nope. Oh no, no it's more packages of, this, of the later. smoke stuff. Oh, okay. My Which is so stupid. If you don't, if you want to give it up smoking, just fucking toss them all out. Why are you keeping them? It's your drawers. Okay, so what's this? A roll of plastic bags. We've got plastic to bags evidence. To for evidence. We've got gloves, apple juice, a scarf, and matches. I think that's everything we need. Right. How do we? Let's look. We're gonna go to Epping Forest. That's our number one priority. Okay. Is there actually is is New Scotland Yard a real thing? It is. Yeah. I Why wish I knew the way out the building. Why was there a new one needed? Um, I I don't really know actually. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a real thing. Yeah. Epping Forest is also a real place. It's not very epic though. Ha 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 ha. 
Okay, epic Don't chorus. Don't pass Stonehenge on the way to England. No, I'm a such a fucking martyr. <laughs> 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 on the way to London. We do, yeah. Stonehenge is nowhere near London, though. It's like in between where yeah. we live in London. All right. We'll talk to this Bobby, okay? Oh my god, the model. <laughs> oh my god. Good morning, officer. Good morning, detective. Uh, I hope you've had a good breakfast. Mm, the sight over there is not very appetizing. Mm. When were the bones discovered? Oh, well, you know, I got used to it. When were the bones discovered? At 5.30 a.m. by a jogger. He phoned us. Okay, he was out early in the morning. 5.30 a.m. He was out and about quite early this morning. Indeed, sir. And half an hour later, the press arrived. Okay. How did the press find out? How did the press find out about this so early, officer? Did you call them by any chance? No idea, sir. These vultures seem to have a sixth sense for crime. It's either that or somebody from your police station tipped them off. Were there any onlookers? Yes, a couple. But I sent them away. The real what is wrong with his neck? <laughs> What's wrong with his whole time? Night. We've seen it before. Well, hold the fort, officer. Yes, sir. I'll have to do that. Okay. Thank okay, you. officer. That was it. Thank you. Any time, sir. We now know everything we need to know about this body that is just over there. <laughs> All right. Time to get some evidence, guys. I think bones are less creepy than, like, if it had skin on it. I should take the bone with me, but... Why should you take it? Okay, we'll just put it in one of these bags then, dickhead. That is no important evidence, I'm sure about that. Okay, which one is then? That is no important evidence. You just evidence, said we I'm should sure. take that it with no us. That is no important evidence, I'm sure about that. That is no important evidence, uh, I'm sure about that. That is no important evidence, I'm sure about that. Hang on, hang on, hang on. The music will definitely be loud there for me. Alright. That is no important evidence, I'm sure about that. That is no important evidence. I'm okay, sure so about he was that. like, we should take this bone with us, right? Transport a piece of evidence in your coat pocket. Okay. That might See? falsify. Does he say that faces. about everyone? No, just this one. So we must have to take this with us, right? Use your hand. Use your glovey, glovey gloves. Oh, that's a good point. Let's try the gloves. That that won't feel different with gloves either. Apparently not. I'll try the bag one last time. Oh, okay. I guess I got it slightly off last time. So stupid. Oh my god. I can see this is gonna be great. What else do we have here? Anything of no. It doesn't look. Why are we taking one fucking bone? And why are we not taking the skull? I feel like the skull is the most important important part of like a skeleton in order to like identify it. Yeah. I think there should be more around here as well. Not just bones, I think there should be more evidence that I'm just I just don't see it. Because the game is very hard to tell what's going on. You know, I, I heard something the other day, and it made me think. And I hated it, but it did make me think. Mm -hmm. You know the expression, bite down on something? Yes. You can't actually bite down on something, because the top part of your head doesn't move. It's the bottom part of your head that moves. Your jaw moves. The top part where your top bits are don't move. So you're never actually biting down on something. You're biting up. Interesting. That doesn't bother you? I mean, it does a bit. <laughs> but. Okay. I need to have the grass examined. Why is this bit of grass different to these bits of grass? <laughs> There's more texture on them, I don't know. I just got, okay, I got some grass, I guess. <laughs> there we go. That's all the evidence, we did it. All right, now we can go, we can go and analyze this stuff at the lab. Let's go. Oh my God. Boom. I can tell this is going to be a laugh a minute roller coaster ride. <laughs> Look at us running in, by the way. <laughs> Look at those guys feeding the pigeons. They're having a great time. They're living their best pigeon feeding life. I mean, I don't blame them. All right, I'm just going to try something, all right? And if this goes wrong, we're fucked. Okay, no, that didn't go wrong. That's good. And I can just do this. Okay, good. It saves. Huzzah! That's more than I expected, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this person, see if we can get this evidence analysed. Oh my god, what a nerd baby. See the nerd bow tie? This is a picture of her. Uh... It 
It's either something that I can't say, mm -hmm. or a water bear. <laughs> okay. I've just come back from the place <laughs> where we found the bone snapping forest. And? Trailblazing new findings? I've got something here I'd like you to have a look at. Show me. Okay, we have to show it to him. Have you seen something like this before? Have you seen something like this before? You mean, have I seen grass before? Are you trying to pull my leg? Have another look. Have another look. Slight burning traces. Where'd you get it from? The bones were lying on this grass. The bones were lying oh, on this gonna, grass. Oh, so it's one of the bodies well, from the opening cutscene. Maybe somebody made a fire on the grass before the bones were lying there. That's not very unusual in parks. There were no fireplace, Chris. The glass was burnt under the bones and just there. That was no fireplace, Chris. The grass was burnt under the bones and just there. Hmm. Well then, maybe the bones got hot. <laughs> this is so stupid. Can bones get that hot in the sun? Bones get that hot in the sun. Well, I don't think this is very likely in autumn. But right now, I can't say much more about that either. Can I just say, this guy we're talking to, he sounds like he's text-to-speech. Chris, okay, Chris. On. See you later on. Okay, what about the uh, other That's thing? That's the bone from Epping Forest. Yeah, I know. I can't do that. Okay, put this away. Get the bone. Show Chris, it to I've the scientist something man. for you here. Could you have a quick look at it? That's a thigh bone. Also from the place where the bones were found, I suppose. No, it's That's just exactly. a dog bone okay, that I brought with me. And what do you want to know about it? What sex was the victim? What sex was the victim? Judging by the structure of the bones, I think it was male. I'll write that down in my report as well. And I'll tell you right now that you won't get it before the end of the week, Halligan. You can't tell me more about the bones? You can't tell me more than that about the bones. Chris, that doesn't help me. There's really no more to say about the bones, Halligan. Just wait for my report. You'll have it all nicely written This guy's down fucking before. useless! Hang on a moment. If you're really interested, go and see Professor Turner. He was the supervisor okay. of a friend's PhD thesis. That's how I met him. He works in an anthropological museum in Oxford. If anybody can say anything about the bones, he can. All right, I need to say this, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. First of all, this guy's job is to literally look at bones, and he can't give us any information. So he goes to tell us to speak to somebody who should be working here, apparently, instead of him, about okay. the bones. Okay, thanks for the advice. But in order to do that, that we have to go to Oxford, sense. which is about a fucking hour from London. Listen, when you travel by map, it only takes a few seconds. I mean, it's going to take a few seconds. You're right, that's true. The Muppets taught me that. The Muppets? Mm-hmm. What's where's that from? What do you mean where are the Muppets from? No 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 no. I mean like what Muppet <laughs> is it from the Muppet show or like a film or It's what? it's both the first movie and then the remake of the first movie essentially, which is really not that great, but it was it, it's kind of funny. Oxford Anthro what is anthropological? Bones. Really? Oh, it was close for renovation. Great. Well, anthropology isn't just bones, it's like old stuff. Okay. I'm pretty sure. But not ants. <laughs> no, not ants. I'm a bit disappointed that it's not ants. A bit. Okay, so what are we meant to do here if we can't... Talk Hi. to this man. Have you seen anyone close the museum suspiciously? Oh my god. Hello, my friend. Hmm? Can I help you somehow? Can I help you somehow? Help? Help? Nobody can help me. Hey, don't despair. Everybody has a hard time now and then. Maybe I can do something for you. Ah, uh, just leave it. I've lost everything. Everything. No money. No flat. No future. I'm finished. Simply finished. Um, have you tried <laughs> working? Have you seen anyone going Have you seen anybody museum? going into the museum? Yeah. This morning, a woman. A young, pretty one. A woman? You haven't seen a man? Nah. Only a woman. She comes here every day. Now and again, she gives me a few pennies. Oh, I think she works in the museum. Oh, a woman then. So what? What's special about that? Ah, there are women don't do science. About in this world. Okay, I need to go now. Okay, I must be off now. Well then, okay. Alright, so there's something we have to do here, clearly. Let's check the other way quickly first as well. That run is something. 
Oh, a phone booth. Maybe we can call the museum? I'm pretty sure they did not get licensing I think for BT or Woolworths, by the way. <laughs> for this fucking game. Okay. Hmm. I can't hear any dialing tone. Oh, we need coins. Obviously, you stupid idiot. <laughs> this isn't a... F you live in this time period. This isn't... <laughs> You're not like some Zoomer confused by the fact that phones aren't in your pocket. <laughs> he had coins in his hat. So Bevy, we're going to no. mug him. <laughs> no. I mean, we've got no other option, all right? We need coins. Surely not. Yeah. Are, Are you, you crazy? <laughs> That's mine. Hands off, okay? Hmm. All right, let's ask hey, him if we can coins. So what? Haven't you asked enough questions yet? You know more about me than my goddamn mother. Bag her off. Okay, uh... What are you doing what here? Doing I want him you? to tell me about his life. Mind? I'm having a drink. Oh. Uh... Can I have a drop? Can I oh have a drop? God. Get your own bottle, mate. And get me one as well. Oh, My empty. so we need to find him drink. There's money in your hat there. Isn't that enough for a bottle of gut There's rot? There's money in your hat there. We're just Isn't a dick. Isn't that enough for a bottle of gut rot? Oh, no. Those pennies wouldn't feed a parking meter. All right. We're going to go and okay. get him a drink. I must be off now. Well, then. Feed We're going to drive parking. back to London now to get him a drink. I'm not kidding. Come on. Up, 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 oh god, I just said it and she's underneath the chair. Oh yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Alright, back to Scotland Yard. The hub of making <laughs> homemade alcohol. Can we just buy him a soda? <laughs> Probably spit They definitely did not get Coke's license either. I just realised. Listen, don't worry. Oh my god, are you sciencing up some alcohol? I think we might do, yeah. Yeah, we do. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. Too dangerous to carry the bottle around with me. I don't even know what kind of stuff that is. What do you mean you don't know what stuff that is? Okay. Let's look around a bit. I don't know entirely what we're doing yet. Okay. I can't do anything with this. I can't even pronounce the name on the label right. I mean, that wasn't what I wanted you to do. I didn't want you to pick anything up, really. I was just clicking this. randomly can't do, on shit. I can't, can't do anything with this. this. I can't even pronounce the name on the label right. That bottle is open, and I do not feel comfortable about that in Which a lab one? environment. That one. <laughs> no, up. To the side. Oh. I can't do anything with this. I can't even. I can't do anything. Oh, with shut this. up! I can't even pronounce Wait, the you name. Can't, if you right. click on it again, it doesn't skip the dialogue. It just plays the dialogue again, because of course it does. All right, there's nothing. I we got a bottle of something. This. this must be something over this side. Too dangerous to carry the bottle around with me. I don't even know what kind of stuff that is. I mean, surely you know what ethanol is, right? Or methanol. Too dangerous. Too dangerous. There's nothing I can do with this. There's nothing I can do with this. Hmm. Can you put it in your juice bottle? I don't think there's nothing so. I can. There's nothing Although I can do with maybe this. Maybe you're onto something with that, actually. side one more time, okay? Mm -hmm. This thing, this is all very, very, very confusing. What did I even pick up, by the way? What is this thing? Fingerprint powder. Wow, the key ingredient to any alcohol <laughs> drink. <laughs> Fingerprint powder. Uh. Maybe this person will help us? Hey, I need to make some booze in five minutes. Can you help me? Well, Halligan, some booze take, how'd you like, get on at the museum? Months? What did Professor Turner say? 
Did he help you? I haven't seen I him haven't yet. seen him yet. No? Why not? You couldn't get hold I of anybody. I couldn't get hold of anybody. Have you tried the phone? Maybe somebody's still there. Uh... I don't have any change. I don't have any change to phone. Well, now you've got a problem. Lost it all gambling again, did you? Everyone's a hey, dick in this. That reminds me. You still owe me thirty pounds, Halligan. You haven't got it on you by any chance. Um, no, Chris. Hmm. Maybe you'll remember it someday. Uh, can I use your phone? Can I use your phone? I'm not so keen on that, Halligan. I'm always in trouble with the accounts department. You know what I mean. Why don't you ask Lowry? Lowry? You must be joking, Chris. You know how badly we get on, don't you? Especially since this morning, right? Exactly. Sorry, Halligan, but I'm convinced you'll solve this problem. Okay. Okay, Chris. <laughs> See you so later stupid. on. So I do need to talk to him, but first I need to find the dirty labels on some of these things. Okay. Is that what the fingerprint powder is for? No, we we just have to look at all of them. I think. This one. Mhm. Mm I need to zoom in first, I guess. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> They look exactly the same. <laughs> but 20 minutes have passed. We have just been polishing bottles for 20 minutes for some reason. Delete that cut. Just put just put a note to edit around that. At that timestamp. All right. I mean, I can't tell you what the timestamp is right now. That's not how this works. I put two successive cuts. Well, Halligan, how'd you get on at the museum? Shut Did up. I can't Thomas skip the dialogue. Said. It's so annoying. Could he help you? What do those flasks over there contain? Something I wanted to ask you, Chris. What do those flasks contain? Oh, you mean those on the shelves? They contain all sorts of different chemicals I need for my work. Indicator solutions, alcohol, things like that. Um, you've got a great job, Chris. Masses of alcohol and everything's legal. You've got legal. a great job, Chris. Masses of alcohol and everything legal. Nonsense, Halligan. Do you think we spend all day getting drunk with medical alcohol? Why don't you just try this stuff? Sure, no problem. Sure, no problem. This is going to be bad, isn't it? Yeah, medical alcohol is not meant to be drank. It's like 150% proof. Pretty sure it's like burns your insides. Not as bad as bleach, but I'm pretty sure it's not good. Here, Brent, do your health. What's up? Go ahead, try it. You won't get one of these so often. Thank All God right, here we go. Cheers. <sighs> To your health, Brent. An interesting aroma, isn't it? Brent, aren't you feeling very well? Brent, are you sure you're okay? <laughs> are you fucking shitting me? I like his very feminine eyelashes, by the way. <laughs> Reminds me of Lord Farquaad. <laughs> God damn it. You could knock someone out cold with this kind of stuff, Chris. Chris? Oh, the guy's gone. Which means we can now use the fingerprint powder to find out which bottle he touched, pour it into the apple juice, and become a millionaire. Okay. This is so stupid. Look what we've got The here. one that is literally is called alcohol! Is Ethanol is alcohol! How don't you know this? Also, it's really dirty now. <laughs> Can I combine it? All this fucking bullshit about, oh, it's too dangerous to take the bottle and you just shove it in no your pants. No way. Do I, do I just take it? I can do it with this. All right, I went and got the beggar's flask. We're gonna mix this in the flask. Perfect, this beautiful cutscene here with hyper-realistic graphics. Okay. Now, 
A bottle of it. That doesn't work. We can put it back on the shelf. The dirty shelf that totally won't signal that we were here. Yep. Now the flask is full. With ethanol and apple juice. No animation for the apple juice. Plastic. That doesn't work. No, no animation better not. for the apple juice. Alright, now we have the flask. Let's take it to the guy. And hopefully he'll give us the change. God, ethanol can... and vodka. Like, she's not... No, said it wrong again. Brain doesn't work. Don't worry about it. When yep. has my brain ever worked? Do you think he'll just fall asleep after I give it to him or just die? <laughs> He might just die. He might just... I wouldn't be surprised. I've heard this game has really weird shit in it. Alright. I have to talk to him first. Oh, I have to go in first, right? Yeah. You don't want to talk. Just take it easy. I've got something for you. Apple schnapps from Detective Halligan's Home Distillery. My own brand. Would you like to have a taste? Are you serious? Alright, pal. I'm as dry as the bottom of a parrot's cage. Why don't you drink it all? I don't mind. And it's a cracker, I can tell you. Cheers, <laughs> mister. Cheers. Oh, no. He's sleeping, okay. Could be, it's, it's not as bad as him. Yeah, when the dead. thing goes skinny, that means you could pick it up. See? Yeah. Okay. All right, now we can make the phone call. Why don't we just ask for some fucking coins at work from some? Somebody must be. Able to, you know, we'll go to the go to the fucking thing. If you want the crime solved, I need like 60, 60 pence in change, boss. We could just go to the store and say, "Hey, can you break a fiver?" Which you definitely can because this is the eighties where people still use cash. Or nineties even for? or whatever. What should I pay? For? What? Oh, is there a phone book in here? Yep, that's what those are. Oh yeah, I need to get one of those first. God, that's so weird. Okay, I can't click on any of them. Because that leaves the phone booth. What is this, by the way? I it's mean... like it's like an origami Pikachu. Oh, that. Click it. Nope. Maybe you have to click it while you're on the phone. Hmm. Let's try that. Oh, oh hang on. Oh. There we go. God, I don't remember these. And I was alive in this era. It does seem a bit silly to have like full... There's only one person who could be at the phone book at any time. Okay, now can I put the coins in now? Yes. Hmm. Let's see if the phone number of the museum okay. is listed in here. Hmm. Muse, 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 museum. Okay. Museum of African Studies, Museum of Ancient History. Here, Anthropological Museum. And the extension of Professor Turner? It's here. I've got it. Okay. You gonna... Gonna do it? Mm, let's see if oh my god, he says it again! That here. dick! Mm, muse, <laughs> muse, muse, museum, okay. Museum of African Studies, Museum of Ancient History. Here, Anthropological Museum. And the extension of Professor Turner? It's here. I've got it. Hello? Hello, who's that? Who am I speaking to? It's a woman. Um... My name's Brett Halligan. I'm from, from the phone booth outside the museum. This is Detective Halligan from Scotland Yard. This is Yard. Detective Halligan from Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard? What can I do for you? I need to speak to Professor Turner. Doesn't he work at the museum? Yes, but he's away on business. Um... I uh, Look, miss, what's your name? Look, miss... Uh, what was your name? Goodbye, Mr. Halligan. What the fuck?! She's hung up. What?! Okay, so we need to establish who this woman is before we call her again, by the way. That's our next objective, because that's how normal conversation between adults go. <laughs> okay. So, in order to do that, we need to go and talk to the guy in the lab! Back at Scotland Yard again! <laughs> uh, 
Are we at least getting like a rebate on all the travel we're doing? I mean, I'd like to think so. <laughs> the guy mentioned like he was having to like getting a rebate on phone calls, right? So we must get a rebate on the travel. Otherwise, like, what the fuck is the point? <laughs> What's the point of working if I don't get a rebate well, on my Brent, commuting? Still got a headache? Don't ask, Chris. Have you managed to contact Professor Turner? Yeah, I phoned him, but he wasn't in. Not in? He's on an expedition. I just talked to some woman who works there. With his extension number? Yes, exactly. Well, Halligan, that was probably his daughter Melanie. She works in the museum as well. My friend told me a lot about her. He used to be really keen on her. So, Professor Turner has a daughter. Thanks, Chris. I think that'll help me. So now we know who she is, she will 100% talk to us for some fucking reason. Can't wait to go back. I've been on the train 17 times today. <laughs> and spent over £5,000. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe back in this time period it wouldn't have cost that much, but still. It would still cost a lot. <laughs> like, holy shit. Now we know her name, she'll immediately cave in. To the power of love. Okay, baby. What? What shall I pay for? Hmm. Let's see if the phone number. Wow! Well, I can't wait to listen to this dialogue mm, for the third time. Muse, 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 museum. Okay. Museum of African Studies, Museum of Ancient History. Here, Anthropological Museum, and the extension of Professor Turner. It's here. <laughs> I love the way I'm acting like I've never seen this before. It's fantastic. What shall I pay for? Oh, is it because I've already paid? any dialing tone. Why can't I put well, money have to put at least in the slots? I have money. What shall I pay for? I'm going inside. No, honey, you have to, you have to click the thingy. What thingy? We clicked the BT thingy, for? remember? What shall I pay for? We didn't click on this last time. I'm sure we did. We clicked on the phone book, and that was enough. Why can't I call? Money. Why can't I put the money in? There are a couple of pounds here in small change. Oh my god! The slot had moved! <laughs> Hello? Hello, this is Halligan again. Please don't hang up, Miss Turner. How do you know my name, Mr. Halligan? Chris Hecker told me that Professor Turner's your father. Yes, that's true. What do you do at the museum? I'm an anthropologist. The same as your father? Yes. Miss Turner, do you think you could help me? That depends. What's the trouble? I found a bone that I've had examined at the lab. A bone? A human bone? Yes, of course. It belonged to a murder victim. Murder? How awful. The bone is from the body of one of the victims of the skeleton murders. I take it you've read about them? Oh, good heavens, yes. What can I do for you? Couldn't we discuss that inside? Certainly. Come on over. I'll let you in. Huzzah. <laughs> the, the, we mastered using a phone. In whatever year this came out. I mean, mastered is a, a, a <laughs> strong word. A strong word. Mr. Halligan? Yes, that's right. Hello, Miss Turner. Nice to meet you. Thank you for taking the time. No problem. We're closed anyway. The museum is being refurbished. It's not easy to get in touch with you. I was close to giving up. Oh, you mean because of the phone call? I'm really sorry. I do sometimes tend to be rather short on the phone. You know, I get unpleasant calls sometimes, and that's why I'm a bit suspicious. I see. Well, I finally got in touch with you. Would you like to come in? No. <laughs> okay, okay, Would you're you like walking a, a bit of coffee close. Or anything else? No, thanks. Mr. Halligan, how may I help you? As I said, I'm working on the skeleton murders. We found another victim in Epping Forest. All the evidence points to the same culprit as in the other cases. The corpse was completely skeletonized. Professional work. That's horrible. 
but how can I help you? My colleague, Chris Hecker of the Forensic Lab, has already had a look at the bones. He thought that your father could perhaps carry out some additional tests. He is a renowned expert, after all. Yes, he could do that. But as I said, my father isn't here. I know, but it is very urgent. Perhaps you could have a look? Hmm. You say you've got some of the bones with you? Yes, just one. Here. Whips out his dick. Are you this is a female. Him? Yes, that's what Chris Hecker said as well. It will take some time, Mr. Halligan. Would you wait a moment? Sure. Yes, sure. All right, we're playing as Melanie. <laughs> Let's look around the lab. <laughs> There's nothing to wait for. Look at all those knives. You could talk about those knives. It's amazing. I mean, not really. They're really rusty. They don't look like they would do much. Except for that one. That looks like that one looks like it has a uh, like little saw blades at the bottom. But those rusty ones probably won't do shit. Actually anything can do anything if you hit somebody hard enough. I mean she has nothing to say about any of these. Well, I have something to say. I just had a whole little monologue about it. I know it. you did. It's very nice. So why don't I become valid? You do become valid. You are the you are the most valid human being in the history of validness. I don't know if that's true. Yes. And I feel like you only said that because you know you're in trouble. <laughs> I'm not in trouble. <laughs> it's not well, your decision. in trouble. What it's done? not your decision to decide if you're in trouble or not. I am not in trouble. <laughs> Imagine that's what everyone, whoever gets arrested, says. I'm not in trouble. I'm not in trouble. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not in trouble. I didn't break a law. Um, There's nothing in the law. She just vanished. There's nothing in the law that says I can't steal this packet. You, you know what? You know what? My my cast iron defense of getting in trouble now is what? If you charge me, officer, you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to give context for that. Yes, everyone's gonna think we're being really weird. There's just like this. There's this British sketch, right, guys, where this uh, guy is in court. And he's uh, def he's the defense barrister, and he's like, if any of you find the defendant guilty, you're gay, and I'll point at you and go, look at that gay person over there, <laughs> <laughs> and like the entire court is just like confused. <laughs> and for Americans, at least I didn't know when I was an American. Uh, I mean, I am still an American, but you know what I mean. Maybe you don't know what I mean. I live in the UK with my wife. If you didn't like get from the whole us talking in the same room thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> a barrister is 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 a is a lawyer essentially, but not entirely. Is a solicitor and a barrister two different things? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no one in this country knows. <laughs> because a solicitor is a lawyer, and then a barrister. Is also a lawyer, but the lawyer that talks in for court. Bit, for bit, for bit but I don't know if there's a distinction Excellent between research. the two lawyers in the Very states. Mysterious. I just assume they were like a lawyer and attorney is the same thing, but maybe it's not. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> I don't know. I just realized the subtitles have been off the whole time, so she's been talking, but I couldn't hear. Oh. Well, she's still not talking. She's not talking here. I need something to scrape the bone, and I can't find it. You would think that, as a bone person, she would have a specific tool. Yeah, it's cool. I know what it. I, I know. I know. I know what I'm looking for, but I can't find. I can't see it anywhere. Well, then that means she just has a very badly organized office, and we it is actually badly organized. Yeah, I thought that this is like a museum <laughs> room and a lab at the same time. I feel like this is not good. Please be a different room. Oh my god, this might. It might be around here. Hang on. Uh, uh there's got to be something. I mean, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that are just nothing. <laughs> Which so far has been my experience with this game. Is it here? Do you keep the scrapey things on the shelf? No, I don't think you there's do. There's nothing! What about in the china cabinet? I already looked. You can't even open it. Well, you know what? Maybe I can do some narration and you not yell at me? Yes. Go ahead. I used oh, to have a sink like this in a bath, in a, in a not a bathroom. It was a bedroom, and I just had a random ass sink in it. I don't know why. Forbidden archaeology. It was a very old house, so maybe they just Excellent had sinks. Because uh, I'm sorry, I talked over her uh, 
narration, but I think my, what I have to say is slightly more important because I had a random ass sink in one of my bedrooms. I say one of my bedrooms. I didn't have multiple bedrooms in the same house, but what I mean is I have lived in many different places. And in that specific bedroom, there was a sink that basically looked exactly like that, rust and all. And, um, yeah. And what I think the reason... See, I'm not sure, because my initial thought would be like, oh, well, maybe it was a boarding house because of a very old sort of Victorian house, which has a different meaning than it does here in England. It wasn't a long skinny house, it was just a house built in the Victorian period. And I thought, okay, maybe it's from boarding house days. But that was the only bedroom in the entire house that had a sink in it, other than the bathroom. So that kind of goes out the window. Because why would you have the house yes. renovated to take out all the sinks from every other bathroom except for that one? Ew, that's nasty. <laughs> this is completely... We're keeping the evidence all nice and un un undoctored, okay? It was already fucked up because you haven't had it sealed this entire time. There's just two poo bags over the edges and the middle is still exposed. So all the lint and dirt in your pocket is going to still be on the bone. That's a bowl of lint. That's not evidence. That's just lint from his pocket. I, I had it just right and then I sp and you can't go back. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go through it all again. I hope you all enjoyed my it, rant. Probably. What? What? <laughs> It's getting blurry again! <laughs> okay. You know, I found a different guide, by the way, because the other one was shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this one says, This is very confusing and doesn't really work properly. Even when the image is blurry, it can be correct. Just keep clicking and eventually you'll get it. But it might take up to ten minutes to find the right thing. <laughs> I love this game. Spoilers. Why don't you just click it for everything? That's a good idea. I can't idea. see it properly. I can't 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 see it properly. I love this lady. Properly. Which is great. I can't <laughs> see it properly. I can't 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 How? See it How much clearer do you want it, lady? I can't see it properly. There's some metal. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Well, I mean, my method worked. Yeah. It's gold. There's some metal residue here. Okay. All right. So, can we now like use these to like get this out? <laughs> tweezers. I don't Why would we that. use tweezers? <laughs> That's Why would we the use in the bone medical equipment? Made by a sharp instrument. <laughs> the sickle matches the notches to a T. Okay. Wait, so she's... That's interesting. Let's listen to this again. The notches in the bone were made by a sharp instrument. Okay, so he was killed by a sickle. The sickle matches the notches to a T. I thought we... we I... I thought he blew up. I have... Well, it, this might be a vic different victim, just happened to be killed by that cult. Um, at least I assume it's related. It would be a bit strange to start the story with a case completely unrelated to everything. Hey, didn't this edition mention something in connection with sacrificial rites in Britain? Maybe. Let's see. Yes, here it is. An article about the Druids and their sacrificial rites. The latest findings indicate that in ancient England it was probable for the most... Ah, for their high ceremonies, the Celts usually prefer to... Use She's whispering! Them. Incredible. It all fits in with this bone. I'm sure the detective will be very interested. Okay. Now we can go and tell the detective what we have discovered. I said this during a stream recently. Mr. Halligan? Well, never mind, I won't say it right now. Because it's going to be... It's gonna be I believe I found something interesting Sorry, I thought there'd be dialogue bone. options, Go not ahead. just like In a complete opinion, conversation. This bone was worked on... With a sickle. Yes. And probably with a sickle made of gold. What makes you think that? The bone bears notches matching the cutting form of a sickle to a T. And I found a trace of gold in one of the notches. A golden sickle? Who would use a weapon like that in order to cut a human being to pieces? That's what I asked myself as well. I found an interesting article which could help us. According to the historian Arthur Blake, 
The Britannic Druids carried out very bloody sacrificial rites. He found out that such rites took place at major celebrations of the Celts. He assumes that consecrated golden sickles were used for those rites. And how does he know about these things? He learned about it from old inscriptions he's translating at the moment. Interesting, huh? Hmm. Celts? Druids? Quite some time has passed since then, hasn't it? Of course, but the description <laughs> in the article absolutely Amazing matched deduction. the findings on your bone, Mr. Halligan. I'm sure the author of the article can help you. Um. <laughs> you don't have to say it. Just click one. <laughs> what do you think? Could this Blake be right? I don't know. Maybe he just wants to make money with horror stories about ancient Britain, but the bone you've shown me would match his theory quite well. Okay. Um... So you think this murder could be a ritual murder? Yes, it would be possible. There are several occult sects and Satanists. Okay. They like checking their history books and adopting archaic rituals. Okay, I guess I can understand that, to be fair. I thought I was about to so, say that, like, that, well, like <laughs> ancient Druid traditions have nothing in common with Satanism. Well, that's what I was going to say. Let's, let's uh, just... I'm going there now. Mr. Halligan, I'm interested in this, particularly because of my job. I'd like to help you with your case. <laughs> Would you take me with you? Impossible. <laughs> Confidential police. It's such a dick! Work. I have to see him on my own. I'm sorry. I'm sure my knowledge would be to your advantage, Mr. Halligan. And I think it would be really interesting to work on a case like that. Hmm. Oh, well, when I think about it, perhaps that's not a bad idea at all. Perhaps there will be more examinations. Pass this U-turn. Okay, Miss Turner, let's do it like this. I'll keep you informed on the case. If I hear anything new or if I need your help, I'll contact you. What do you think? All right. I'll see you later then. Yeah. See you later. And thank you, Miss Turner. Thank you, Miss Turner. I love how I was, I was trying to say, can we pause a quick second here so I can say something and you just blaze past it. What did you want to say anyway? <laughs> it's fine. What's going on? I'm so confused. I just wanted to have more of a discussion about history. <laughs> oh. Well, they, they talk so fast. It's weird, like, the dialogue sort of, like, skips almost. I know, almost. I, I know, but you're the one who clicked it to progress it. Oh, okay, yeah, that, sorry. <laughs> That's fair. That's a fair criticism. I think we're going to have a lot more talking here, by the way, for a while. Can't wait. Arthur Blake's house. We're getting so far from London! And this is the same day? This must be it. Pretty out of the way. Let's go and see what he has to say. Oh my god. There's going to be some incredible... Oh my god, he just walked through the wall. Look, it's dilapidated like our house. Yeah. Mr. Blake? Yes? My name is oh. Brent Halligan. I'm a detective from Scotland Yard. I have a few questions I need to ask you. Scotland Yard? What's this about? Is something wrong? He's I'd American. rather we discuss this in private. Do you mind if I come in? I'm not sure. What's happened? Is there a problem with one of my publications? No, no, sir. I'm investigating a murder case. Perhaps you could help me? It really won't take very long. Murder? How awful. But what's it got to do with we me? Think you ran Mr. to Blake, London and I'd really somebody. prefer it if we could go somewhere a little more private. May I come in? Well, yes, certainly. Come on in. All right. Seems very helpful. I feel bad about criticizing his house now because he's in a wheelchair. You're the author of a book on druids, am I right? Yes, quite correct. In fact, I'm just working on a revised version for the next edition. But what makes you so interested in my book? I'm currently investigating a series of murders in London. I've made some interesting discoveries that I'd like to discuss with you. What series of murders are we talking about? The skeleton murders. You may have That's read about such a shit name. Oh, yes. Of course. A terrible business. Mr. Blake, I believe there may be some sort of ritual behind these murders. Well, what makes you think that? Dr. Turner from the Anthropological Museum in Oxford examined one of the last victim's bones for me. She found residual traces of gold on it and round notches. Round notches, you say? Yes. Does that mean anything to you? Doesn't your book on druids mention ritual killings for which a golden sickle was used? True. Are you saying these murders are based on the same ritual? That's what I've come to ask you. But that's impossible. It can't be true. It's... <laughs> His little hands. Oh my God, it would it would be unthinkable. It would confirm all my translations. I've been researching the history of the Druids for 30 years now, but 
I've never yet found proof of my greatest fears. Mm, so emotive, huh? Fears. Yes, the perfection of the final ritual, the final confirmation of the druid's power. Okay, now don't tin. Okay, don't, I'm not clicking. Don't, I'm not clicking. I'm being a good don't kid. What I was going to say before. Yes. But it still relates to this, so I'll say it now before I completely forget. Is I've always found it interesting, and I wonder what the religions of ancient Europe specifically mm -hmm. um, were like. And the reason I say ancient Europe specifically is because Christianity, from what I remember, had an especially really grippy hold yeah. in... Uh, uh, you know, um, sort of this area. And a lot of things have been lost to history, partially because when religion came in, w featuring, like, monotheistic, you know, gods and stuff, they basically, like, decimated the, the like, uh, not only just the people, but, um... The, uh, the, the, you know, the actual, like, rituals and stuff like that. So there's a lot of rituals we don't actually know what the purpose was. Oh, there's blood and guts. What's this so final say? ritual yeah. all about? <laughs> this is the text I wrote down during my travels through England and France. You know, when you travel through the country, you can feel that many locals still believe in the old Celtic customs. I don't think that's true, customs. you know. <laughs> a group of farmers in the south of England let me copy the inscriptions on a megalith that stands in a field there. They claim that there used to be a huge druid temple close to their house, but there's nothing left of it now. Whatever. I managed to translate the text, at least in part. Okay, Mr. Blake, please come to the point. What does it say? It says that the last of the druids saw the fall of their priesthood coming in the year 1000 AD. In the confusion surrounding the final destruction of the order, a demonic superior druid seized power using his knowledge of druid magic, not for the good of his people and to honor the gods, but to submit all of mankind to his rule. There's in order to secure the survival <laughs> of the druid's tradition and to complete his devilish work, he organized a final ritual, transferring the knowledge and power of the last of the druids to five infants. These infants have always been referred to as the inheritors. Go on. The inscription says that the ritual was not entirely completed. I've not yet been able to discover why. But from what I've learned, the inheritors are strong and powerful enough to one day complete the ritual. Wouldn't they have by done themselves. it by now if it was a thousand AD this took place? <laughs> you would think so. <laughs> um, but uh, what you said about, I'm not sure if that's true. Another thing that happened a lot in religion, mm -hmm. mainly, what I know most of is Christianity because I was born and raised into it. But, especially with Christianity, is what they would do is whatever was popular. Because the, the whole thing about uh, Christianity, I'm sure in other religions too, but also in Christ, like mainly in Christianity from what I know, is that you get followers no matter what. Because that's like your whole gig, right? Like, about like missionary work and everything else. You, do, you basically hold people hostage. Oh, you're starving? We'll bring you food, but you have to convert. <laughs> that sort of thing? Yeah. So what a lot of times they do... I mean, that do, takes place even now. To well, no, no, no. I, I know it takes place even now. But back then, what they would do is they would mix rituals that were already popular during the time and sort of like... Uh, trick or use it as sort of a, a way to wean people off of their religion into Christianity. Mm -hmm. And that's what birthed things like Santa Maria or, or voodoo. Or, it's like a mixture of Christian and whatever was the native religion at the time. Yeah. So when I was learning about British stuff for my test, I would read stuff about people... Believing in God, but also believing in fairies, which y you would think, like, like thinking fairies were not a bad thing, or they were tricksters yeah, or something. Yeah. Not the combination of religions. Yeah. Like, like, like you said, with the voodoo and things like that is another good example. Yeah. So they might, they might believe in all this, like, superstitious crap, but they may <laughs> also believe in Jesus. That's what I mean. Anyway. 
Yeah, that's interesting, though. Uh, right, what have these murders got to do with the myth? Right. Uh, what have these the murders point? got to do with the myth? Well, that's just it, Mr. Halligan. I haven't told you the whole story yet. There's more? Yes. <laughs> The inscriptions explain that the druids' inheritors require the life force of other people to complete the ritual. I see. And how do they do that? According to legend, the flesh has to be cut off the oh. bones of living humans and to be eaten. Only then can their life force be transferred. You mean the victims of these skeleton murders were practically eaten alive by cannibals? By druids. Yes. I don't believe Evil it. Druids. The worst Not is going to come, Mr. Halligan. What? <laughs> Evil pigs. could possibly be worse than that. <laughs> if such skeletons have been found in London, bearing marks of a golden sickle, it can only mean one thing. The inheritors are preparing for the perfection of their final This has been ritual, a long fucking time. This <laughs> says, once the ritual has been completed, the world will become a place governed by evil. Dark magic will be unleashed upon the world, and mankind will have but one choice. To obey or to die. Great. And you really believe all that? I believe it's possible. You know, Mr. Halligan, I'm not a <laughs> but superstitious I this man. But I've spent story. enough time studying druidism to know that more goes on between heaven and earth than we can possibly imagine. I quite agree. I'm not a superstitious see, man, but I'm actually really superstitious. That have been found within the past few months fit in perfectly with the druids' sacrificial rites. The day of the ritual's perfection is drawing near. Of that I'm certain. What we're looking at right now is just the beginning. Before we're through, more people will die. And the inheritors will soon be strong enough. What can we do about it? Time is running out, Mr. Halligan. You must find the inheritors and put them out of action. Okay. You, you, you know what else? What? Uh, says that at the end of the world, the reigning forces will come the and destroy everything. And uh, your only options are to die torturously or um, uh, or bay the bibble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's an easy thing to say, but how can I? There may be a way. During my latest research, I came across something very interesting. If the story I've heard is true, then there's a certain item that was extremely important for the ritual a thousand years ago. Okay. What is it? A piece of jewelry. Mentioned in the old inscriptions, the Amulet of Transformation. You should try to gain possession of that amulet. The Amulet of Transformation? I don't purpose? know. Maybe it has know, something Mr. to do with Halligan. transformation. Nobody does. Oh, what All the fuck I do you know. mean you don't know? <laughs> the myth says it's important for the completion we of the ritual. it makes uh, if you microwave find ready meals. <laughs> you may be able to prevent the ritual. Okay, how did you find out about the amulet? How did you find out about the amulet? My work led to the discovery of a connection between the Druids of Gaul and Britain. It seems there was a small group of British Druids who fled to France when the ritual failed. What for? I don't know. Maybe they wanted to save the amulet. I found out that a 13th century despotic French nobleman somehow gained possession of the amulet. I found a picture of him in an old archive. Really? Let me see. Not a picture, it's an illustration. Okay. Well, he doesn't look particularly friendly. Was he a druid? Well, he must have had something to do with the druids, but I really can't tell you how he gained possession of the amulet. However, he is the only clue that I can possibly give you as to the whereabouts of the amulet. I suggest that you make your way to Carmor. With any luck, you may find more clues leading to the amulet there. All right. All right, Mr. Black. That's in front. Right, going immediately. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Mr. Halligan. I don't feel like we Halligan. have any jurisdiction Good there. Luck. Yeah, he doesn't have any jurisdiction there. We're just okay. We're just gonna go. I want to see if France is on the map now. Okay. Because <laughs> that'd be entertaining as fuck. Okay, Portsmouth. Okay, so that's we're going to Portsmouth to get a boat to France. That makes sense. I've been to Portsmouth. Pretty sure I have. We didn't go on a boat, though. Okay. If we could just go on a boat, why do you say I have to go under the ground? Because it takes fucking ages. <laughs> <laughs> but under this ground scares We're me. We're gonna go under the ground. Good day to you, monsieur. Shush, 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 silence. There's French music playing, by the way, and it's really cliche. <laughs> it's like someone's got an accordion. 
Um, is the accordion a French instrument? I don't think so, but it's like. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a guy on the I like your fishing rod. It's a beauty. I like your fishing rod. It's a beauty. Yes, nice, isn't it? It's an enhanced fiberglass telescope, ultralight 47, the latest model. I thought you were going to be French. He's like got. He's got a Cockney British accent. one of your fish on a normal day i would but i just haven't been able to catch enough today how many fish have you caught not a single one that's not a lot yeah precisely i must try to catch some now otherwise i will have nothing to offer this evening you're planning to sell the fish no no i have visitors coming this evening you understand i see i suppose oh there's my nothing God, doing you're that. sorry why don't you just buy a fishing rod of your own and come and join me who knows if you're nice and quiet Oh, actually, why don't you just take a drink from this flask? And then I'll just take all your shit and run away with it. <laughs> oh, wow. I catch? just remembered uh, that guy is still passed out on the side of the road. He probably is, yeah. Oh. He's probably dead. You know, We're shit. Pike five meters long with eyes like plates and razor sharp teeth. That's why I bought this rod. The last one was pulled clean out of my hands by one of those beasts. You expect me to believe that? Of course, it's the truth. I swear it. I even had some photos of one of those fish. But I'm afraid I lost them. They fell into the water. Right here. And now there's not a shred of evidence to support your story. That is a pity. Don't you believe me? Ask Captain Deneuve. He will confirm it. I often show you the fish that I catch. Okay, Captain Deneuve. Captain Deneuve? Oh, the guy behind us. Don't know him. He captains the ferry that brought you here. He's over there on board. He's experienced a lot and has been all over the place. He knows a lot of stories, incredible stories. Oh, what, for example? You'll have to ask him that himself. I never really listen properly when he starts spinning his yarns. He's bound to tell you a story or two. You just have to know how to deal with him. Okay. Thank you for your assistance. Okay. Thank you for your assistance. No problem. You're welcome. Right, he had like... I need to check something. Okay, first of all, I'm going to save. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, I'll just save it as four. Yeah. Game settings. I need to turn the music down because it's drowning out the voice acting. And it's really obnoxious. Okay, that should be better. It only really happened in the last scene, so, you know, it shouldn't have been a problem up to then, but the music here is too jaunty, you know? <laughs> it's too lighthearted. How dare it? All right, Captain. Hello, Captain. Mm. Bonjour. Uh, do you know the Castle of Carmors? Do you know the Castle of Carmor? I say... I might. Well, you do know the castle, don't you? Well, do you know the castle or don't you? You're not very talkative. You're not being very talkative. No. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for the conversation. Do we need to get more information on him, do you think, on how to deal with him? Probably. From this guy. I wish you could skip dialogue it's in me this. Again. It's, it's pretty. My God, haven't you been listening? I'm trying to catch fish, my friend. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Well, how do you like the area? Have you explored it yet? Not really, to be honest. Aha. Uh -huh. Then what are you doing here again? Trying to scare the fish away, hmm? No, no. There were just a few points I wanted to clear up. Very well. But keep your voice down, will you? Certainly. Do fish get scared? Uh, tell oh, me, yeah. my good man, which way is the castle? Castle? Oh, you mean the burnt-down mound of rubble on the outskirts of the village, I suppose? Yes, that's it. What do you want to go there for? There's nothing to see there. I just want to take a look around. So, which way do I go? Oh, that's simple. Just follow the road through the village, past the crossroads, and straight ahead. Keep going for about three kilometers, then you can't miss it. Okay. So the castle burnt down? So the castle burnt down, did it? Yes, that's right. I think it happened in some war or other, or during the Inquisition. But that was hundreds of years ago. Have you ever heard of the Lord of the Castle of Carmor? Yes, of course. 
My parents used to tell me about him in order to scare me when I wouldn't go to bed. For the children of Carmor, the Lord was a kind of bogeyman, you know. Our parents used to tell us horror stories about him. What did they say? That villagers used to vanish, that the Lord would catch and kill little children. They told me, Pierre, sleep now, or the Lord will come and get you. I remember it as if it had been yesterday. Okay. Hmm. Was the Lord such an evil character then? Oh, yes. So I've heard. They say he murdered his entire family, not to mention half the household. He was a madman, but I don't remember many details of the old stories. Hmm, he was a jam monger, baby. <laughs> Have you ever been to the castle as an adult? Yes, a couple of times. We needed stones for our new stable. But I don't mind telling you, I wasn't too happy out there. Hmm. What I just people believe would things. happen if the Lord came to get you? You'd be killed and fed to the Lord's hounds. At least, that's what my parents told me. That's not much of a bedtime story to tell a small boy. I True, was 37. But it worked. <laughs> you kept away from the castle after dark, believe me. Uh, what do you know about the castle? Ah, uh, not much. It's supposed to have belonged to a rich family around here many centuries ago. As a child, <laughs> I used to play in the ruins with my friends. Uh, but it's not really safe to go walking around in the rubble. Why is that? Mm, it's in danger of collapsing, my friend. Anyway, it's pretty creepy Probably out because there. Because you stole all the especially stones. Especially in the cemetery. There's not much left of the castle nowadays. I used to climb around in the Local farmers shit, used the ruin fun. as a quarry yeah, when they Yeah, did you steal the stones for your their stable? No, I, There's no, just a few know. bits of rubble left. That's all. All right. Okay. I have to go. Good luck with your fishing. That's all Thank his you. dialogue. Thank you. As far as I can tell. So will this guy now talk to me about anything? Or is he just going to be like, Eh, suck a Hello, Captain. <laughs> what do you mean? Not so loud, please. Because of the fish? No, because of Capitaine Deneuve. He might hear us. And? Look, I'll tell you something. Deneuve's a bit strange. He insists ah. on being addressed by his title. That's why he won't speak to us, baby. How do you call mm -hmm. it? A peculiarity of his. Oh? Why is that? He's an old sea dog from a real old seafaring family. Some ancestor of his served in Napoleon's fleet. He himself used to go out to sea doing the real thing. Got a master's certificate and all that. Seen the world, so he says. These days he just captains the ferry. But he still insists on people using his title. He says his rank should still command people's respect. Oh, well, if that's all, I don't mind. What do I have to call him, then? Monsieur le Capitaine Charles de Neuve. That's his full title. He'll appreciate that. Got it. Thanks for the hint. All right. I have there to go. go. Good luck with your fishing. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now, Mr... We, we had a little bit of a glitch, but we're back on track now. Yes. Excuse me. What? Uh, you're Monsieur le Capitaine Charles de Neuve. You're Monsieur le Capitaine Charles de Neuve, aren't you? Yes, that is correct, my boy. Charles de Neuve, Capitaine of the Merchant Navy of France. How do you know my name? I've been talking to a friend of yours, the fisherman over there at the jetty. Pierre? Ah, yes, old Pierre. I expect he has been telling you about his pike, <laughs> the one that was five meters long. Yes, he did. Uh... Let's go with this, this is now. Story just true, small talk. To be honest with you, my boy, <laughs> Pierre tends to exaggerate a little, just like all fishermen. The pike was about four and a half meters long. That's still no pretty fucking that. big. Mm -hmm. Pierre says you're from Carmor, like he is. Is that true? Yes, that's right. I grew up here. As a youngster, I wanted to be a fisherman and used to work on my father's trawler. Later, I went to naval college to become a captain of the Merchant Navy of France. I have a small house at the end of the road. Just behind Francois' bistro. Hmm. Tell me more about Pierre. I meet him almost every day. He doesn't have much to do these days. Not since the fishing industry went down the drain. So he's a fisherman, is he? He used to have three trawlers and five employees. But nobody wants French fish anymore these days. They're too expensive. Now he spends his days sitting at the jetty, catching a few fish for himself and his friends to eat. They meet round at his place practically every evening and talk about old times, when they used to go out on their trawlers every day. Hmm. I guess we could explore all dialogue in this. Mm -hmm. Doesn't he have anything better to do? No, not much. 
none of the villagers here has much to do, since business is so bad nowadays. Pierre has a small farm which supplies him with all he needs. A few years back he built himself a small stable next to his house, where he keeps a few animals. His life is rather boring, really. That's why he's always pleased when I tell him a few stories. How long does he sit there fishing? Until I come back with my last load of passengers. Since he's had that fishing rod, he sometimes sits there even longer. If I have time, we go over to Francois's place when I'm finished for the day. Thank you. Thank you, Monsieur le Capitaine. You've been a great help. You're welcome, my boy. Okay, so this is part of the plan. We can talk to this guy again now. Mm -hmm. Okay, as we know more about his life. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Pierre. Yes? Now what? Um, oh, thank fuck. He didn't say the same shit. <laughs> um... I'd like to ask you something about Captain Deneuve. I'd like to ask you something about Captain Deneuve. Have you spoken to him? Yes, I have. And you were right. He's, He's not that very strange. strange. He came across pretty normal to me. Um, can you really believe everything he says? Can you really believe everything he says? Well, I'm not sure, quite honestly. He's a sailor, and they're always full of stories. Fifty years at sea are a long time. Enough time to experience a great deal and for a lot of things to become a bit muddled up in one's mind. He certainly seems to say some strange things. I don't think all his stories are true, but there's a core of truth in many of them. You'll have to make up your own mind which of his stories to believe. Hmm, is he a friend of yours? Is I think we already knew this, right? Friend? Mm. Well, I've seen him almost every day for a number of years. He captains the ferry, I do my fishing. When he's finished for the day, we sometimes go over to the so pistol yes. for a glass of pastis. Yes, now I come to think of it, I suppose we are friends. And you get on well with each other? I should think it's pretty difficult being friends with a man like him. Oh, we get on rather well, really. We don't talk much, you know. <laughs> if anything, he does the talking. Spins his yarns. The only thing about him that sometimes drives me crazy is his damned cat. Okay, this the is the key has here. A cat. Yes. He lets her out here on the jetty in the morning and takes her back in at night. And the damned beast spends all day slinking around here. You don't like cats? I hate cats. They steal the fish from my bucket or get tangled up in my fishing line. The nerves creature has often knocked my bucket of bait over, and I've had to go and get some more. I've told him hundreds of times to take the animal on the ferry with him, but he just won't do it. Okay. Um... I think we're done here. Okay. Thank you for your assistance. No problem. You're welcome. All right. We need to now abduct there we a go. kitty cat. There's the kitty cat. The problem is it's going to come and go, okay? And this is this is this this is, the guy says this is very tricky, okay? Um okay. So we need to stand in front of these crates here, I think. So the cat doesn't see us, apparently. No, better not. And then we need to wait for the cat to go behind here, and then we we catch it in a cat trap. But by cat trap, I mean just my scarf. Okay? And I'm no, I've no idea how to make the cat, like, respawn. <laughs> So I don't really understand this at all. I tell you what, all the guys for this game do a terrible job of explaining anything that is happening. Where's the cat? Where's the cat gone, baby? I mean, he went in front of those barrels. He went behind them, didn't he? He yeah. went behind these barrels here. Well, it would have been his front. Now it's behind you. Oh, here there he is. Okay, we're just gonna wait here. Of course, it can't work like that. Okay, okay. We got it! This seems very mean. Don't worry, it's totally okay. Nothing bad's gonna happen, alright? <laughs> we just abducted a sort of stranger's cat. Alright, now, okay, as we have a cat in a, in a sack. Isn't he gonna see us 
deposit the cat? <laughs> I don't believe this is what's going on! There! Did you see that? Did you see that? It's that damn cat again. She's knocked all my bait in the water. That's the third time this week. Calm down. You can always get some new baits. What about my fishing tackle? What about my telescope ultralight 47 for 800 francs? I can't leave it here unguarded. It could be stolen. I'll have to take everything with me. Just because of that damned cat. Don't worry, Pierre. I'll keep an eye on your And face. we're trustworthy, you, right? Of course. No problem. Thank you, my friend. Then I'll go right now. Are we gonna steal his shit? Yeah, we are. And can I just show you uh, the the, the, the re what we're doing? How we're doing this is insane as well. Okay, so first of all, we've got his rod, we've got his thing. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. We're now gonna connect these in our inventory. All right. Now watch this. This is the only reason we have done this, and this is batshit. Uh, somewhere on the side of the boat, right? There should be some salt that we can scoop up. Hang on here. See? And then we're gonna scoop this up with that. And that's what we needed it for! Are we at least gonna give a shit back? No! <laughs> we need this for the castle too! We did it! That- imagine doing that without a guide. How insane would that be? Like, it makes no sense at all. Like, there's absolutely no rhyme or reason to it. We're such a shithead. <laughs> we've killed- we've killed a, a tramp and robbed a Frenchman. <laughs> Alright, anyway. I think we have to go this way first. Stupid. It's it's I have no idea like what like how you were meant to think of that, you know in a million years <laughs> It's locked. It's locked Okay, Did, didn't he give us a did he give us a key? I think he did the the professor guy. I mean not like um What have we got in my inventory here? What the fuck salt? is this? That's salt fishing rod the scarf bags this, I think, will open it. There you go. A case file. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think I think he put it in the case file, the key. Is that what he no, said? No. It just looked like he fucking did the credit card trick on a fucking cast iron goddamn lock, which would not fucking work. That might actually just be what he did. <laughs> All right, we're in the graveyard. The captain said was spooky dooky. We got to look for interactable gravestones. None of these are. Be careful, because remember, it's just the thing gets... Oh, baby, what? there was a man. I thought that was us, but it's not. Oh, my God. Who's there? Probably a numpkin. Mm, I don't know. It may... There. There. Hello. Go there. He vanished, baby. That sounds like bumpkin behavior. He vanished like an old oak table. Sorry, that's varnished. Sorry. <laughs> that is a very bad black adder joke that I stole. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. I think this is what we have to do here. Again, no idea why. This doesn't need salting. Okay, we need to find a gravestone that needs salting. Whatever the fuck that means. I would assume rubbing salt on it. This doesn't need salting. Yeah, but why? <laughs> uh, I would assume it has something to do with getting residue off it. I mean, I guess that I've makes never sense. heard of the term salting before, but just I would just assume that's what it means. Well, let's keep looking until we find the one that needs a good old-fashioned salting. I guess maybe he means saltine. <laughs> I don't think it needs crackers. It might need. To, it might. Listen. You can't... Okay. We just put some salt on top of it. Okay, so I guess it has nothing to do with uh, erosion. We need to crunch it down, probably. Because it's like... There you go. Perfect. We just crunched it with the bone? With the murder victim's bone. The critical evidence, yeah. 
Is this like a ritual thing? No, I think we just had to find a place to use as a mortar and pestle. What the shit? <laughs> Are you telling me there's no fucking store in a town that's... <laughs> we are like the stingiest person alive. We steal money from a, we from are a homeless sus. We person. We are so sus. And we steal a guy's tackle and... Oh, okay. Who needs to enter a building through doors? I just merge into it. I'm trying to figure out where we can go at the moment. I'm looking for a mausoleum. I mean, isn't that the mausoleum that you're walking around? Maybe. I mean, it, 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 looks... it looks a bit like a church, though, as well. So, like, I it... mean, a mausoleum and a church aren't far apart. I guess we'll we'll, we'll have a look. Okay, that isn't it. Because we seem to be merging with that one. This building isn't actually here, I don't think. There were some stairs a minute ago I just saw. I think we need to go down the stairs. This game is something. I'm just merging through everything here, by the way. Like, literally everything he's just running through. Listen, it's not everything. He handled those stairs without merging into them. Is this the mausoleum? Is that a mausoleum? There's no way this is a mausoleum. That looks like a play castle for children. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> There's no way. No, that, that's a play castle. Imagine if that was the end. Where the fuck am I now? Well, you're in the back of the church mausoleum side thing. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. R slowly run your cursor over that. It is, that is interactable, right? Do you want some salt? Oh my God! I'm sorry, what? It seems to have worked. What's happening? I'm sorry, what? what? I'm sorry, what? This must be oh, we found the amulet of transformation. What? Because I, we didn't light it. Are we meant to get context of this from somewhere? <laughs> or was that just like... No one talked about that when we were talking to everyone. What the fuck? So not only are we a thief, we're like... A destructor of like... Let me go this way briefly and just see where this guy is at, right? <laughs> like... <laughs> we're worse than the guys who stole rocks to make their fucking stable. <laughs> We just destroyed an ancient French, like, landmark. <laughs> to be fair, that looked like a child had made it out of sand and it was just massive. I understand that, but There's still, nothing here, sorry, but I can tell. how did salt make it explode? I, I have no idea what just happened. I'm, I'm astonished. I am astonished. But I love it. Oh my god. Let's get out of here. We got this amulet. We can go back to England. We're free from France. Well, why can't we just give the guy Monsieur back his stuff? What can I do for you? Um, when are you leaving for Portsmouth? When are you leaving for Portsmouth? In two hours. Are you coming? Yes. Yes. Then come aboard. I have to stay in here for two hours. Uh, I, we're in a thing. Okay. So what do I need to do? What am I doing? Do I have to hide this so no one finds it? Apparently yes! Again, absolutely no explanation or prompt or anything about what I'm meant to be doing. Why doesn't he say I should hide the amulet? A perfect hiding place for the amulet. No one will find it there. 
Well, I mean, you just announced it, so anyone tracking you would have heard it and knew where to find it. And why do you have to hide it? I thought you needed it. I don't know. I think I'll go and get some fresh air. I'm it's totally going to get stolen, isn't it? Why can't you... Okay, if you want to hide it in your room, why didn't you just God, stay in the what's room? what's been going on here? It's Someone's been... Broken in Someone took it! Searched through all my things. What if I... Hang on. Okay, what if I just taken it with me? They wouldn't have got it there! <laughs> the amulet. Where's the amulet? It's oh been stolen. God, I don't you're believe an idiot. it. What do you mean you just Blast it. The thief must still be on board. But we're pulling into the harbour. I'll never catch him now. <laughs> what a lazy asshole! <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Why didn't you just keep it on you? Hello, Mr. Blake. I'm back. And? Did you find the amulet? That's a long story. It's a long story of me being a goddamn jackass idiot. I mean, that's true. Well, go on then. I can't wait to hear what happened. I found the amulet. It was walled up in the Lord's mausoleum. <laughs> Stop doing that hand really? thing. <laughs> it really Second. does exist then. And you've got it. Show me. Well, I did have it. But it was stolen from me. Stolen? How did that happen? No idea. I hid it in my cabin during the crossing. Someone broke in and rummaged through all my luggage. Was anything else missing? No, not a thing. Someone must have been following you. I didn't notice anyone. Who could have known I'd been looking for an amulet in that godforsaken dump? Certain people may be taking a great interest in your investigations, Mr. Halligan. Do not underestimate the power of the druids. <laughs> Mr. Blake, are you saying the druids stole the amulet? That's absurd. The amulet is vital to the perfection of their ritual. Believe me, we're not the only ones with a particular interest in the amulet. The druids are after it just as much. I thought the druids ceased to exist 1,000 years ago. It seems there are still some left after all. Just as I suspected, they are among us now. Never among us? In the first place. It's almost like... A religion will just kind of persist, even if uh, other religions try to eradicate it. I haven't from met anyone who looked like a druid so far. No, no, Mr. Halligan. You won't recognize the inheritors by their cloaks and sickles. They're people, just like you and me. They could be powerful industrialists, high ranking politicians, or influential military men. They've people been alive for about 10,000 years. What can I do then? <laughs> I can't possibly check up on the entire upper class of British society looking for a couple of druids. No, that's not true. It's about but it may be worth your while to keep an eye on groups of neo druids. If anyone tries to justify their claims to the druids' inheritance, they will. The fuck is a neo druid? Neo -druids? What are they? There are a number of groups around claiming to be the druids' rightful successors. Jesus. They're organized in orders like Templars or Freemasons. <gasps> Tell me more about these neo druids. Like I said. The Neo-Druids try to live their lives according to ancient Druid ideals. Some of them do a lot of charitable work as well. But there are some really dubious associations going around, combining the Druids' customs with occult rites. Rumors say that there is such a sect at large somewhere in London. Okay. In London, you said? Do you know where I might find these people? I have no idea. All I know is that the only people who know anything about the Order refer to it as <gasps> the Circle. The circle. Dun, dun, dun. I'm going to make a grit called the uh, Dodecahedron. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Blake. I'll see what I can make of it. Good. If you have okay, okay. any more questions, don't hesitate to call on me. Anytime That's like want. the weirdest shape I can think of. One more thing, Mr. Blake. Yes? I get the impression this business could get pretty dangerous from now on. Yes. Very likely, Mr. Halligan. It may be safer for both of us if we let someone else in on the matter. Please call Melanie Turner in Oxford and tell her the whole story. Make sure she learns everything you've told me. She works at the Anthropological Museum. Her number's in the phone book. And tell her I'll get in touch with her myself as soon as possible. Would you do that for me? Of course, Mr. Halligan. Good luck. All right. 
Time to head back to Scotland Yard. That's like the opposite of what most people do. So like, hey, this might be dangerous. Let's let's tell let's as many people as possible so more let's... lives are at risk. <laughs> yeah, let's just widen the scope. <laughs> widen the scope of possible murder victims. <laughs> Elegant! Into my office at once! Oh, oh no. Oh, that doesn't sound good. The boss is pissed, baby. I mean, probably because we got reported by a shit ton of people. <laughs> we went to France. Halligan! Come on in! I suppose we should be glad that you drop in now and then. What's the matter, Chief? You know, Halligan, I was just asking myself what you've been doing. I've been investigating, Chief. Well, have you? And do you know what I've been doing? I've been dismissing loads of press people, worried citizens, and politicians from my office. The phone hasn't stopped ringing since this morning. The mayor's been to my office, and I haven't seen much of you. When do you expect to come up with results? I'm getting there, Chief. But it takes time. It takes time. Why haven't takes you solved time? this murder? Will I ever get to hear anything In else from a detective? Where the heck have you been, Halligan? You'll get a report at the end of the week. The end of the week? Why not at the end of the month or at the end of the year? Uh -oh, I want the results better. on my desk tomorrow morning, Halligan. And now, I want to know where you've been all this time. You'll find out when you read the report I'm going to write. Don't be impertinent, Detective. As your chief, I'm entitled to ask you about the results of investigations and your proceedings whenever I like. Yes, Chief. Of course. That sounds better. Otherwise, I could have you write a report about every single step of your proceedings. And I think you know that. Very well, then. I was visiting an expert on druids. You were what? Halligan, have you lost your marbles? You're not supposed to be indulging in your hobbies. <laughs> You're supposed to be solving the skeleton murders. Is that all, Chief? No, that is not all. One of the phone calls this morning was from the 4th District in Oxford. Uh-huh. And? A beggar has been to see <laughs> that somebody had first put him to sleep and then robbed him. And do you know who that person was? No? A man who calls himself Detective Halligan! Our colleagues looked into the Central Personal Database and guess what? They found a man by the name of Detective Halligan. <laughs> We're such a and he works dickhead. for my department. What do you say to that? Chief, Chief the beggar must be mistaken. It's a mix-up. A mix-up? I hope so. If these accusations turn out to be true, you can spend the rest of your professional life washing police cars. Okay, Chief. I read you. Indeed? Excellent, Detective. Then get out and do your job. And, Halligan, if I should hear that you are conducting your investigations in any dubious or illegal way, I'll take you off the case immediately. Understood, Chief. We'd never do that, right? <laughs> I actually don't know what I'm doing now. Uh, the game doesn't really have much, like, direction, right? You know what I mean? Mm. I do find it funny that, like, that came to bite us in the butt. It makes me a bit happy. <laughs> Hi. Token gay? Token gay? Oh, this is this is the other detective. He was on the case, right? But he fa he's the one that arrested the wrong person. Mm-hmm. Well, probably because this bastard's like, I want you to find somebody today. <laughs> and it's just like, well, I'll find somebody. Probably won't be the right somebody, but I'll find somebody. It's very... I mean, I'm just looking through all these rooms to see whose rooms are this. Okay, this is the room I need, I think. Hello. Hello, Janet. Hello, Brent. <clears throat> Hi, Janet. Have you got a minute? Not even a minute, Brent. Do I look as though I've got any time? Um. Well, Janet, I presume it's your job to have time for a detective. I'm the best judge of what my job is, Brent. Now please be good enough to go away and let me do it. I'm not here to give you anything, Janet. I want to get something. I know that, Brent. You need information. But before I can let you get it, I need the necessary papers. You haven't got the forms for the access to the database yet? Um, no. Here's one. Okay. Get it signed, and then we'll get down to business. Oh, but the boss won't talk to us, I bet. I need a signature? 
whose signature? Oh my god, Brent. Don't pretend to be more stupid than you are. So I won't get anywhere without it then. Exactly, Brent. Rules are rules. All right, Good. fuck off, See then, you Janet. Later, then. <laughs> Take your time, Brent. Yeah, fuck off. I hate this woman already. Mm. Everyone here is horrible, actually, to us. Like, literally everyone is just a fucking asshole. Well, you know. I'll take that with me. You never know. I, might oh, I wish it. it said what it was that I was grabbing. It's always handy having one of these tuckers. Oh, yeah, great. I love those. So long ago, and there was a big commotion on this floor. At least that's one thing you can get hold of here without too much trouble. They are needed for the forms. Makes it easier for the chief to sign them. Okay, so what are these? A sheet of carbon paper. Carbon Betty, paper? That's a form for stationary procurement. Without that, you don't get anything at Scotland Yard. Ah. Yeah. That's a clipboard. We're going to trick the chief to sign a basic stationary procurement form. Um, <laughs> instead of the access the database form. Oh. And then we're going to have it like, we're going to use the carbon paper to make an imprint of his signature, I can tell. Because then, <laughs> and then we're going to use it to make it, to forge his signature on the actual form. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So. We put that on that. Doesn't the carbon paper go beneath that? No, it goes there, and then that. Oh, okay, I now see. Now I've got a clipboard with the form for information procurement, the carbon paper, and the form for stationary procurement. But the carbon paper juts out of okay, it. Okay, so I've got a, I need a pair of scissors now, okay? And the man that you said might be gay, I think <laughs> might have scissors, so let's said, speak to him. He's the colorful one among everyone, that's why I said token gay, token gay. I mean, these adventure games usually had one. This is Larry. I, want to hear, I haven't heard him speak yet. Well, so. well, well. Detective Halligan, the pride of the he department. He might be gay. <laughs> You've been making yourself pretty scarce here lately. I've been busy. You've got to bully this oh, guy, yes. basically, here. Okay. Oh, my God. I just realized he's not actually sitting day. in the chair. Don't he's hovering what, above it. Well, what gang of conspirators are you on to this time? Have the aliens landed yet? Love. I'd love to tell you, Larry, if I wasn't aware of the oh, fact crap. that you know a lot more about <laughs> horsepower and football results. I think he's meant to be like an alpha male, this guy. Oh, very good, Halligan. Highly amusing. Have I ever told you that you bore me stiff? Especially today, I regret to say. So be a good boy, tell me what you want, and then clear off. All right, we need to talk about everything. It's just not your day, is we it? We need to berate him, basically, as much as possible. Of course. Your last good day in this department must have been a few months ago. By the way, congratulations on your new case. I can't believe the chief has put a loser like you on it. The chief has put me on the case because you arrested the wrong man, Lowry. Or had you already forgotten that? The wrong man? Don't talk nonsense, Halligan. What do you know about it? The man was guilty. A beast. He killed those people and sold their flesh. Prison was far too good a treatment for him. Okay. Uh... Well, if that's your opinion, how do you explain the new corpse that was found this morning? My God, London's a big city. It's a copycat killing. A gang of stupid boys, freaked out junkies, how should I know? With sickles. A gang of junkies with sickles. <laughs> stupid boys don't go around taking humans to pieces like that, Lowry. There's a killer on the loose. Or maybe even several. Oh, yes, sir. A killer in London. It's just as well that we've got our heroic detective Halligan to look after us, isn't it? Protector of widows and orphans. Least successful investigator of all time. I'd rather not solve a case at all than send an innocent man to jail. That's just your own unique opinion, isn't it, Halligan? Stryker and I did a clean job. The chief can shout about it just as much as he likes. This guy's and he'll see dick. how little point there is in passing the case over to you. Uh, did you doubt for a second whether you had the right man did or not? Did you never doubt for a second whether you had the right man or not? Doubt is the virtue of losers. Didn't someone like Shakespeare write that, or was it Plato? Doesn't matter. Hmm. Okay. I'll talk to you later, Lowry. What is it this time, Halligan? Uh, I'd like to know when you, how you managed to get on a date with Janet. 
I'd really like to know how a braggart like you managed to get a date with Janet. Well, you know what, Halligan? Women do like a winner, don't they? Little Janet is no exception. We went to the palace yesterday. What was showing? The new Schwarzenegger film. You know how to handle women, don't you? Of course. Janet said she found it disgusting, but I know for a fact that she was very keen The subtitles in the dollar are completely like different sometimes. You understand? Like a different sentence completely. What amazes me is why a woman like her should find your boring stories about cars, sports and action films so oh entertaining. God. Halligan, I'm sure you didn't come to tell me that. What do you really want? Do you know how to operate the copying machine? Yes, I do. But you're not going to tell me, right? You really are a clever boy, Halligan. You're a really nice person, Lowry. I do my best. Okay. I'll okay, this isn't going anywhere now. at the moment. Let's just keep harassing him, though. He's meant to give me his phone number. What is it? This time, Halligan? Eventually. Uh. Where can I find Detective Stryker? Stryker? On holiday. Why? I heard he was suspended. Uh, well... Not exactly suspended. Actually, the chief did advise him to take his annual holiday. Okay. As a reward for his outstanding achievements in the skeleton murders, I suppose. Listen, Halligan, your jokes are starting to get on my nerves. I suggest you leave now. Hmm. Okay. I'll talk to you later, Lowry. We need to hassle him to use his phone, but I don't what see any dialogue time, that does Halligan? that. Uh... I know that you'll say no, but I have to ask for your help. You do actually need help, Halligan. But not from me. Try a social worker. Well... Oh my god, what a dick. Why is he asking about the copy machine again? Do you know how to operate the copying machine? Yes, I do. But you're not going to tell me, right? You really are a clever boy, Halligan. He's just a dick. You're a really nice person, Lowry. I do my best. Hmm... Okay, I'll talk to you later, Lowry. One more try, will, guys, and then we'll move what on. What is it? This time, Halligan? I've got another plan if this fails. <coughs> I'll ask you about the circle. It's the only one we haven't said. Have you ever heard of an organisation called The Circle? The Circle? Is that somehow connected to the crop circles? Okay, forget it, Lowry. <laughs> Lowry, about our conversation before. What? I've got some questions for you. My God, Halligan, you just don't get the message, do you? Well, what is it? Let's not argue, Lowry. I need some information from you about the last investigations. You've got the file, Halligan. I suppose you can read. Apparently I can't scram. now. Lowry, I've read your file. There's just nonsense in it. Do you know what I think, Halligan? I think I don't need to tolerate a detective and a £20 suit £20 suit? My door, That's a bargain! The quality of my I guess work. it wasn't at this time probably. I mean, it probably was uh, cheap, you know. If my suit was more expensive, would that make your file any better? Very witty, Detective. Yes, really, very witty. Tell me, haven't you got anything better to do than crack jokes? Thank you for being so very friendly, Lowry. Enjoy your spare time. Just clear off, Halligan. Okay, so he isn't talking about his fucking phone whatsoever. And I can't see his phone here at all on his desk, right? Can you see it? I want the scissors. A scissors there. I need scissors. Halligan! Yes. Yes. Might I ask you what you think you're doing? Um, I'm gonna borrow your scissors. I just wanted to borrow your scissors. <laughs> just for five minutes. Just to commit Forget fraud. It. Don't make such a fuss about your blasted scissors. I won't break them. Oh, you won't break them, Halligan. You'll lose them, mislay them, not bring them back. You'll do with them what you always do with anything you lay your hands on. I am determined not to lose anything ever again, Halligan, especially not to you. Do I make myself clear? All right, then. Keep them. All right. Well, his phone is definitely not on display, so for now, we'll... There it is. It's like behind his fucking levitating... F oh, it might be not visible because he's levitating. <laughs> Which could be a huge problem. Oh, no. But we'll see. Which one was our office? I can't remember. This one, maybe? I want to say. It looks like a gigantic mess, this one. Okay, we have voicemails. So let's check our voicemail. 
How the fuck do I do that? I'm not used to these anymore. Brent? Hello. Is that you? It's your mother. Aw. You know, I hate these modern talking machines. I haven't heard anything from you for months now, Brent. Is that any way oh, to Oh, that's actually mother? awful. Aren't any celebrating her 75th birthday at the weekend. We have both been invited. You will come, won't you? Brent? And please, wear something smart. Do me a favor. Oh, God. That's all I need. Okay. No, you're skipping them. I know, I just want to listen to them backwards. Miller speaking. I've had enough. Oh. You better come to my office as soon as possible. Did you get We're that? We're going to have to play this message down Chief. the phone to the other guy to make him go yeah, to the I've office so we can go and steal me. his scissors. Mm -hmm. How would I set that as my message, though? I have no idea. Oh, the record button, maybe? I'll listen to them all. This is Miller. Damn it, where are you? Do I have to speak to this damned answering machine if I want to get hold of you? If by any chance you happen to turn up in this department, I want to see you in my office. All right, so we need number five, I think. But I'll listen to them all. Let me give you some good advice, Detective Halligan. Don't interfere with our affair. Oh my god! It be very it's the druids! <laughs> they left us a voicemail! Hello, Mr. Halligan. This is Melanie Turner speaking. I was wondering why I hadn't heard from you, but Mr. Blake just called and told me everything. I'm out and about quite a lot at the moment, and you may have difficulties trying to get me on the phone. But if you need me, just leave a message. See you later. Okay. And then finally, the last one. Hello, sir. This is uh, Al's Pizza Palace. Your account from last quarter has not yet... Hang on. He had a tab at a pizza place? 275 quid on pizza? <laughs> Please see to it within the next few days, otherwise we will have to stop serving. Ah! 275. What was that, what was that noise for? It's my personal record. 275 pounds? Hello, sir. But this no. is like this the is, uh, fucking 80s when pizzas were like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like... So, like, even now that's a lot to spend on pizza. Even now that's a lot, but just like back then it, it was like... Uh, just... He must have had like 20 pizzas in a month. More than that. Perfect way of avoiding unpleasant. I mean, you would probably get a large pizza back then for like I'd fifteen bucks. I'd better leave that here. So, like, how many? And for one person, how many pizzas? Is <laughs> I never use the receiver. That thing is just too heavy. Using the loudspeaker mean? is much more comfortable. Where's the loudspeaker then? What do you then? mean? It's just too heavy. What do you mean? A plastic fucking phone is too heavy for you to lift up. All right. So. He, there's a glitch where he won't give you the phone number, but you can just do this and it should work. Scotland Yard, Detective Lowry. Miller speaking. I've had enough. You better come to my office as soon as possible. Did you get that? Oh, of course. There we go. I'm coming. I'm on my way. That worked. <laughs> so there's actually that, that's actually such a known glitch they patched in a way of getting around the puzzle. Oh my god. Well, he's floating, so Jesus. Yeah, it looks like when he's floating, you can't do the puzzle like the normal the way you're meant to. Jesus Christ! I love how this station doesn't have like a stationary room. There just, you go. Just in it. general. Lowry is in there. Rather him than me. Oh, how do we get rid of Lowry out the fucking office? Actually, maybe you have to wait. Yeah, maybe. I now need to get someone to si him to sign the things and shit. I'll, I'll go back in here for a second. Do you have anyway. a pen? Uh, no. So we got the stationery form now. So look. Now I've got a clipboard with the form for information procurement and the form for stationery procurement. Phew. Uh, maybe we should put the scissors back. Mm, yeah. That could be what it is. <laughs> oh no, he's back no, there now. No, he's back. Okay. Is he going to just say Larry's here now though? Is he going? Do you think that's going to be a glitch? Larry's in there. Nope. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, that had to, didn't have no RV, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Alright. 
Take this. Chief, I've got an 88M9 order form for stationery here. For stationery? You need new stationery again? Halligan, you'll lead this department to financial ruin someday. Do you know that? Yes, sir. No, I mean, no, sir. It's nothing extravagant. I could do with a new pencil sharpener, that's all. When will you learn to take better care of your things, Halligan? Scotland Yard can't print its own money. Every month, the accounts department gives me a hard time because of the deficit. Our budget for office costs is limited. I know, Chief, but I'm not able to work without a minimum of stationery. Here, I've prepared this for you. You just need to sign it. OK, then. OK, give it to me. <laughs> He's so stressed out. But that's the last time, you understand? You'll have to buy the next sharpener from your own money. All right, Chief. Anything else, Detective? Nope. No. <laughs> we just that's stole his signature. You know the way out, don't you, Detective? Of course, Chief. Okay, so now we can go and request from the other girl the I information love how we need. He has his own water canteen. He does? Yeah, his own water like thingy Cooler. that's usually for the entire office. That's badass. That's what you get when you're the boss. Your very own water cooler. That would be stupid. No. Oh, hang on. What you do need, I need to do? You need to give her the... the this one. It's me again, yeah. Janet. Hello, Brent. How's your case going? Have you got any further yet? Uh... Janet, I need a database inquiry. Have you got time? Of course, Brent. Have you got the form for me? Yes, it's here. What the, what the fuck, fuck just happened? We'll go ahead then. I'm looking for information about a group called The Circle. The Circle? Just a sec. It won't take a moment. Oh my god. Yes, we've got something in the database about them. Let me see. She isn't floating at least. I mean, she kind of is a An little An order bit. of neo-druids. Their head office is in London. The head of the group is called Lord Sinclair. Uh, could you do a criminal record check? With do the we group? know about anyone with a criminal record within the group? Yeah, just give me a second, Brent. Somebody once filed a complaint against Lord Sinclair for disturbing. <laughs> That's the such a British peace. thing. <laughs> you disturbed the nightly peace. <laughs> there was music after six p.m. No, hang on. Oh, some months ago, a gardener was killed on Sinclair's oh, that's estate. that's super sus. And the murderer was never found. After the murder, Lord Sinclair and his order were under surveillance for some time. But there was nothing conspicuous to be found. Ah, oh, that's interesting. Anything else? Well, Sinclair was fined once for hunting without a license. No, nothing else. Mm. That's enough for now. Could you please give me the address? It's 234 Winchester Street. That's in the outskirts of the town. A posh area. Good. Thanks a lot, Janet. I have to go. I think I missed okay, something. Okay, Brent. Here. See you later. Fuck. Hello, Janet. How's it going? Halligan, what's up? I need a printout of the information. Could there you, you please print out the data about the circle? Yeah, of course. No problem. Good. Thanks Why a lot, Janet. Why wouldn't you just I give me go. that? Okay, yeah. Brent. See you later. I need to make a copy of this now to give to you, Melanie, as well. Because we both have to be there. Otherwise, we get a game over. Again, no idea how you'd know that, by the way. Like, in a million fucking years. But there you go. You know what I kind of miss about the old days? Uh... I, I feel like it was a lot easier to print out documents. <laughs> We always have a faff when we need to print out anything. Yeah, printing is like a, a design. This actually, this new one I bought is really good. Well, yeah, but like before that, we had like what three printers in the house. Yeah, and they were all shit. And they were all shit. It was like very hit and miss whether they would actually print, print or scan anything. But I remember when I was a kid, yeah, it was clunky technology. But at least the printer, like the worst you'd have to worry about is the printer getting jammed. It's not- it wasn't a case of, will it not print anything? No, it- it-, it it's- it's- sorry, I was laughing at the way he was moving there, sorry. He doesn't move very funny. If you double-click, he goes into slow motion for a second, it's really weird. 
Here's the process the information. What could I put in there? <clears throat> this. That'll do it. All right, so that she's got the address now. Turn to find me in case something happens to me. So if you don't do that, you'll get a game over, and you'll lose all your progress. There's multiple points here where there's like fail states, basically. Mm. So you need to make sure you save frequently. Look at him running slow motion for a second. Isn't that fucking weird? Don't worry about it. Anyway, we need to go and speak to Lord Sinclair now, who I'm sure is a. <laughs> I love the way he just says Lord Sinclair. Oh, she says that for Arthur Blake, too, I guess. <laughs> I don't think the case card trick is going to work here, too. No, I don't think they're going to let us in, personally, no. but we'll I see. mean, probably not, no. Yes? Who's there? Is that Lord Sinclair? No, sir. I'm sorry. I am his lordship's butler. There's, there's mysterious music playing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Scotland Yard. Please open the door. I regret that his lordship does not receive beggars, salesmen, oh, yeah. and... Oh, yeah! Imagine if that worked. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't talk principle, to police. Sir. Besides, <laughs> Lord Sinclair is not at home at present. All right. In the name of the law, open the oh, door. Really? That's not going to work. No beggars and police officers. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't right? even In say that. In the name of the law, go. open the door. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll kick it down. Mr... Excuse me, what oh, is your name again? Nomkin. Halligan. What? Detective Halligan from Scotland Yard. No, I was saying, like, my Scotland name is Detective Nomkin, because then they won't get me arrested. <laughs> Am I correct in assuming that you do not possess a search warrant? Well... Then I would like to remind you that violent and unauthorised intrusion onto the estate can be prosecuted. If that's the way you want it, all right then. I'll be back. You can be sure of that. Of course, sir. Uh... Thank you for your visit. Have a nice day. Well, <laughs> fortunately, we can break and enter this place completely legally, obviously. Look at the security guards, by the way. Look at them. <laughs> Just the two. Hello. I think there might be a nice lot more. Nice day today, isn't it? Yeah, the weather is great. Just right for a walk. Oh my god, he's yes, got like a he's I got thought. like a pirate I didn't want to sit in the office any longer accent. on such a wonderful autumn day. <laughs> yes, I know what you mean. What kind of job what do kind you of do job then? What do you do then? Me? Oh, I work <laughs> with the agricultural office. Administration of public areas, that kind of thing. You know. Really? Is there something wrong with Lord Sinclair's gardens? No, no, everything's fine. I'm here on a private visit. I just wanted to get some fresh air. All right, let's get some information. You work for Lord Sinclair? Yes, I'm his gardener. It's a big estate he has here, you know. Huge. He needs somebody to look after things on a regular basis. Um. Can I help you? I like gardening. Oh my God, who Can the help fuck you? says I like that? Gardening. That's nice of you, but I have to do my work here myself. Lord Sinclair controls his employees very strictly. I don't want to get into trouble. Um, when did you start working here? When did you start working here? Oh, only a few months ago. That's because you got killed, right? Yeah. yeah after the last one died, obviously. Accident. What kind of accident? Lord Sinclair's last gardener. Murder. Surely not. What exactly happened? Nobody knows. He was found on the estate, directly under the window of oh my God. Sinclair's study. His lordship found him himself. And how did he die? Well, that was a terrible thing. He was literally slashed. Some madman must have crept onto the estate. <laughs> Does his lordship have any enemies? Well... Rich people are always envied, aren't they? His lordship leads a secluded life and avoids any kind of trouble. But I guess there must be some people who can stand him. People tell the most horrible stories about him here in the neighbourhood. And somebody even sent the police to his house. The police? Really? Shocking. Why? Because of the screams. <laughs> screams? What kind of screams? His lordship and his friends sometimes go into the forest and do strange screaming exercises. Pardon me? Yes, it's just... Just some strange quirk Just up in the rich you know what the aristocracy is <laughs> like. You said that somebody called the police. <laughs> yes, but of course they couldn't find anything. His lordship was questioned and fined, I think. But not because of the screams, 
because of the animal trophies in his drawing room. It was because he hadn't got a shooting license, wasn't it? Yes, I, I think that's right. How did you know? Oh, I just guessed. I have to go. Duty calls. Don't work too hard. Thanks. Have a good day. All right, we're going to commit arson. Legit. What, what is going on? There's no sound, by the way. It's just, like, <laughs> dead silent. So, we totally got seen doing that. So um... It wasn't us. Uh, it was the rapid movement of air. <laughs> Alright, we got his stole his shears after starting a fire. All right, we're going this way now, and we're going to cut our way into the mansion. <laughs> this is so stupid. Those are scissors. Oh, shit, you're right. <laughs> These are the shears. Although I don't think, I'm not sure this is the right place yet. Somewhere around here, I can use the shears. You just got to get that one spot. Here. This game's very, very, very much like that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know why it left there. Oh, my God. <laughs> what did you think? Oh, bullshit! It's electrified as well! Bullshit! Bullshit! Those shears wouldn't work oh, on Oh, they it. broke! Oh. Shears are broken. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, I mean, you wouldn't even been able to get one of them down. Watch this. Nothing happens. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, happens. maybe not. Hmm. Okay. You know what we're gonna use? No. No. Now the scissors are broken as well, but the yep. hole should be big enough now. And now we need to pull it open so we use the gloves. <gasps> Stop. You are Wait so. A minute. Fence is electrified. Full of fucking shit. All right, watch this as well, okay? You're full of shit, game. You're full of shit, game. We combine the scarf with the evidence bags to make no, padding. Not a chance. That's futile as well. I don't know. That's futile as well. What? Hang on. Janet's ugly scarf. Wrapped up in a plastic bag. Okay. No, not a chance. It won't work like that. Hmm. Stop, stop. Stop. Wait a minute. The fence is electrified. Yeah, we know. I'm not quite sure why this isn't working. Am I just clicking in the wrong place? It's entirely possible. You probably are. That won't get me any further. Hmm. That doesn't work. Hmm. That doesn't work. Here. Why don't you... Mm. That Try work. towards the up. Like up here? Like up where the things are broken but not pulled back yet. It would have surprised me if it had worked like that. Hmm. Maybe you need to open them with the gloves? Maybe. Like open it up, open up the top bit with the gloves. I'll and try then, again, you're right. And then do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's all the parts that were open. Now try, now the, try thing the back. The yeah. There we yeah, go. Yeah, there we go. Because I thought that was a pretty small hole. Yeah, that was very good call, actually, baby. Did the game freeze? No, I'm just thinking if there's anything else around here I need to grab. Yep, got a wire as well. Okay. Oh, and nobody saw you. Uh, I don't think that's actually true. <laughs> Nice of you to visit oh us. My you know God, my name? This is so stupid. Oh oh certainly. God. Lord Sinclair has been expecting you. He has? Is that boss of yours some kind of psychic or what? Why don't you ask him that yourself? Let's go. Let's go, Mr. Alligan. 
I heard a voice. I don't know why he game. keeps giving his real name to me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> He's like Ada Wong, the worst spy ever. <laughs> Just being like, hi, I'm Ada Wong. I'm a spy. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing how she's handled in Resident Evil 4 Remake, just to see if she's like exactly the same. <laughs> Mr. Halligan, it is a great pleasure to meet you in person at long last. The pleasure's mine. Would you mind telling your charming pet gorilla here to point his damn pistol somewhere else? Please forgive us this precautionary measure, Mr. Halligan. I happen to be a distrustful man. Jack. Lord Sinclair, now that we've met, there are a few questions I'd really like to ask you. Certainly, certainly. After dinner, I will answer any questions you deign to ask me. Until then, please be my guest. Jack. Please be good enough to show our guest to his chamber. You do not seem to be quite aware of the situation you are in, Lord Sinclair. I'm a detective from Scotland Yard. I don't want to have dinner with you. I'm here because of a series of murders in which you are a prime suspect. With all due respect, Mr. Halligan, I took you for a wiser man than that. If anyone here is unaware of the situation they are in, you are. I have asked you to be my guest at dinner. Please don't disappoint me by refusing. Otherwise, I will have to ask Jack here to persuade you to stay in his own way. I understand. I'm to stay here voluntarily. Because if I don't, you'll force me. Is that it? I'm glad we've settled that. Now, if you would please follow my friend Jack, he will show you to your room. We will discuss everything else in detail later, over dinner. What the fuck? Let's go. Do you know what's going on? Oh, no, because... can't hear. <laughs> I can't hear. And there's no subtitles on these. Yeah. Basically, uh, we've what been locked up. It's okay. <laughs> I don't want to be annoying. I don't want it to be annoying for you guys. So, like I said at the beginning of this playthrough, really? I'm just going to try brilliant. to piece locked together this. Lord Sinclair's house. <laughs> All right, time for the great <laughs> escape, guys. <laughs> oh, we've already got a seven. Eight. Do you want to check? Uh, not yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh, it's getting tonight, I guess? <laughs> Okay, then. Night has arrived. That's all I needed. That happened very quick. <laughs> Are we just going to car carry this giant ass pacing painting with us the entire time? We're knocking a nail out the wall with the painting. And we just got the nail. Okay. Okay. And now we're going to use the nail on the picture to open the canvas, of course. Okay. We already have broken scissors. I mean, they're still pointy. That is true. I don't know why we needed to do that. This is all part of my cunning escape plan, baby. Don't worry, all right? Okay. Why make me look here? when you're not going to say anything about anything. <laughs> you have to figure it out yourself, Bubba. Okay, we're meant to use the nail on these floor tiles to loosen them, okay? <laughs> oh, there we go. Had to be... Oh my fucking god. Surely they hear me doing this. I, apparently not. Apparently they're just fucking idiots. They don't see that! <laughs> you know what we're gonna do, right? Very, very... The basic... Oh, they're doing the screaming in the wood shit. What was that? <laughs> God. I wish 
did you Somebody's hear this? screaming out there in the forest. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> okay, so it's just the uh, the age old puzzle. This. I'd rather think about it again. That won't get me. Can't do. Can't do anything without the. Can key. I zoom in on anything here? Why don't you just turn the light on? It's dark. Yes! This is shocking, I know, but would you mind, like, I don't know, fucking doing this? <laughs> oh my god. I love the way he just doesn't turn the light on. Here we are, the key. We did it. Why did they keep the key in the lock? I guess the security guard isn't too smart. Ta-da! Crisis averted. Let's go. Okay, there is a problem here. There was clearly tile on the other side of that door, and there is only carpet, and I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to get to the forest, I guess, where the screams are going on, however we do this. Oh Obviously, as we're in here, instead of just leaving, we, we should explore thoroughly and get caught again. Oh yeah, that sounds like a great idea. They totally won't just blow my head off next time. I mean, I'm not even sure why they didn't do it the first time. Hey, what the... God, those eyelashes. Well, there's a ritual going on. Some shit! This isn't, this isn't in the wood. This is just in the back garden. Oh fucking god! How did they hear? How didn't they hear him run up? How did they not see him? Oh wow. Okay, that's oh that's oh that's that, fucking horrible. That oh that is gross. to eat the people? It looks like it, yeah. Well, Mr. Halligan, I don't believe I have introduced you to the gentlemen of my club yet. This is General Myers of the British Army. His name is Myers, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> Next to him is Bishop Stevens. This guy's a bishop? The Earl of Sutcliffe. The Earl of Sutcliffe, apparently. advisors. And the gentleman sitting beside you is Mr. Smothers from the Worldwide oh, Food Corporation. I'm sure you're curious to learn what our club is all about. But I would uh, suggest you have a bite to eat first. You look pale. You see, Mr. Halligan, you must know we have been following your investigations into these, shall we say, deaths in London for some time. I expect your experience in the park will have convinced you that we are, to a certain degree, responsible for these incidents. Why are you eating it? As you may have noticed, the meat we are eating at this meal has a rather unique flavor. It is human flesh, Mr. Halligan. This flesh is the source of life force, grants us strength and power. You will soon discover the incomparable feeling of power for yourself. It will be grander than any feeling you have ever felt. Very soon now, when the day of the ritual's completion has come, our power will be perfect. 
Then it will be time for the curse that will put an end to the wretched hustle and bustle of this world and make room for something grand and new. A world I love when villains give out their whole voice. plans. To rule the world. And he's still eating it. Your investigations had us he just said it was human flesh and he's still eating it. <laughs> even made plans to put a stop should have already known. A but you are a very lucky man. You will witness the great day yourself. And you will be there on the right side. For by eating this flesh, you have become one of us. Welcome to the circle. They're making him into Mr. a druid. Halligan. He's joining them. As a bad guy. Okay. Are we going to spend the rest of the game playing as Melanie? I, th I think so. I think so. Oh my god. What a twist, guys. I guess that's why it's a game over if you don't send this. Because, you know... He would have just joined them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, they're all so ugly. <laughs> and here we are, as her. And we gotta do breaking and entering. Alright, let's get going. Alright, baby, you ready for some stealth? You ready? Yes. Oh god, this is gonna suck so much. Ow! There are some stones here. Hmm. Okay, so see this bush here? Mm hmm And this bush here. These are both key, okay? We're gonna pick up these stones we've already got, and I'm gonna throw them over here. What was that? Let's have a look. Okay, so as soon as this guy's gone. <laughs> oh my god. And then in the window. Go, 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 go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't actually too bad at all. Like, the guide hyped this up as like some super challenging shit. No. Why now? Alright. This is like being in a ghost train. That must be Lord Sinclair's study. Alright, we're gonna drop a save here so we don't have to do that again. I think that's reasonable, right? Mm-hmm. Alright, we're in Lord Sinclair's study. So let's look around. A pentagram. A druid's <laughs> foot would suit Lord Sinclair better. Hmm. Oh no! This is a puzzle? Oh no. Oh, did I do it? Another beat just applied. I think we might have just done this without any... Let me just try something. Oh my god, we did it! <laughs> what the fuck? That was literally just me randomly clicking. I get lucky sometimes, you know. Yeah. Hmm. So anyway. I did it wrong, baby. Oh no. I think I have to go all the way around. Stupid fucking safe! Not getting lucky here. Okay. I would assume that maybe the thingy on that corresponds to the thingy on that? Maybe? Oh, maybe. Like this, you mean? Yeah, like the bead positions? I'm not sure, though. No, that d that seems a bit too on the nose. Yeah, it's like, there's just the things. Hang on, I hate the fact this doesn't reset, like it genuinely bothers me. Let me just start from the beginning again, alright? Okay. So, I did this kind of wrong, alright? Mm-hmm. Right, so we need to do 10 o'clock. 
Don't ask me why. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then one o'clock. Then six o'clock. There we go. What Voila! Do we have? Open. You're not French. How dare you? This is the it's amulet of Oh my it's god, we've got the fucking amulet again. <laughs> it seems to be really important for Lord Sinclair. Lord Sinclair stole the amulet? What? <laughs> I had no idea. And we got some kind of thing that she's not gonna talk about. Okay, fair enough. Alright. Oh, this is a cutscene. Oh shit! Mr. Halligan! God, what a relief! Oh no! What was that for? He's one of them! What's wrong, Brent? Why are you hitting me? Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, has he been brainwashed? Oh god, stop it! What's the matter with He doesn't recognize her. Recognize me? Brent, stop it! She is so stupid. <laughs> Just grab the fucking skull. Rent, bloody idiot. So it looks like he's been brainwashed and he's not actually evil. I would keep hitting him with the skull. Just again and again and again until he's dead. What? What happened? Rent, is that you? Do you recognize me? Of course I recognize you. Bloody hell, what's going on? Oh my god, I'm feeling sick. Everything's spinning. I had to hit you over the head. You were acting like a madman. Wait, I just have to get it together for a moment. Oh, Melanie, you can't imagine what I've gone through here. You ate human flesh, dude. <laughs> Gonna mention that? What happened? You threatened me. You tried to kill me. I did what? You tried to kill me, Brent. You hit me! Don't ever do that again! Do you understand? <laughs> Melanie, I didn't know what I was doing. I can't even remember hitting you. Oh God, Brent. What's this Sinclair done to you? How did you get here anyway? Have you been here long? I got your message. Can't you remember? I thought you might need help out here. Oh right, the copy. I had a look around the room, Brent, and I found the amulet Mr. Blake mentioned on the phone. Where? It was in Sinclair's safe. Together with the parchment. So Sinclair had it. I'm sure Mr. Blake will be interested in that. But now, tell me what's been happening here, Brent. What's Sinclair up to? Melanie, I saw how this Lord Sinclair killed somebody. What? When did you see that? And where? Last night. Here on the estate. Sinclair caught me immediately after my arrival and had me locked up. I could hear screams when I was in that room. Horrible screams. I escaped and ran outside to the forest behind the estate. And there I saw it. What did you see? Sinclair and some other men. They wore habits. And they were just about to cut a living human being into What do you mean, pieces. just about to? They were in the process his, of his doing that. His leg was fucked, dude. Oh, his leg and his arm were fucked. with my fucked. own eyes, Melanie. Horrible. And then you oh ate him. God. Yeah, you did. And what happened to you? Why didn't you recognize me? It must have had something to do with the food. What food? Sinclair and his friends invited me to their dinner. The food did something to me. Anyway, Sinclair had no compunction in telling me all about the circle and about their future plans over dinner. The circle wants to complete the ritual. And to put a curse on the world which will make us all their slaves. That's nonsense. No, Melanie. You've seen what these people did to me. They're mad. And they are serious. I'm sure what about that now. Wing? What's going on in there? Open the door! Open it at once! The guards, Brent! They're at the door! We have to leave! Open the door! Jack! Get the key! Yeah, Melanie, I think you're right. <laughs> we really should get out of here. And we should do it now. We made it. Oh my god! Oh god. I couldn't have taken it in that house even a second longer. Everything all right with you? Yes. I'm a bit out of breath. And you, Brent? My head is still throbbing a bit. But apart from that, I'm okay. We have to go, Melanie. Now. Where? To Mr. Blake. If anybody can tell us something about the incidents in this house, he can. Okay. Let's move. Mr. Blake, I'm what back the fuck? here. <laughs> There's a lot we need to tell you. We've experienced something simply incredible. Calm down, Mr. Halligan. 
let's discuss it all in peace and quiet. Well, perhaps you'd like to introduce me to the young lady? Oh, oh, of course. I almost forgot in all this excitement. Mr. Blake, this is Dr. Melanie Turner from the Anthropological Museum in Oxford. Oh, yes, of course. We spoke on the telephone. That's right. Pleased to meet you at long last, Mr. Blake. Now, what's been happening? Have you found out any more about the circle? Any more? It's a nightmare, Mr. Blake. Go on. Mr. Blake, we found the amulet. Mr. What? Blake, <laughs> where did that stop? The amulet you were talking about. <laughs> the amulet of transformation. You found it. My God. Show me. Yes, that's it. Where was it? In a hidden safe. In the office of the leader of this ominous circle. There was a parchment with it, with completely illegible signs on it. Here, take a look. Why isn't her mouth moving? Yeah, her, she, that, that's been happening throughout. Her mouth doesn't move. Like, if you look really closely, her like lips like like vibrate Does a little. Does that make any sense to you? Hmm. Very unusual runes. Like everyone else has full on piece. mouth on changes in hers. Like, you were saying women's you mouths are too hard to animate. The circle? It's too expensive. It? <laughs> <laughs> the circle is led by an aristocrat called Lord Sinclair. Lord Sinclair. Never heard of him. How did you find out? Research. Scotland Yard observed the group for a while. There was an entry in the database, so I drove out to his place. It's a pretty pretentious estate on Winchester Street. You drove out there all by yourself? Yes. That was rather careless of you, Mr. Halligan. You can say that again. He'd obviously been expecting me and had me locked up at once. What happened next? I witnessed a murder taking place. Murder? On Sinclair's estate? Yes, I saw them cutting the flesh from a human body, a live body. With a sickle? Yes. I knew it. What you witnessed was a ritual for the transfer of life force. Were you yes. seen? I passed out. When I came to, I was sitting at a late table with Sinclair and four other men. Was there food on the table? Yes, meat. You didn't eat any, surely? Yes, I did. Oh my God. I know. It was the victim's flesh. Yes. You have taken part in the ritual, Mr. Halligan. How on earth did you manage to get away? Miss Turner got me out. If it hadn't been for her, I wouldn't be here now. You're a brave woman, Miss Turner. What do we do now? Why don't we just send a police contingent round there? You're a detective, <laughs> Mr. Halligan. Why don't we just arrest him for murder? Like any normal situation. There will be anything to find by the time they get there. Sinclair and his friends are no fools. They'll proceed as they've done in all the other cases. They'll just dump the bones somewhere to save the police hunting high and low for a corpse. Scotland Yard will file it away. End of case. Hmm, how can we stop those people? How can we stop these people? I'm afraid we won't be able to. Lord Sinclair and his friends are untouchable, and every one of their rituals makes them more powerful. Hmm. Have you found out yet what stopped the completion of the ritual 1,000 years ago? I've deciphered the text a little further, but some of the signs are just completely unknown to me. I thought you said the amulet was important to the ritual. Yes, well, that's what the inscription says. Yeah, but then everything's all right now. After all, I've got it. Let's just melt it down, then this nightmare <laughs> will be That's a good plan, over. really, Mr. to be Mr. Halligan, fair. you're forgetting the ritual has already taken place. One thousand years ago, it just didn't reach perfection. Only part of the power was transferred to the infants. The inheritors are now trying to complete the their ritual. But if this amulet means so much to Sinclair, surely it must be needed for the perfection. I'm not so sure about that. Just destroy it anyway Sinclair on the off may be chance, interested in right? it for some mm. other reason. What makes you think that? The title written on the parchment you gave me. What does the parchment's title say? Unless I'm very much mistaken, the text refers to a place known as... Twelve Bridges. What kind of place is that? Twelve Bridges is an abandoned complex near Glastonbury. The bridges I think this is a real place, by the way. Ancient I think all these Celtic places are really, apart from this estate place stuff. As the mm. Gate of the Worlds. Gate of the Worlds? What's that supposed to be? You know, Mr. Helligan, the Celts did not regard reality and time as insurmountable facts. On the contrary, they regarded them as illusions, which man's laziness and ignorance 
made him incapable of overcoming. Celtic shrines were always special places that allowed them to leave the normality of everyday reality. Celtic myths claim that 12 bridges has been a consecrated site for millennia, a place where the body can step over into another time. Hmm. But nothing's ever been reported, I guess? I don't know. But nothing's ever been reported of such a journey. Well, that doesn't make it impossible, does it? The place has not been closely examined so far. It's too dilapidated. Just entering the place has taken a very serious risk. Anyway, nobody really believes in time travel anymore these I'm days. I'm guessing we're going to go time traveling. Why do they call the place 12 Bridges? It's a very strange arrangement of 12 stone bridges. Because there's 12 bridges there, No one idiot. knows why they were built that way. They probably weren't the first thing that was erected there anyway. The current bridge array dates from the early Middle Ages. If, as I suspect, that place has been a Celtic shrine for centuries, there are bound to have been other structures there at some point. Hmm. Why would Sinclair keep a parchment about that place in his safe? You see, Mr. Halligan, that's what I've been wondering. <laughs> if Sinclair knows that and so keeps weird. a parchment about it hidden in his safe, wouldn't it be conceivable that journeys through time really are possible from 12 bridges? You mean he wants to travel back in time? Well, he'd certainly be doing his best to make sure nobody else made that journey. Maybe Sinclair wants to prevent anyone from traveling back in time and disturbing the ritual. Why would anyone do that? And why would Sinclair be so <laughs> concerned about it? Why is he such a moron? It's easy. No ritual, no inheritors. No inheritors. Like, I could have told you that, and I'm not a professor. No Lord Sinclair. <laughs> I see. Of course, these are just speculations. As I said, Mr. Halligan, we need the oh, book from the library. I should be able to tell you more when I've translated He didn't actually say that, by the way. He just said that now. Thank you, Mr. Blake. I'll see what I can make of it. Hello, Mr. Blake. Hello, Melanie. Hello, Brent. How could you just leave like that? There was something I needed to see to. I have quite a few things to see to as well. We Could did! We discuss with Mr. Blake what's to be done next. Yes, Mr. Halligan. We have no time to lose. All right. What, what is Mr. going Blake, on? I have just one more question. We already said this. Oh my god. Are we never. I are we you stuck? said the amulet was important to the ritual. Yes, well, that's what the inscription says. Yeah, but then everything's all right now. After all, I've got it. Let's just melt it down. Then this nightmare will be over. I can't Mr. skip this, Halligan, so we'll just You're forgetting it. the ritual uh, has already 20 taken minutes. place. 1,000 years ago, it just didn't reach perfection. Only part of the power was transferred well, to the infants. The inheritors are now trying to complete their ritual. But if this amulet means so much to Sinclair, surely it must be needed for the perfection. I'm not so sure about that. Sinclair may be interested in it for some other reason. What makes you think that? The title written on the parchment you gave me. <sighs> we have to go through all of this, right? Yep. Can you read what the parchment says? The I think I'm just going to do it all school for this on one just to be safe. I'm working on, but I'm just not getting anywhere with it. And I'll just all send you the text thing the like I've been so doing for the other ones. The yeah. I need a special book to continue. The okay, Celtic this is it. This is what we missed. Graphic system by Scott M. Winfield. Oxford University Library should have it. Mr. Yeah, Halligan, we missed the one dialogue please click. Please get me a copy of that book. I believe the translation of this parchment is the key to Lord Sinclair's intentions. Thank you, Mr. Blake. That's all for now. Very well, Mr. Halligan. Good luck. All right, let's see if that works. Okay. Okay, what timestamp is this? Hang on, let's see if it's on the map first before we read the timestamp. Yeah, she's coming with us. We just this fucked thing up. Is getting more and more mysterious. I can't believe what Mr. Blake said. We have to find out why Sorry this amulet this. We have to is leave so this bit important out. to Sinclair. I mean, perhaps you Mr. Could Blake just... is right, <laughs> and the amulet is the key to preventing the ritual. I expect we'll know more as soon as the translation of the parchment is finished. I have to go to Oxford, Melanie. I have to get the book for Mr. Blake. Yes, of course. That's fine by me. I really need to check a few things at home. Where shall we meet later? I'll get in touch with you as soon as I have any news. Okay? All right. I'll be off then. Okay, Melanie. See you later. 22 minutes. Cut back. You know, Nunkin, you, I could just put a note for you to say, oh, don't actually cut that full. <laughs> you, you, can, you can do that. All right. We're heading off to Oxford Library. 
Yes, it's on the map now. Thank fuck for that. Library of Oxford. I hate the way you can miss, like, one line of dialogue and it fucks everything. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so stupid. And then you have to go through the entire conversation again. It's one of the biggest flaws of this game. Um, I was going to look at the car, but I was merging with it. It looks like it has a car alarm. Yeah, I think this is actually important. Alarm protected. Okay, bear that in mind, alright? Bear that in When we commit crimes, alarms are our enemy, usually. Usually, anyway. I like the pigeons. The detail on this is actually not bad. But my legs are merging through the floor right now. But yeah, they're the crimes. Crimes. Alright, let's talk to this lovely, very, I'm sure, helpful assistant. Excuse me, I'm looking for a book. Oh, how nice for you. Quite. Do you think you could help me? Help you? Why? Because it's your fucking job? Because the book I'm looking for is a rare one. We may not even have it then. Who knows? Was there anything else, young man? You don't seem to understand. I'm asking you to be good enough to assist me. I don't have much time, so if you would be so kind... I'm not being paid for being kind, or for helping you. Then what's your fucking job then? <laughs> Alright. All I want to know is where I might find the Celtic orthographic system. I can't say. <laughs> Can I just say? With all these books, you surely can't expect me to he know He keeps calling the book a different name to what the subtitles say. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, you should know where the book is. You should be able to just look it up with the Dewey Decimal System or whatever other system you have. You must have a system of organization somewhere. It's so stupid. 543,000, the magazines included. Great. And I've got to look through them all. Is this the first time you've been to a library? Libraries that have organization. They don't just throw the books on the shelves. No. Well then, go to the computer and check the database. Okay. Mm. I'll see what I can do by myself then. You do that. God, what a bitch. What an absolute bitch. We need to find the computer then anyway. Here it is. There's someone using it. The only computer. The massive... Oh my god, look at the screen. Excuse me, sir. Mm. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Mm. Uh... Are you going to be long? I need to use the computer. Hmm, just a minute. It won't be long. Uh, do you know about that car outside? I wonder if it's his car. Do you car. know whose car that is outside? Out in the forecourt? That's my car. Why? Thing is, if he leaves now, it won't, it won't, we'll only get to now sit the there for a second. The side I don't think it's going to work. Properly. Oh well. It's a nice day. It can't hurt to let some air in. Uh, okay. Isn't that taking rather a risk? No. After all, the car's just outside the door. It's quite I don't safe. think it works like that, really, does it? Although, to be fair... Well, just say, oh, well, that's all right, then. Yeah. Oh, well, that's all right, then. All right, so we need to get this guy to move. Okay. Why don't we just throw something at the car? Uh, we have a much more elaborate plan than this. Alright. We need some books. I mean, I know there's books on the shelves, but we need some easy to steal books that aren't rare. Okay. Because they have, like, those security things, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. In case you take the thing in. Take the thing in. Alright. We'll head out here. There's gonna be there's gonna be some shit book somewhere that we need to get one of. Because you know what the number one thing to help break into a car is? A book, apparently. <laughs> I would have thought like a coat hanger, but no. Yeah. The answer is one of these books by the looks of things. Perfect. What could go wrong? Alright. Let's head back outside. Time to do some breaking and entering. Okay, so actually I was right about something, by the way. Because remember when we broke through the fence? We got a piece of wire when we cut the fence? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I say stop right there. What's the matter? Don't you dare act the innocent. You're trying to steal that book. Who, me? Steal a book? No, oh my Madam, God. I'm a detective. 
They're always the worst. Anyway, I can see it. If you want to borrow a book, be good enough to come over to my desk first. Oh, I just... Uh, oh, this one? Oh, uh, um, nothing, it's not worry about this it. One? There must be some mistake. I was lost in thought, you see. It must have slipped <laughs> oh my into God, my pocket. It's so bad. Don't you lie to me. <sighs> Just how often do you think I've heard that one? Now put the book back and be grateful that I'm not having you thrown out. Okay, so we have a book still. Do we have the book still or does she take it? I went the wrong way, didn't I? We still have the book. All right. Chuck it out a window? No, you know our dear friend in here, right? He's very lost in thought. Okay. So what we're going to do is put the book in his pocket, right? And because we've already pissed her off, when he goes to check out his car alarm after we break and enter it, she's going to be really mad at him for stealing the book. Okay? This is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's go and break and enter into the, into the car and set the alarm off. Because he's going to panic, right? And then run out to the car, even though the alarm's going off here as well. And Ooh. she's going to have to chase him. <laughs> Bebba was so smart. <laughs> this is completely un... It's like, it's like the shit with a cat just to knock the bucket over to get some salt off the side of the fucking boat. This game suffers from, like, we the worst We still puzzles. have that poor bastard's fishing line, too. Yeah, we do. We have everything. <laughs> I think it's this. Imagine playing this game without a guide, it would be insane. Like, Grim Fandango was so hard without a guide, and this makes even, like, no sense at all. Mrs. <laughs> 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 Hastings, what are you doing? Who? Me? Nothing. I must be off to my car. My alarm just went off. Professor? What's that book you're carrying? Book? I don't have a book. Please don't joke now, Mrs. Owen. I have to see to my car. What's this then? But how the devil? That's impossible. I didn't take this book. Then how did Does it? Does she get have X-ray vision? There must be some guess mistake. So. A, a very regrettable mistake, Mrs. Owen. I assure you. I like your nerve, Professor Hastings. You steal a book and then try to deny the whole thing ever happened. I'm very disappointed in you. Mrs. Owen, you've known me for 20 years now. You ought to know that I'd never... All I know is that I'm going to have to put this on record. Please come along over here to the issuing counter, Professor. You will have to fill in a form. Yes! <laughs> Get off that PC, loser. I would just ignore her and just go to the car anyway. Yeah, I probably would too, to be honest with you. Or just throw the book on the floor and do it. You know, that's easy, right? Mm hmm <laughs> Just a little bit of illegal actions again. So... Oh my god, the camera is so... Like, it takes ages to, like, go the right way sometimes. Mm -hmm. And you sort of run off the screen. Why do they only have one computer, for God's sakes? Yep. I mean, I'm not surprised when... This is, like, early 90s, I think, so... No, I mean, even then, you should at least have two. No, it's 1999! Okay, yeah, there's less excuse. <laughs> what the fuck?! <laughs> Oh, wow. Books found one. Displaying one of one. Old Celtic alphabets, Vienna. What? Okay. 48 slash 3 CB. Great. <laughs> Great. Can't wait. Well, we know where it is now, apparently. I fully understand. It's... C? Yeah, row C. Uh, area B of row C, I think. I don't know. It's been a long ass time since I've needed to do a library thing. Let's try and find row C. It's one of these. This room is massive, by the way. Oh, here's row C. Okay. Can we just go in there? Okay. Hmm. Is 
Is he doing something? I'm just clicking randomly on the books. Oh, we got it! I think. Okay, that was pretty easy. Let me just make sure it's the right book. Yeah, let's... I should think up something. That's the book I was supposed to get for... Book. Yeah! The Celtic Orthographic System. Okay. Okay. By Scott M. Winfield. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Can we check the book out? Yes, let's check the book out. Although, she might stop it. She might be like, this is rare, we'll see. <sighs> I have a plan. <laughs> a genius plan. We kill her, and then leave. You again? Haven't you found your book yet? No. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. Look, I'd really appreciate your Fuck off! It's because I didn't click on her with the book. Young man. Mm. <laughs> I'll see what I can do by myself then. You do that. It's so stupid, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Here, madam. I found the book I was looking for. I'd like to borrow it. This one? Yes. Is there something wrong with it? You bet there is. This is our reference copy. What's that supposed to mean? I can't lend it to you. You will have to read it here. You can't be serious, surely. I need this book. I have to take it to someone. You heard me. All right, forget it. All right, it's okay. I have a, I have a cunning plan. <laughs> the most cunning plan since cunning plans were ever invented, baby. It's okay. so stupid. She's like, oh, this is our reference copy. We just have it, like, you know. They're hardback, so I'm going to change the cover. See? The cover of this history book is a perfect fit for the book I want to borrow. <laughs> That's actually pretty smart, right? I mean, until she fucking opens the book. She's not going to right, read it. Right, I've finished here. I found a different book that interests me. I assume you'll let me borrow this one. We'll see. What have we here? Let me see. Oh, the Roman monetary system and fiscal policies. Yes, you may borrow this one. And just think. I've actually read this one. What a coincidence. A brilliant piece of work. Very vivid. Oh, God. And never gets boring. You know, I wanted to be a historian. And Roman coins were my special field. But then I met my husband here at the university. He was working on his doctorate thesis at the time. And, well, you know how it is. I could discuss Roman coins for hours. Um, madam, this is all highly interesting. But I do <laughs> really want to borrow this book. Oh, yes, of course. Forgive me. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you for the book and your great help. Oh, I do hope you're not angry with me. Oh, she likes him now. Anyway, I can help you. Please, don't hesitate to tell me. Not for the moment, thank you. I really must be off now. Naturally, naturally. See you soon. See you soon. You're never getting this book back, woman. <laughs> you're never getting this fucking book back. That's really dangerous. I just saw the kid up there sitting on the edge. Oh, really? Is that kid at the top sitting on the edge? What the fuck? Alright, let's take this back to Arthur. We never actually seem to have a vehicle, do we? We're just, like, here. Yeah, we're just running. Running like a little donkey very slowly. I'm glad you can at least run. Imagine if he walked everywhere. I mean, he does this weird slow run. Yeah, I think that's something to do with the game being old, like, and, you know, the frame rates. Arthur Blake. Anyway. Ring the doorbell at Arthur's house and give him the book. And then we can head to 12 Bridges and go back in time is the plan, I think. And then kill, kill a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> kill five babies, there's five of them. Here Unless you are. we just kill the Here's one. Here's the book you asked for. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Halligan. Well, did you have any difficulties with Mrs. Owen at the issuing counter? None I couldn't handle. Good. I killed her. i get to work at <laughs> once. Oh, uh, by the way, Mr. Halligan, Ms. Turner called about an hour ago. She's worried about you because you haven't it's been... It's been about 30 minutes! Time. Did she say that? Yes. She said she needs to speak to you urgently. Do you mind if I use your phone? No need. I asked her to come out here and join me. She should be arriving any minute now. So we just spent hours driving back and forth in this translation tape. Yes. Not long, I hope. The book will be a great help. You'd better just wait here for a moment. I'll just take a look around then, if you don't mind. Of course not. Be my guest. I don't know what. Oh, okay. Well, she's here now. Mr. Halligan, there you that are. That was fast. I've been looking everywhere for you. 
Well, I had to get Mr. Blake. We told you we were getting the book. a long time. I've been phoning around asking for you. You've been trying to get hold of me? Yes. I also went to Scotland Yard and spoke to your chief. He's a bit cross with you. Cross with me? Why, what have I done now? Lord Sinclair's planning to bring charges against you for burglary. What? I don't believe it. That old devil Sinclair seems to feel he's pretty safe, doesn't he? It looks that way. It seems he has very influential friends in the police force. Whatever, your chief asked me to tell you that you're suspended. Effective immediately. Oh, and the they wouldn't get some rando to, to tell you that. expects you to give him a comprehensive report in writing. What? He can't be serious. Don't tell me he's handing the case back to that thick-headed big mouth Lowry. I wouldn't know. All he said was that he expects you to hand the file to him as soon as you get back to the yard. I certainly will not. This business is just too important to let go. I don't care what the chief says. I'm going to carry this case through on my own. Oh, cutscene. Oh my god. What's going on out there? What is happening? The ritual has finished and now uh, they're going to have to go back in time to do the thingy. Because the current time is going to be fucked. Leave me. Oh, Get out of the he looks stuffy like <laughs> He's got a different voice in this cutscene too! Get out of here! You get out Don't of worry here. About it. I'll follow you. Get out of here! Quickly! He punches the tires on his wheelchair. I'm sorry, you couldn't have wheeled him while you were running? It would be really fucking easy. Wheels are very fast. Apparently this was just a threat that the, the ominous voice just said. Looks quite more than a threat to me. Oh well. I can't move or skip this or anything. Oh, God. oh there we go. Mr. Blake! I have to go back and get him out of he there. Dead. Are you crazy? Don't go. It's pointless. You can't <laughs> help him anymore. He's dead. Melanie's spitting yeah. facts. You're right. Oh my God, what an inferno. Let's get out of here, Melanie. Otherwise, we'll be. Yeah, next. let's not call the Where police. Where can we go? To Scotland Yard? No, that's not a good idea. The chief inspector's waiting for me there. We'd only lose time. And Sinclair is getting more and more powerful with each new murder. So what can we do? You heard what Mr. Blake said. Sinclair has the power to complete the ritual. No matter what we do, for the time being, nobody can stop him. Then we're lost. No, Melanie. We have one chance left. What do you mean? We have to go to 12 bridges. We have to try to move the gate of the worlds. If we want to stop Sinclair, we have to stop those who gave him his power a thousand years ago. You believe in that gate of the worlds thing? It's just a myth, a fairy tale. The question is not whether I believe in it, Melanie. The question is whether we have any other options. You're right. Come on, then. <laughs> well, that was... You, you were won over pretty quick there. <laughs> Surely this isn't a real place. I don't think this is a real place, though. There might be a place called 12 Bridges in the UK, but it, it definitely does not look like this. Like, no fucking way. There's a place called Wade Bridge. <laughs> Bridge is like a really popular name in the UK, actually. Caution. Danger. This place is just incredible. Yes. It's beautiful. But also rather ramshackle. Just like Mr. Blake told us. Okay, let's have a look around. Alright. Save our game. It's been a while. Let's keep going. Oh, way, she's just standing there, by the way. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't go near it. <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to look at this first. We need to make sure that they know it's dangerous. <laughs> C. 
see. We need these. How else are we gonna get across the gaps, huh? That is the stupidest idea. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, a piece of plywood is gonna support your fucking weight. <laughs> Right, one of the piles is almost complete. This one, I think, is the right one. The music is intense here. I know you can't hear it, but I swear it is. <laughs> She's referring to me, guys. Yeah, everyone else can hear it. Okay, we found it. Bebe. Here? Excuse me. That was beautiful, Bebe. This is so dumb. I don't know why we can't just walk up it. There's, there's, you could easily do that, right? Without any problems, in my opinion. We're going to have to go like this and pick them up gradually. Look. You know what I mean? You see what we have to do? Like we're climbing a ladder with only one rung. It's basically what this is. So then we pick up this one. Yeah, see? This is so dumb! Why don't we just... How is this any safer than just <laughs> grabbing onto the wall on the edge? Okay, they did just fall. No, that fell. That was close. Right? That oh fell, God. but the Are solid okay? bit where they can yes, clearly I'm fit, because right. I can you see her little nerve, feetsies. Brent Halligan. How dare you upset me like that? You could have got killed. It's all right, Melanie. I'm still alive. Don't you ever do that again, do you hear me? Yeah, stop arguing and just get on with the all fucking right. thing, because standing on these is even more dangerous. <laughs> Just balancing on that wall. Like, I can see her feetsies, and that part isn't falling. I can see it's not falling. Just, like, supporting all your weight on a little piece of plywood. It's so fucking stupid, it's unbelievable. Have I, have I made it? I can't do anything. Fuck. Are okay. you too far? Oh, no. Oh, he, no. There, he's just done it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Melanie? Melanie? I, made I made it! I'm on the other side! Not that far apart. Great, friend. What's it like over there? Interesting. We can see each other. There's a rather strange <laughs> tower with some sort of scales in front of it. No idea what it's used for. Come here and see for yourself. I can't, Brent. You've got both boards on your side. Oh, damn. That's true. Brent, how much do you weigh? What? How much do you weigh? Your weight. 500 pounds. About 160 pounds. Why do you want to know? I'm much lighter than you. The bridge won't collapse when I use it. I'm coming over now. Melanie, Melanie don't. don't! Stop at once! Stop the at bridge, will, the bridge collapse. will collapse! Oh god, is she gonna die? Probably. It's gonna prove me wrong, isn't it? Well... We can't get back. You probably should have crawled over, instead of like... Isn't that a thing you do on ice to disperse your weight so it won't crack? Yeah, but I'd be a bit more worried about falling to my death. Mmm, <laughs> true. Alright, we need to get- there's an elaborate mechanism here, and we've got a bunch of things to do to go back in time, so let's sort this out. Amulet transformation into this box- this bucket, first of all. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, is it like the breakfast machine? Yeah, but now we're gonna use this plank on the door so we can take the amulet out again. So, like, it jams, you know what I mean? Jumps? No, I don't know what you mean. You know what jams means, right? No. I think you do know what jams means. <laughs> Perfect. Right, while we're here, we're also going to steal this screw that we can apparently unscrew by hand. And not immediately get a thousand years worth of tetanus? Mm-hmm. Hot damn, that is a long and thick screw. Long and thick, huh? Mm. And full of tetanus. And we got the hook as well. Alright, now we can go into this tower. Wonderful. 
Right? Sure. Alright. I wanted to try and grab the thing again, but I can't... It's hard to tell. You know, like... It's so dark... It's it's very hard. Oh, there? There. Do you see it? I don't think this is a good idea. Hey, look at that. This I would have never fixed that really a million years, by the way. Hourglass. Like clicking on a pixel that's almost <laughs> invisible. Hmm. Alright, we have a screw here. Alright, this one we can't unscrew by hand, but we can unscrew it with these, apparently. I will say that's a little bit clever of them. To reuse, like, the stuff from before. Oh yeah, it does this a lot, actually, I've noticed. You ready to go back in time, baby? to be in a little bucket on top. That was amazing. That was that was truly something special. How are we alive? This reminds me of Bug Island falling into that time rift. <laughs> oh yeah, that had a time thing too. Bizarrely. We haven't moved even a single inch from where we started out. Shut the fuck up. You obviously have. The bridge is a hole again. If you ask me, the bridges are still whole. We've landed in a time when this whole place was still completely intact. We've travelled back in time. Do you really think so? They've worked it out. Uh oh, here comes company. Hi. They look like soldiers. No panic. Let's find out what they Why are. Why are they so... Okay. We got knocked out. First, they put the woman in the kitchen. Oh, I must have. You got punched in the face. Where are we now, Brent? Brent, are you there? Nothing. Damn. Where am I? Looks like a kitchen. Let's All right, go. we're back in. The, we're in the past now, I guess. And like all women in medieval times, Melanie is in the kitchen. I already made that joke. Oh well, I stole it again. Okay. Oh no, stole it within the first three seconds. Yes. Well, this is the same video for them. So. Don't I, just cut, about it. I just cut out your joke and leave mine in. That's so rude! <laughs> <laughs> we actually genuinely have a cooking puzzle on our hands here, it looks like. Oh my god, <laughs> uh, Okay. Oh, they're different herbs, I think? Oh, we get different herbs from each one, it looks like, when we click on them. Oh my god, our inventory is going to be so full of just random junk. Oh, mind you, she doesn't have the other guy's inventory, does she? So, you know, I've forgotten his fucking name since the last time we played. What is his name? Do you know? Who? The main character. I have been listening to this muted. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I know who Melanie is. I have Hagen? no idea who the main character is. Hagen? Hagen? Maybe. Heligan? Heligan, that's it. Well done. <laughs> I need these as well. Okay. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, what is this? This is something? I thought it was a barrel. Okay, we have... What is this? 
The medieval book of recipes. Yeah, we're gonna cook. Let's see what it says. Seems like a great idea to do now. Well, I'm not gonna worry about that at the moment. Oh, how to make a sleeping drink. That sounds good. To mac a strang sleeping drink. Tack twa ounce in of the crimson and an ounce of the golden. This isn't voiced. Mix twa ounce in of the green from an ounce in an ounce. That hot drink maketh thee sleep good. Great. That was very bad, by the way, old English by me. Alright, let's have a chat with these nice gentlemen who punched this. What have we here then? Look, John. The Danish hall's woken up. What? Who are you? We are King Ethelred's soldiers. We protect his kingdom from scum like you. He was a he was he was a king during Viking times, and I guess they mistook us for Vikings. <laughs> Is what's happening here? What have you done to Brent? Do you hear that, John? She wants to know what you did to the lad that was with her. Oh, the us is worried about him. You must like him a lot, eh? John, what did you do to the poor man? I just chopped off his ears. What? You still don't look bad, though. What? You monsters! Now, now. John's in a good mood today. He always jokes around when he's in a mood like that. Your friend's unarmed for the moment. <laughs> What are you going to do to him? Unless he tells us what day your king's planning to start his invasion, he won't be feeling too good. Eh, and he'll lose a few more body parts than just his ears. Depend on it. Okay. So... <laughs> how do they explain her not speaking Danish? And how come they don't talk like the weird writing in the book and can understand what she's saying? You know what? I was thinking that as this was going on, like reading this, uh, the text and whatever. Yeah. And this happens in basically every we transported back in time a stupid amount. You would not be able to physically understand each other even though you're speaking the same language. I'm sorry, I'm moving away from that microphone. No, you're right. What though. invasion, damn You it. wouldn't I be able to. An invasion, and neither <laughs> it, it, does Brent. It's ridiculous. You know very well what I'm talking it's about. English. The next oh, Danish geez. invasion. But I promise you this. This time, King Ethelred will be ready. We will slaughter okay. you the moment you set foot <laughs> on English you. soil. Okay, so that he said King Ethelred will be ready. Ethelred was literally called King Ethelred the Unready because he got so fucked by the Vikings. Well, that's probably the joke. <laughs> yeah, that, that is the joke, yes. That, I mean, that is the joke. But the fact that I know that and I'm such a British history nerd that I know that makes me fun. Makes me I, I, I'm, I'm just happy that we didn't. I didn't have to learn every single <laughs> every fucking monarch. king. I had to learn a lot of your monarchs, but I didn't have to learn every single one. And I'm very happy about that. Listen to me. It probably would have taken Dr. me a Melanie long time. I am Dr. Melanie Turner from... Oh, that would probably be too complicated for you, I suppose. I don't know how many there are. Complicated? What kind of a word do you call that, then? Stop talking Danish to me, girl. I'm English. Of course. And that's why you're speaking <laughs> Danish. Okay, that, that's better. Is it? Danish? Whatever gave you that idea? Save your breath, woman! This isn't the first time we found Danish spies around here. And that ridiculous, childish disguise of yours <laughs> isn't gonna help you either. Yes, I suppose I must look strange to you, but I can explain. There's no I need for that. Are they trying to we explain. know all about you. Your king's preparing for another invasion. And you're the spies of his vanguard. But I'm sure your strange friend will soon tell us what we need to know. Until then, you'll stay in here to keep us a little company. Oh, that was creepy oh, as fuck. Company? And what exactly do you call company? <laughs> you'll soon find out. Oh my sure god. You'll enjoy it. If you dare touch me, I swear I'll scratch your eyes out. And I swear that unless your friend tells us the truth about what you two are doing here... You will die, both of you. What a nice man. We're looking for a druid order. Druids? That proves it. You're conspiring with British heathens oh, against on. our king. But you may depend upon it that King Ethelred's revenge will be terrible. I guess he's king of the Saxons and they're that's separate to British at this point. 
I don't know. I'm really confused. But you must let us go. You've no idea how important this is. Important? For your war, I suppose. Do you take me for a fool? Forget it, hussy. You two are staying right here with us. Now stop your grumbling. Get in the kitchen, Danish woman. Tidy up and get us something to drink. Oh, just leave me alone, you bastards. Well, that went well. Well, of course, it went about as well as you think it would be, you trying to say you're a fucking doctor in the historical context. All right, we got, we got some things we need to do here, okay? Our plan is obviously to make a sleeping potion, by the way, to knock them all out. Because they're idiots. I was going to try this. I think something's meant to happen in here. John! So. There we go. Celebrations are due! Our pay has arrived! Ten pieces of silver for each of us! Ten nice, polished pieces of silver at one ounce each. You again. What do you want now? I told you to hurry up and serve us. Um, what can I get you? Well, what can I get you? In God's name, stop asking stupid questions. Bring us some wine and meat and hurry. Yes, very well. Pain in the neck. And hold your tongue, woman! <laughs> I'm going to just keep talking. I want to just put... our drinks, I've got, I've got a push. I couldn't find any wine or meat in the kitchen. What? John, you numbskull. I thought I told you to go to the market and buy some provisions. Why me? Blast it. Let her go. The lazy so-and-so. Do you want her to escape? <laughs> yeah, just let, let me go. It's what fine, I'll go. What a fool you are. Don't call me a fool. Then don't be a fool. Then I won't call you one. I said, don't call me a fool. Excuse me. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want me to get you? I don't care. Damn it. Think of something. Bring us something to drink. Bring us tea. We'll go and buy some provisions when we finished interrogating your okay. friend. When will that be? I'm angry. John, just <laughs> shut up, will you? I like you? John. I could offer you something other than tea. She said that in a sultry way. <laughs> Don't worry so, about it. Uh, a love potion. A love my potion. Own recipe. Oh, Are you fucking well, stupid? Um, that doesn't sound too bad. Perhaps you're not so much of a cow as a thought. Why is they sold on a love Perhaps, potion? Were honest, they like, this is sussy? I've always had a soft spot for men who know what oh, they God, want. Oh, God, she's flirting with them. <laughs> Oh hey, God. I like that. <laughs> Why don't you just come a little closer? All right. What'd you make of that, John? <laughs> that girl's quite. Oh my tight. God, this guy is such a creep. What wonderful equipment you have, soldier! Oh my God, she's. I'm um, just Isn't don't. It just... <laughs> and it's all been christened with the blood of my enemies. The with the hand motions, it makes it worse. If you like, and then. Bring me that potion you were talking about. You'll have to be patient. I must brew it first. All right, we have to brew the potion. I'm gonna grab this as well, steal his money. We need this to weigh out the med thing on the scales. This is, I hate scale puzzles, by the way. They're like one of the worst things in adventure games, but like every adventure game in like a certain era insisted on having them. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm going to save, because apparently you can fuck this up and get a game over. And okay. I probably will fuck this up. Whew. I hate this kind of shit, baby. I really do. Because it is like... I know it's not... It is like a bit like math, and that really confuses... Or does it count as math? I don't know. Okay. Alright, so we need to weigh out an ounce of each of the herbs, all right? So we need to go through each of the six herbs. A weed, or maybe a herb. It smells of menthol. Okay. Okay. Yep. 
This bit seems automatic, which is good. Although we had to sit through the cutscene every time, I guess, but, you know. Right. That's exactly one ounce of the herb. Okay, I guess we just do this. Dried leaves. I don't know which plant they come from. Fine, we'll just do this six times, I guess. Right. That's exactly one ounce of the herb. Okay. Right. That's exactly one ounce of the herb. Are we going to need multiple amounts of each one, though? I don't... Hang on, have I been doing the same one? It's hard to tell. Because it's pushed it down. I just realised it's been pushing it down my inventory. I, I don't even know which one's which, to be honest with you. This herb smells of cinnamon. Okay, we've got cinnamon. Dried leaves. Dried. A weed, or maybe a and herb. And menthol. Okay. A weed, mm -hmm. or maybe dried leaves. This herb smells. Okay, of so cinnamon. we're on this one now. Those leaves are sort of fleshy. Maybe herbaceous. They come from a herbaceous plant. Herbaceous. What the fuck does that mean? Right. That's exactly one ounce of the herb. Okay. So now we need the last two. Those leaves are sort of fleshy. We already did that one. This weed feels strange. Okay, so Almost spongy. Like a sponge. I wish she'd just say what the fuck they are. I know she doesn't know, but like that's surely gonna make it this really difficult if we don't right. know what they are. That's exactly one ounce of the herb. I need to do some extra amounts of other ones as well for the recipe, unfortunately. Right. That's exactly one ounce of the herb. We need to make another ounce of the dried herb. Weed, or maybe a herb. Okay. Dried leaves. Which is that one. I don't know which and one more of the cinnamon from. for the recipe. Right. That's exactly one ounce of the herb. So I have a stupid question. Mm -hmm. Those leaves are sort of fleshy. This herb smells You can of tell cinnamon. how much it is because you know, like, that's an ounce. Yeah. But, like, how do you confirm that's an ounce if you need something that's an ounce to compare it to? Right. I that's don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to question it. <laughs> I trust in the process, okay? I'm sure there is a way, and I'm sure we're gonna get wrecked, and I'm gonna get wrecked in the comments for asking that question. That's but I just unseen. assume the first thing. This feels strange. Those leaves are sort of fleshy. Don't worry, you can talk about that. I'm just maybe listening they to okay. herb. Smells of dried Like the leaves. first thing that was made that was like an ounce. Maybe they decided this is an ounce. Smells of menthol. Dried leaves. Did they just like hold on to that? I don't know which plant they come from. And a weed, or may those leaves. This herb smells of cinnamon. I don't cinnamon. know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm this asking. I guess that makes sense. Turn red. But, uh. Okay. Hang on, where are the other ounces that I just did? There's only... Can we only hold one at a time? Oh, that's so fucking stupid. <laughs> are you sure you're not... Like, I need those... cinnamon. I need cinnamon again. This weed feels strange. Those leaves are sort of fleshy. Dried leaves. A weed. Or maybe yeah, a herb. these are just the big ones again smells now. Of men this herb smells of cinnamon. See, like I can put it in here. That's really annoying. They just vanish if you already had one. Oh, that's so dumb. <laughs> this game has its quirks, doesn't it? Mm. And by quirks, right. I mean shitness. That's exactly one. All right, so now cinnamon. Weed. Or no. Maybe dried leaves. Those leaves are sort of. This weed feels. Str that smells of anise. Oh, where the fuck has it gone? Oh, it's over. Oh my god. Oh no, no, you're right. This okay, it's fine. Smells of cinnamon. Right, another one of cinnamon. Okay, that goes in there. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's still be red. Okay. Then we need the dried herbs. Dried leaves. Okay, so we put one of those in. It they should go yellow. Is that from? yellow? I don't fucking know. It's like brownie, brownie yellow. Yeah, I'm need to get the dried herbs again here. A weed, dried leaves. This might be wrong. Like this, it could be different than the patch version of this or something. You know what I mean? 
Mm. But we'll figure it out eventually, even if we have to cut back, guys. So, more dried. Mm -hmm. Right. That's exactly one ounce of the herb. A weed, or maybe a... Those leaves are sort of Isn't fleshy, it behind dried the leaves. Yeah. I don't know which plant they come from. All right, and then finally, it should be aniseed. That smells of aniseed. The water in the bowl is That's it, we did it. Clear. We did it. The water in the bowl is absolutely clear, it says. Yeah, that's the right, that's the right solution. Okay, so we now have the potion. All right. Let's see if they'll drink it. You ready, Bubby? We're gonna get some soldiers sleeping. Okay, and then we're going to steal this shit and laugh at them. Okay. There. That ought to get you going. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good anyway. What is it? It looks like As fire. I said, I love potions. Oh, just, you wouldn't drink it, would you? Bah! It doesn't taste all that good. But it'll work. Just wait and see. I should hope so, because I'm getting tired. Very tired. Alright, we'll go in and out of the room and I bet they're asleep when we come back. Nope. Nope. Alright. <laughs> well, I don't know what to do then. <laughs> just give them a just, minute. Just hope they don't recognize it and come in and literally stab that you to death. Do it. There we go. Dream okay. <laughs> alright, alright. Jesus Christ, that's ri that that that's that scared ball. me. <laughs> All right. All right, we got the key to his cell. Now we got to find Brent. That's his name. Yeah. Yeah. Brent Dickinson. She, she, she Brent? Said his name. Melanie, at last, I'm here, over here. All right, I've got all these stupid fucking herbs clogging up my inventory now. <laughs> at last, wasn't I quick enough for you? This really is one hell of a rat's nest. Where are we anyway? I think this is an outpost of the British Army. It seems a number of wars were fought in this area a thousand years ago. Great. That's simply wonderful, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe we should have read a few history books before we came here. Maybe Where are the we should soldiers have just now? Things to do at all. I made them a drink that <laughs> seems to have had the desired effect. Well done, Melanie. Now let's get out of here. Unlock the door. Yes, of course, at once. We still haven't got a way out, by the way. We. Okay. Now, how do we get out of here? The door's upstairs. Wait here. I'll go and see whether the key fits the other door. I don't think it will. I want to go over here instead. Let's see if we can do if we can do this now and just bypass everything. Give me a hand with this crate, Brent. It's too heavy for me to shift on my own. Ah, just as I thought. A secret Take a look passage, at this, Bebe. Brent. I thought there must be more than just the one way out of here. Looks like a secret passage. How did that plate crack cover it up? It was Pretty like so swatched. down there, oh, isn't it? Are you scared? Scared? Nonsense. Come on. Let's go. Oh, I have no Brent? idea where we're going. I'm here. I can hardly see a thing. Neither can I. Maybe we ought to go back after all, don't you think? Rubbish. There's no one here. Don't worry. We'll find the way Something out. Something bad's gonna happen. There's not a glimmer of light here anywhere, Brent. <laughs> oh. What was that? Are you still there? Brent? Brent, this isn't funny. Hello? Is that you, Brent? Ah! Oh, one! The subtitle said. They didn't even press shift on the exclamation mark on the subtitle. <laughs> now where am I? Have we been captured again? We're not very good at this. We're, we're, we're like the <laughs> shittest fucking cop ever. <laughs> Alright, I got a sheet. I'm guessing the druids got us or some shit. Nice views. 
Oh, hello. So you are the stranger who came to us through the gate of the worlds. We meet at last. I am very pleased to see you. Oh, yes. I can't say the feeling's mutual. I want to get out of here. This minute. Who are you, anyway? Hush. Be calm. Nothing will happen to you here. Obviously a I druid. am your friend. My friend? That's a lie. I can do without friends like you. We have been expecting you. We need you. You are the one all our hopes are hanging on. What's that? You've been expecting me? That's impossible. I came here from the year 2000. You can't even know I exist. You came to us through the gate of the worlds. He who comes through this gate has the power to alter the course of history. Right now, I don't even know where I am. You are in a monastery. It's so useless. The final refuge of the last druids of Britain. You have come to us in our greatest hour of need. What do you mean? Our order is facing extinction. For thousands of years, we have been handing our knowledge down from generation to generation. Every pupil was instructed by his mentor for 20 years until he was worthy of being taught all the secrets of the druids. And finally, he would become a mentor himself. I see. And? A druid's power can serve either good or evil. The mentor's teaching alone determines which side will prevail. A pupil without a mentor is left to his own devices. He acts without wisdom or knowledge and thus becomes hungry for power and evil. Okay, that's old news so far. Our Grand Master Sirston killed his mentor okay. and became evil. Yet he succeeded in becoming the leader of our brotherhood. He is now preparing a ritual mightier than any that has ever been performed. Okay, so there's good Jewish He wishes as well. to transfer the entire brotherhood's power to five infants. To ensure that the power of the druids we know this will shit live already. on forever, these infants will be stronger than any druid the world has ever seen, and they will grow up. They'll also take a fucking long time to grow up. Destined yeah. For evil, they will be tyrants, mighty. Oh, they're mortal, more invincible. I guess that explains Sounds it. Sounds familiar. Together, we can prevent this from happening. A small circle of brothers have united under my leadership with the intention of stopping Sirsten. But, but, Sirston seems to suspect something is going on. <laughs> Ever since no we shit. occupied this monastery, he has been building fortifications to prevent anyone but himself from entering the places of worship. We know there is a secret room where he keeps a crystal ball. We also know that Sirston has had our temples close to the river altered. With your help, we will get past his fortifications. Why do you need my help for that? We are few. And Sirston is having us watched. We need somebody of equal power to him. And you think that's me? Your journey here has given you the power to alter the course of history. That is more than any of us would be capable of doing. Find the room that harbors the crystal ball. I have arranged for you to be allowed to move freely within the monastery until the day of your execution. Oh, great. The day of my what? The day of my execution? <laughs> oh, great. Now you tell me. How much time does that give me? I must leave you now. I oh, thanks. You. Good luck. Hey, where will I find you? What's your name, anyway? I am called Maglor. Maglor. Oh, great. <laughs> Inspector Miller will never believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine he has to write his report. <laughs> Melanie will... Hold on. Where did she get to? Oh, we have to go and ask Maglor where Melanie is now. Because he just sort of, like, fucking... fucked off without explaining that. I feel like uh, letting us have the rain in the place is maybe not conducive to keeping this under wraps. There you are. No, I'm pretty sure we're going to escape. <laughs> you discovered anything yet? I have to learn how to find my way around here first. Don't you think you might be able to show me around the monastery? Out of the question. We should not be Hang seen on. together. We will make sure that Sir Stan's spies do not bother you. Everything else is up to you. This makes no fucking sense. Where's Melanie? What have you done with Melanie Turner? She is safe for the moment. What do you mean? What do you mean, for the moment? The day of her execution is the same day when your life will end. That sounds really encouraging. A double execution, so to speak. And when will that be? Sirstan has decreed that the day of the ritual shall be the day you both die. Hmm. Where's Melanie now? She may move freely within the monastery, just like you. I have been to see her and told her everything. I do not know where she is now. I believe she wanted to take a look around the library. The library? We are sentenced to death and Melanie Turner goes to look at the library? 
Okay. I'm sure I'll find her. I'll see you later. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Alright, bed thing. I will say, like, he takes, even though he's like, okay, he's a bit indignant, he takes this in his stride. Like, his impending death seems like, you know, just like a, a mild irritation to him. <laughs> At least the voice actor, the way he talks anyway. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I don't want to go outside yet. I want to go this way. I need to find the fucking library. What is this? Inlaid work. The music's like comical at the moment. It's like boop, 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 boop. It's like, it's like, um, like the Pink Panther soundtrack. <laughs> it's really fucking strange. Uh, uh. Okay, this thing here apparently is the key to beating the game and we mustn't fuck with it. So I'm going to leave it alone in case I accidentally click on something and ruin everything that I need to do. Considering my luck, that would probably be what I would do. An old library, filled with the typical smell of old leather-bound books. Oh God! Melanie, there you are. This Brent, conversation's going to be where cringe. Have you been? Mm, I was bye. worried about you. I was just having a look around, and then I ended up here in the library. Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. Melanie, we're in pretty serious trouble. What on earth are you doing in here? Reading. They've got some really interesting books in here, Brent. How could you read Take that? This one, for well, example. I guess yeah. you're a historian, so I guess I... Yeah, her reading it makes sense, I guess. Christian yeah. Monks. It says... Hold on, Melanie. Before you start your academic lecture, you may be interested to know that I've just seen someone called Maglor, who was good enough to tell me that you and I are to be executed in a few days' time. I know that, Brent. I've seen him, too. He was here half an hour ago. He told me everything. Oh, and I suppose it doesn't bother you? Well, as for me, I had other plans for the eve of my life, to be honest. Brent, what do you think I'm doing here with these books? I'm looking for something that might be of help to us. <laughs> this is no time to learn to read. This is no time to start reading, Melanie. We must do something. I've read that completely well, at wrong. at least I found out that this monastery <laughs> used to be inhabited by Christian monks. So what? What good is that? Why don't you listen? The druids besieged the monastery they couldn't find a way in. Not one of the monks that tried to flee during the siege ever came back. The monks heard their brothers screaming, sometimes for days on end. I think I can guess what the druids were doing to them. That's where the chronicles stop, in mid-sentence. The druids ate the druids them? must have found a way into the monastery. Melanie, this is all very interesting, but we just don't have time for history lessons. We're in trouble now. I know, Brent. That's why I suggest you have a good look round the monastery while I carry on studying these books, maybe we'll find a way out of this. Aren't you scared at all? Aren't you scared at all, Melanie? Of course I'm scared, but we mustn't give up. If we just sit around and wait, the ritual will be completed, and then we'll die. Perhaps we should never have come No here. shit! What choice did we have? To let the circle rule the world? That may yet happen anyway. The only difference is that we won't be there to see it. We're not dead yet, Brent. There's still a chance. We have to try. Think of Mr. Blake. He helped us and paid for it with his life. Do you want his death to have been in vain? Ah, Mr. Blake. If only he could have seen all this. It would have confirmed all his theories. I doubt it would have pleased him very much, though. Okay, Melanie. You're right. Let's do all we can. I'll take a look around this place. Will you still be here later? Of course. Good. Take care of yourself. And you, Brent. The dialogue in this is just so weird. Like, I don't think characters react in the way that the characters do in this. If that makes sense. All right, let's head down here. I don't know if I've been here or not. Everything looks the fucking same. Apparently, this is just a big loop. I don't know. Everything is the same. I hate it. I mean, it is a castle. Oh my god, there's so many fucking doors. At least I think it's a castle. Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I don't really know, like... Well, I guess they said a monastery, but isn't a monastery just like a religious castle? Oh god, that guy scared me. I thought it was a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Alright, let's go back this way. There's gotta be some... Do okay, let's just check out these rooms, I guess. Okay, a kitchen again. It's too heavy for me. I'll take it with me. Okay, we've got a pot thing. I do love a good pot thing. 
Are we gonna make some more fucking sleeping potion or some shit? I mean, there's. Never know. It might come in handy. It's like mandragoras. Mandragoras are not a real thing, right? Like. No, they are. But they but, don't scream or anything. No, they don't scream or anything. A mandrake is okay. a real plant. Okay. And historically speaking, they were thought to be like little people. Like, um. And you know. Mystical and all that crap. And they do kind of look like people. So that's where it came from. But they don't actually scream. Or they anything. look like people? Yeah, they look like little misshapen people. That's terrifying. I don't even know if this is the room I'm meant to be in. Hang I on. think one lore about the Mandrakes is that they were, um... <laughs> this is gonna be pretty gross. You? But they were like... Sorry, I didn't you? mean to get a trigger cutscene! I think it's your Sestan, am I right? <laughs> this is the bad guy! Why don't I just walk into his fucking room? The man who came all the way here just to let me kill him. What do you want? Is the little bit of life I've granted you too much for you? Uh, you can do your thing now, <laughs> and I'll continue this conversation in a minute. I didn't mean this to happen. I feel this is bad. <laughs> we meant to avoid this guy. Um, yeah, I think you fucked up. <laughs> what was the last time you saved? Uh, just before I spoke to Melanie. Okay, that's good at least. Um, I might be wrong, but f I believe one myth about how they were formed is like when criminals were hanged sperm would drop to the Excuse ground me? and it sprouted from that <laughs> that's really really fucking horrible <laughs> that's just one sort of version i heard um i'm sure there's other versions well may as well explore all dialogue with this guy for now <laughs> what right do you have to keep us here what right do i have <laughs> The right that I take when I want it. The Council of the Twelve selected me to lead this order and determine its fate as I see fit. The spirit of the Brotherhood speaks with my voice. As the undisputed leader of this Brotherhood, I have decreed that any creature that ventures close to this monastery is mine to do with as I choose. I alone determine who may live and who must die? How dare you set yourself up as the lord of life and death? I create, and I destroy. I use only the eternal laws of nature and the universe. So you're keeping us here just because we approach the monastery? That's not much of a reason. You don't understand. You cannot He understand. recorded this inside the a tin can, it sounds like. reasons are meaningless. It's really weird. I <laughs> have the one reason for everything that happens around here. My will is the will of my brothers. They are proud of being led by a chosen one like me. I have made them a part of the grand scheme of things. You're just a common tyrant, except a little more of a megalomaniac than most. <laughs> we probably shouldn't piss him off because he could kill us on the spot, dude. are the keys to all great deeds. The unconditional submission I expect from my followers is the first step towards real, unlimited power. The kind of power I will gain for our order. But a mortal like you can never understand that. You may be right there. Little hand dance. You gotta, gotta make it even spooky with a little hand dance. Little hand dance. <laughs> what are you planning to do to us? When the great day has come, hand dance the ritual has great. been perfected. Oh, there we go. Your oh, life will hand end. Hand. Why don't you just kill us right now? You are indeed lucky to be allowed to live for a few more days. My brother Maglaw spoke up for you, and I was incapable of refusing him What a nice wish. guy. I have such a very soft heart. <laughs> what did Maglaw say? He suggested making you our witnesses, the first witnesses of our unlimited power. You will watch your miserable world come to an end. And you will see a new, eternal empire arise from the ashes. And then okay, you then. will die. Oh, great. A great honor will be bestowed upon you. You will be the last sacrifices of the old world. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> 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 Sorry. 
<laughs> oh god. <laughs> it probably didn't actually sound like and that. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> I've come to offer you a deal. Oh god. A deal? He should have been like, you <laughs> are offering me a deal. I said, you oopsie, overrate oopsie. your oh, no, importance. Thanks. I will not do deals with you. I know something that you can't know. What might that be? I won't tell you until you give me your word that you will <laughs> let me and my friends I know something go. you what? don't. You cannot truly believe that I will fall for a trick like that. There is nothing you can know. There is nothing you can bargain with. I will not enter into any deal with a useless creature like you. I will grind you underfoot <laughs> if it pleases me to do so. That is all you may expect from me. Now get out of my sight. What a nice guy. I don't know why you thought that was gonna work, Brent. Helligan. Brent Helligan. Brent Helligan. Hunnigan. I'm looking for a room with candles on the floor and I can't find it anywhere. That's not a very good description in a place where Here we it's go. entirely lit by candles. Okay, I'll take that's these candles with me. Those Perfect. No oh my god, it's a little rat. Oh my god. When you were doing the Heligan thing, it actually reminded me of the song Radigan, even though it's not exactly the oh, same. Oh, Radigan! Yeah! And sued! <laughs> <laughs> that one line, we're just fucked. <laughs> right, now the crucible's in the fireplace. It'll get nice and hot in there. We need to melt these candles for some reason. Some yet unknown reason. Ah, candle melting ASMR. Well, it's actually a tube going <laughs> for some reason, but ASMR. The candles have melted. Now I've got a block of wax. Well, this cooled off really fucking quick. All right, we've got a big block of wax. Just what we need to escape. We'll give it to the head druid, tell him it's cheese, and they'll die. <laughs> Doesn't look like a wheel of cheese, right? Hell, just stop doing the weird slow motion walk. Radigan. We're going outside now. His name is Radigan now. Radigan? I, I, I can accept that. <laughs> I can accept the fact that he is Radigan. Alright, we've got to do a bit of gardening. Okay. All right, we're going to just cause some chaos for these poor druids. I'll have to go a bit close. I'll have to go a bit closer to do anything there. I'll have to go a bit closer okay, to do but anything there. Okay, but why can't I click on the guard? Oh, here, I've got to click on the bit with the magnifying glass. Of course I do. <laughs> Not the bit that's directly in front of me. All right, so we clog this with roots. Right, let's use this herb then. Okay, and then we turn the tap on and flood the garden. It's fixed on tight. Oh, we can't get the cap off. Hmm. I guess we'll leave this for now. The inner courtyard is bigger than I thought. Yeah, this place is fucking huge. Like, I, I don't know how big monasteries normally are, but I usually associate it with being not, like, huge, you know what I mean? Like, I've been to ruined monasteries and shit. I guess I've been to, a, like, a non-ruined monastery, actually, as well. But still, you know, I expect them to be a bit smaller. All right. We should go to more ancient places, but there's lots here. I'd rather not time travel, but I wouldn't mind seeing the ruins, yes. I think they're fascinating. I don't think cisterns work this way. I'm sure you're not meant to go... Ah, yes, a lever. It works. The water's flowing now. Oh, okay. I thought there was like a cap on it or some shit. Are we going to ruin their crop? What the f- Are those earthworms? Yeah, we need worms, apparently. Oh, so we're drowning them out. Yeah, I think it's- I'm not entirely sure what we're doing. I'd better turn it off again. Alright, now we need to go and pick up the juicy well, worms. Well, earthworms are a bit silly in the fact that they need oxygen to breathe, so... I'm pretty sure that's why they come to the surface when it rains. Oh, that's true, yeah, because they, 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 they need to breathe. Yeah. Just like everything else. Well, not everything else, but... Yeah, not everything. Like fish. Some fish don't need to breathe, right? I got the juicy worms, baby. I don't know why they're juicy, but they are. I 
Let's head this way now. We're looking for a blacksmith for some reason. This looks very much like a workshop. Here we go. There's a strong smell. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize I stumbled into a gay bar. I do apologize. Oh god. I don't like how he's rubbing his hands together like that. He's excited. <laughs> You got to ask Good day, him everything. friend. How are you? How should I be? Every day I work my fingers to the bone. I get bad food, bad treatment. How would you be? I understand. I'm not much better off than you are. Huh. You think that, do you? Do you spend all day toiling hard for a pittance? No, but at least you're working here of your own free will and can leave any time you like. I'm a prisoner. Oh. A prisoner, are you? What did you get up to then? Well, that's hard to explain. I think our main crime was coming here in the first place. Oh. oh. You mean you're not the only prisoner here? No. I came here with a lady. Oh, a lady. That's good. How is that good? <laughs> I haven't seen any oh! for a long, I'm so long squicked! <laughs> Yes, oh, please yes. don't. But you'll keep no. away from oh. her if you know what's good for you. Ah, <laughs> your wife, is she? No, it's not that. But, look, I don't think this is... <laughs> <laughs> That's all that need You know what? I would have just said yes. <laughs> yeah, just leave it. <laughs> just say, you know what? Yes. What it is you want <laughs> yes, she's my wife. Don't touch uh... her. Keep your dick to yourself. Is there anything I can do for you? You? Look at you. A weakling like you. I bet you couldn't even hold a hammer. I used to have an apprentice who looked a lot like you. Didn't stay. Oh my god, our ancestor. Work was too hard for him. All right. If you don't want my help, you can help me by not standing around in my way. If I don't get my work pieces finished by tomorrow, I'll be punished badly. Uh... I'll have a look around if you don't mind. All right. Go ahead. All right, we don't need to talk to him about everything. But we do... We need to find a weapon that we can take that's inconspicuous. So a sledgehammer. Right? These must be the stores. Oh, here's our... This is, this, is, this is our inconspicuous weapon, a fucking axe. I don't think that's very inconspicuous. Well, it is when you hide it inside your ass. Wait, no, he didn't pick up an axe. Oh, he did pick up the axe. He picked up a wood thing. Oh. Well, I, I think we're that, done. I guess Let's that get back is, inside. I guess that is more inconspicuous. Are we going to hit him over the head? I, 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 I think not the blacksmith, I don't think, but uh, maybe the other guy. <laughs> we're just going to go into an office and hit him over the head. We've, we've got to convince him to like us somehow, but after that first conversation, I'm not so sure that's going to go too well. Oh, by the way, why are they not considered fucking giant monsters? Who? Us. I don't know. Because people were shorter back then. Like, oh, a yeah. lot shorter. Significantly shorter. Well, maybe not from me, but definitely, like, from them. Who I, I, I would be terrified. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, why are they not just going, like, holy crap, what the fuck are you? <laughs> Alright, so we now have to convince him to let us stay and watch him, which might take multiple attempts of getting thrown out. This is the wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's this one of these rooms is his office. Oh, what do you want? There we go. Oh, are God. you so eager to die? Your death will come soon enough. Now get out! One moment, please. Just one short moment. May I ask you one more question? You do not need to ask questions. It would be a waste of time answering you. You would not understand the answers anyway. He's such a dickhead. I'll chance that. You must think you're very clever, just like all fools. You will soon understand just how pointless each of your actions, sentences, and thoughts is. Very soon now, my oh God, he does go on, doesn't he? Yeah. And I will continue to exist within it. It will make me immortal, and you will be no more than a pile of dust that the wind will carry out to sea. Um. 
I've heard your order is facing... I guess it's the only one we haven't done I've yet. I've heard your order is facing its downfall. <laughs> You've heard that? From whom? From a fool like yourself? Our order is not facing its downfall, but a great new beginning, even if some of my brothers dislike the idea. Or did you think I did not know of the ridiculous conspiracy that some of my misguided brothers have set up? They have told you of it, haven't they? I do not expect you to betray them, but they are greatly mistaken where their abilities are concerned. Mm -hmm. And they underestimate me. I will soon find out which of my brothers are betraying me, and I will destroy them without even lifting a finger. The path I have determined mm -hmm. cannot be altered. Our fate is sealed. Now get out of my sight. You bore me. Oh god, I keep going back in and out until I get the right option, unfortunately, which I mean, means I saying through his stupid dialogue. I bore you. Out. Jesus Christ. I'd like to watch you. This is it. I'd like to stay and watch you. I understand. You wish to see for yourself what lies in store for you. Is that it? Many doomed men are fascinated by their executioners. Man's curiosity is greater than his fear. Curiosity brought you here, and curiosity will kill you. Then you don't mind? <laughs> Be my guest if it amuses you. Watch me preparing for your final hour. You do not bother me. As long as you do not touch anything, I shan't even know you're here. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. <laughs> God, he's you so annoying. He is. I you mean, he's annoying, and I'm just pathetic. reading it. <laughs> yeah, it's. I, I'm. I'm. It, it, his voice is irritating as fuck as well. I mean, Don't probably even think of touching anything in here. All right. So, see this thing here. Mhm. Mm All right. We're gonna put this in here because apparently that's what we need to do. All right. Did we actually? It didn't look like anything. Yeah, the we went at the back. It's at the far back. See, okay. it's gone from my inventory. Oh, See, yeah, it's like yeah, there. Yeah. That's so strange. Yeah, don't don't, don't ask. Even think okay. Of touching anything in here. All right, we need to leave for now. Okay. And now we need to uh, convince Maglor to distract him so we can do something. Okay. Wherever the fuck his room is, because I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's this one. Maglor. Maglor, oh, thank you. I can't believe I got that right. Didn't I tell you not to speak Fuck to off. me? Fuck <laughs> off. Um, I need undisturbed access to one of the rooms in the monastery. I need undisturbed access to one of the rooms in the monastery. Hmm. Which room? Hmm. Sirstan's room. Sirstan's room. Is that possible? Out of the question. Whenever Sirstan leaves his room, he locks the door and never lets the key out of his sight. That settles that. Then, what? Doesn't it? Or is there some way he could be lured away? Yeah, that, Couldn't that's... you get him out of his room on some pretext? Just long enough for me to take a look around undisturbed? Yes, I may be able to. I shall try. Oh boy. Maglor, you dead. All right, Maglor's a good druid name. Excellent, Maglor did it. Now I can take a good look around in peace. So the chest and the table's gone, but he's put it in here. I don't mm -hmm. feel I should be doing this. Uh. We can get the wood too, I think. Yeah, we can put the wood back in our inventory. I'm not quite sure how that allowed us to access that. That is a bit strange. I guess maybe it's just enough at the back to sort of jut it forward so you can put your little fingies in. Maybe? That's the only thing I can think of. Hmm. Alright, we need to open this now. Aha! There's the key. All right, we, but he's going to know it's gone. So what we need to do is make a copy of it with the wax, I'm assuming. You know what I mean? 
Mm -hmm. There we go. Then we need to Surely put this key. Surely you put the key back, back in. I think that's the key from Cersei. Not a good idea. Mm, that's the key. It won't work like that. Put it. Okay. Put this back on the table, dickhead. <laughs> you get to put it on the table. All right. This goes in here. Okay. Oh my god. I hate the fact that he has to go through this every time and lift it and stare at it. All right. Then that goes. I can't actually fucking move. You need to look at it. Or do you just... Do you need to look at it first, is what oh, I'm saying. Oh, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I, I misunderstood you for a minute. No one will suspect a thing. I have no idea what putting the wood in there achieved. I don't care. Well, like I said, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. You might want to move away from the door. We're, we're just walking around. We're just minding our own business. <laughs> he looks so stupid. He looks like cross-eyed. When he's in this position away from the camera. Alright, then we need to make we need to get some boiling metal to put in the thing to make the key, right? <laughs> hmm. Let's keep going. Now, what the fuck is this? What, there was like a... Yeah, look, see? Huh? Can you get up there? Yes! Oh. Okay. Hello, dear. Oh, I bet the forge isn't working. So we'll give the bird worms and it'll fuck worms. off. Worms? Of course, it ought to like them. But why should I feed this bird anyway? Okay, so we need to talk to the blacksmith first and establish his forge is fucked. Oh, this is so stupid. Even though we know that it is. Oh, for God's sakes. Oh my God. Sorry, there was like a tiny spot that was interactable down to the left. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> make me the fucking key, dickhead. <laughs> you better fucking make the key. Yeah. You should be able to make me a key now. I told you. I'm not ready for death yet. Oh, Look, fuck off. I've helped you, now I'm asking you to help me. It's only fair. They'll kill us both. You can't expect a man to show that much gratitude. You owe me something. If it hadn't been for me, they'd have punished you tomorrow anyway. You said so yourself. Now, how about it? Oh, God help Yes! Me. I must be going crazy. All right, give me that. I'll make you a key. All right, so apparently this takes quite a bit of time real time. It'll take a while, okay. though. No problem. I'll come back later to pick it up. So, in the interim, we're going to cut here and be right back. You done the cut, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we just have to talk to everyone a bunch to make time pass, like Melanie and everyone, so I'll just skip all this shit. All right, we're right, right at the end of this section, so I'd like to finish it. We've just got to open the door and we're on the final arc. Hello, Melanie. How's it going? I found a few more chronicles. One of them describes all the details of the heathen practices in this region. The monks kept an eye on them because the heathens were their competition, you might say. What were these heathen practices? I don't think I ought to tell you. You wouldn't be too pleased. Oh, right. Wait. Did you actually commit cannibalism? Thanks Did for you being want so me to cut back then? No, yeah, cut this all out, don't worry. Cannibalism <laughs> to last me a few years, thank you very much. How are you getting on? I need a bit the more cut time. Be going, right? The monastery's rather large. Well, yeah, I marked it as cut. Also, I, didn't I keep finding think you some gonna... druid or other following I know, I have to do this to pass the time. You don't it's have just, much well, time, just, It's just nonsense. What can shit. I do? I haven't found the room with the crystal oh, ball well. yet. Okay. Let alone a way out of here. It's just flavor text. It's not that important. Have you found anything about the druids in these books? Nothing we didn't already know. It talks a lot about the transformation of the four elements. Mr. Blake told you all about that, didn't he? Yes, that's right. You've got to hand it to him. He'd done his homework all right. I've found everything he said about the four elements in the Christian monk's original texts. I don't see how the elements are going to be of any help to us. Anything can be useful, Brent. I just thought I'd mention it. Do you remember what Blake told you? I might get it sorted out if I think hard. Melanie, could I ask you something 
personal. Do you really think this is the right time? <laughs> no, probably not. It's just like, but fuck off if, if you ask that. Ask you. <laughs> what is it? I'm curious. Oh, you can roam you can flirt with her. If we ever get out of here alive... Yes? Would you... I mean, could you ever bring yourself to... Go to Al's Pizza Palace for a pizza with you? Yes, I think I'd like that. Hey, how did you guess? Do you know Al's Pizza Palace? I've never been there, Brent, <laughs> but when I went to Scotland Yard to look for you, I took oh a look at your God. office. Oh, yeah. I couldn't miss the boxes. Oh, I see. That's because he eats it every day, right? The uh -huh. pizza. You <laughs> he the bill was like yeah. 500 bucks. I should try and something. tidy up in there sometime. But you'd come he, uh, with me? He did I like told a... you, yes. Right. It's a deal. I'll remind you about it. <laughs> okay, Brent. I'm looking forward to it. But it might be an idea if we try to get out of here alive first. What do you say? Of course. I'm sure we will. Okay, Melanie, I'll go on looking. Good luck. All right, I'm going to go back and see if the key's ready. It might not be. I had to go, might have to go and talk to Maglor and exhaust all his dialogue as well, but we'll see, okay? You never know. Oh, it might be ready. Right. Oh, cut back. Your key's ready. Listen, stranger. I didn't give you this key, okay? If you're caught with this, it's your problem, not mine. Yes, yes, all right. Give it to me. Sure you won't change your mind? This could kill you, you know. I'll be all right. No, well, imagine I'll if you, right. like, like bitched out no now. One. Don't say I didn't want you. <laughs> Here you go. Take care of yourself. Oh, actually, I won't take the key. I think I'll just let myself get killed. <laughs> All right, I will. Thanks a lot. All right, now we can get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sirsten will not suspect a thing with our genius plan of making a key and then leaving. <laughs> is this the blue corridor? It looks blue. Oh, this is okay. This is definitely the blue corridor. Or would you say it's more like an aquamarine? Dun, dun, dun. Oh God, look at his stiff walk. We have to get through a maze, by the way. Oh God. Welcome to the labyrinth, everyone. Normally this would be an incredibly complicated maze that would be very difficult for us to get through. But because I'm using a guide, this should hopefully take me only a few minutes. So here we go. We're gonna go this through this door. Okay. okay. And then we're gonna go through this door. Okay. Okay. Oh my God, look at that amazing. Graphics. Graphics. Then we're gonna go through this one here. Okay. And then this one here. Oh my god. We're making such progress. It's like we know what we're doing. And then we're gonna go back through the same door we just came in through. Okay. Oh, mm. oh. This looks like it might prove a little difficult. Shut up. And in there. And then we're gonna exit back out the way we came in again. That's bullshit. And then we're gonna go through here. <laughs> Imagine how bullshit this would be. By the way. This is so stupid. Like, all this faff just to go down and, like, have an orgy. <laughs> yep, and then we're going to go through this one here again. And that should be it. Yes! Yay, we did it. Wow, that was so tough, guys. I can't believe it. We persevered. What wow. Is, why is this first person? To make it dramatic. It's a big eye. It was worth coming here. All right.
All right. Don't worry, we're not leaving. We got a plan here, okay? We got to close these doors because the eye is shy, and it will only open if you close the door. Isn't that amazing? Yes. And now, Bubby, watch this. You ready for the magic? I'm gonna crawl through the eyeball. Huh. Huh. Go on. What is he doing? Why is he walking like he's drunk? Maybe he is. Maybe he's been drunk the whole time. That's a good twist. <laughs> like, he accidentally drunk that stuff at the beginning, remember, when we got hammered? Well, he didn't accidentally do well, it. The other guy, the other guy handed it to him and said, here, taste. And then this is just all a drunk fever dream. Yeah, and we just wake up on the floor of the lab. <laughs> Imagine. Or in hospital. You've been in a coma for six months. <laughs> all right. Let's, I guess, go down these steps. I don't really know. What is this? Ooh. Ooh. I have no idea what's happening. That was Stonehenge, completely destroyed. How come? Okay. I think this is like Sirston's like crystal ball or whatever. We can go this way too. All right, this is like the abacus thing we saw in the main monastery. Mm -hmm. oh, no, 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 go back. Did you fuck up? No, no, I didn't. No, I just, I just, okay, this one's, this one's fine. This is good. Okay. Just going to have a look around. <laughs> there might be another one on the other side. I need to check this. I am. Oh, this one's fucked. Look. Oh, dear. Oh well, bad luck. <laughs> oh yeah, not a big deal. This magical device is fucked. Hmm. Alright, I think we can head back now. We've seen like the thing with the crystal ball. But just in case we can't, I'm gonna drop a save here. No. 19. Oh my god. 19 saves, baby. So bum. Okay. We don't have to go through the maze again. The maze is skipped from now on, I believe. It better fucking be. I mean, it'd be nice if it was. Yes, it is. That's handy. Let's head to the main hall, you know, with the big table is and shit. And the device that looks like the one down the bottom. Wherever the fuck the main hall is, we'll find it eventually. I think it's this one. You can tell because the door's bigger than the other doors. Oh, hi, Maglor. I don't know why you're here. Maglor, oh. there you are. Where have you been? You're the one that fucked up! with my brothers. Our situation is delicate. Surston's preparation seemed to be almost complete. What news have you? Have you made any progress? I have. I've been in the room where the crystal ball is hidden. I've found it. Indeed. Yes. It's behind the labyrinth, hewn deep into the rock. Well, what did you see? What does Thurston do there? I think he uses the crystal ball to look into the future. Or the past. How do you know? What did you see? I saw Stonehenge, but nothing was moving there. I think to use the ball, you'd have to understand the apparatus standing there. The one with the movable beads. The movable beads? What movable beads? Oh god, what this is going to be a horrible puzzle, Like those it? over there. Ah, you mean the calendar. Mm. I suspect so. That thing's a calendar? Yes. Is it set to today's date? Yes, of course. According to our system. To the day. Exactly. But the one I found had far more options than this one. Then I cannot help you. Sirstan must have extended our calendar system. Mm. Is there a set time for the ritual to take I place? I was exhausted, darling, this guy. The ritual must take mm -hmm. place on a certain day, at a certain hour. 
The power can only be transferred under certain constellations of the moon and the stars. And when is that? The constellation under which the ritual must be performed is due in two days, at the sixth hour after nightfall, precisely. Hmm... I may have an idea. I'll take another good look around. You do that. That wasn't that wasn't out, meant to end the conversation. To perform his ritual. We may be able to prevent I it. think you accidentally clicked the above option. Oh, whatever. Instead I think, of the I, think below option. I think we've got enough. Let's look at this quickly. Listen, any ritual that requires a specific date in a time period where you can't just look at a normal calendar, I think it's just a bad idea. Could you take a screenshot of this because we might need this? Yeah, hold on. So the first bar is 14 segments long and it's in the first one. Second bar is 6 segments long and it's in the second. Third bar is 4 segments and the beads in the third segment. Fourth bar is 8 and it's in the fourth. And the fifth is 12 and it's in the fifth. But take a screenshot because I can't remember that. <laughs> yep, got it. Alright, now we need to go back down to the basement and fuck around with the one down there in relation to this one. I don't really understand why. I don't know if we're like fast forwarding time or some shit, but whatever. We'll figure it out eventually. I think, I think what would be more funny if we, if we do the equivalent of just like ripping off an extra page <laughs> from like a desk calendar to fuck somebody's schedule up. You know, it'd be funny if we put set the calendars to like the next day and Surston thinks he slept in or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That would be really fucking funny. He's like, what? I missed the crucial day? We're fucked! May as well give up. It's like, oh, well, guess we'll have to wait till next year. Guess I don't need to kill the guy anymore either. We can leave him. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, if I was playing this properly, like, knowing to shut the doors to open the eye would have taken me forever. <laughs> Stagger inside again, let's do it. All right. Okay, so this one's got more segments, all right? I just want to count something, hang on. So that's 12, okay. So, we need to first of all... Jesus. Indigestion, okay? guys, sorry. Okay, so first of all, we need to set it to the same thing as the one upstairs, okay? So. I think we need to do it from the bottom up. So this one needs to be in four. This might be completely wrong and we might have to start again, but we'll worry about it later on, alright? I should have saved before this, actually. Oh well, too late for that now! <laughs> yeah, this is the one with the 14, so these two are the extra ones. Because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, yeah, this is 14. This needs to be in the very first section here. So this should be in the fifth lump. One, two, three, four, five. This should be in the fourth lump. One, two, three, four. This should be in the third lump. One, two, three. Yep, yeah, this should be in the second lump. One, two, and this should be in the first lump. Okay, this is gonna be, is it day or night? Okay, which we don't have before. We know the ritual's taking place at night. Okay, so, God, this is fucking complicated as fuck. Imagine doing this. Imagine do really doing this. <laughs> okay, so that's correct. It's in segment two. That's day, that's night. Okay. I have no idea what the top one represents. Maybe... How many sections? There's 12. So 12 hour clock, maybe. Um... I have no idea. I mean, do you want to look at the thingy? I'm, I'm not, sorry, I'm looking at something here. That is, these, the top two bars are not on the other one. It has two more bars than the other one. Oh, right. Uh...
The top bar, apparently, represents the hours, and you also know the ritual set to play six hours past night. So we need to set the top bar to segment six. Okay, so here. I, I'm, I'm just gonna straight up cheat here, guys. Sorry, this is way too confusing. Uh, finally, you know the ritual is in two days' time, so move the bead on the third bar down from segment one to segment three. Okay. The complete sequence you should have now from the bottom bar to the top is one, two, three, four, five, five segments. Fourth segment, one, two, three, four. Okay. Three segment, one, two, three. Okay. Second segment, one, two. Third segment, one, two, three. Second segment, one, two. And then sixth segment, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now that if this is right, the crystal ball will show us the, the f real future now. Okay? Mm hmm No idea if that's right. I think it is. But we'll find out in a second. Don't fail me now. Yes! We did it! Yay! Surf them with his big rod. <laughs> what was that? It must have been the ritual. That's what's going to happen. I must tell Matt. You know! You... <laughs> we did all that to find out nothing! <laughs> Alright, now we need to go back and tell Maglaw the shocking news that a ritual is going to take place that we already knew was going to take place. He's wearing white. <laughs> Crucial information. Yeah. He's, he's He changed his robes. He's cosplaying as the Virgin Mary. Oh my god. This is before the Virgin Mary, actually, so no, he's not. <laughs> she, she copied him! The Virgin Mary was blue, white, and gold, listen, I listen. think. And a bit of red, maybe. She probably was just wearing like, like, like shit beard fucking robes. All right. Shit beard. Shit, shit beard. <laughs> she was wearing. Mid. She was wearing a Santa beard. She was beard. wearing a fucking stable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's probably gonna be wearing haute couture. <laughs> <laughs> that guy wandering around scares the shit out of me. <laughs> it's like a creepy Santa. Oh, what the fuck is Maglo? He's probably in his room, furiously masturbating. That's what Druids did, you know? Did you know that? Yep. Really? This is not Maglo's room. <laughs> I have no idea where its room is, okay? Like, everything looks the fucking same in this shithole. Oh, I went back the wrong way. Wonderful. That's why I went back towards the labyrinth. Or did I? Everything looks the fucking same! I hate it! Where is where is this fucker Maglor? We'll find it eventually. It's gonna be one of these doors. That's where I wander into Cersten's room again. He's like, "Have well, you been in the labyrinth?" And I'm like, "Yeah." Okay, I can't control this now. Maglor, there you are. <laughs> I have been looking for you everywhere. Maglor. Okay. I figured it out. Well, we the apparatus <laughs> with the movable beads in the room where the crystal ball is hidden really is a calendar. It works just like the one in the assembly chamber. But with an additional day and night cycle, and an hour schedule, I entered the time of the ritual. And Sestan appeared in the crystal ball. What was he doing? He was holding a staff decorated with runes, which suddenly began to glow. Then he picked up a golden sickle. A staff? He used a bewitched staff to summon the power. If we find that staff, Sirston will not be able to perform his ritual. Cunning Where plan, guys. Keeping it? I've searched the whole monastery and found nothing. The temples. We must go to the temples. How do we get there? I haven't seen any exit. The Christian monks built this monastery in such a way that it is only accessible through a secret tunnel. Sirston uses that to died. his advantage, <laughs> as it allows him to control us. Like Anyone wishing exit. to leave the monastery is blindfolded and guided by Sirston himself. Nobody You're not going to believe what's about to happen after Sirsten. this, by the way. Where oh, are they? Bring them to me! Did you hear that? Hear what? Out there. I think I heard Sirston's voice. They're onto us, He's baby. looking for us. Damn it. That's all we need. Lock the door, and then let's get the hell out of here. All right, so how are we going to escape this room? Hmm? I mean, jumping. Well, we're going to actually do this first. We're going to put this sheet on the candle, I think, to make some holes in it. Okay? Don't ask me why. Well, I do know why, but I don't know how that is... So see these two temples over there, yeah? We're not. Right, let's get out of here. We're yeah. not. But, oh, here with this parachute. 
How does making a hole in it make it glide better? We will fall to our death. He doesn't understand don't what a parachute is. But to jump. Now hold on. up all wet <laughs> wait is it melanie still in the <laughs> melanie is still in there <laughs> that close. holy shit we just like oh can we go back and check on him yes let's go back and check on maglo i'm sure he's fine It was so fucking batshit insane. I loved it. Hi, Maglor. Maglor, are you hurt? <laughs> yes! I just fell 40 feet! are on your own now. Don't talk nonsense. You won't die. Tell me how I can help you. You are wasting your time. Don't act the hero. What do I have to do? There's mistletoe here. And in th the forest, you could try that. It heals severe injuries. Does it? Go and look for it. I'm pretty mistletoe? sure it's Does that poisonous. Look like? You will recognize it. We're going to try okay, and heal it. Okay, don't give We'll up. recognize it. In a second. We don't know what mistletoe looks like, but we'll recognize it. Okay, brilliant. Thanks, thanks, Maglor. If you die, it's your own fucking fault, okay? I mean, okay? I say that, but Foxglove is poisonous, but it does actually have medicinal properties of, like, you know, what is it, heart, heart, heart stuff? Does, yeah, it causes heart attacks, though, right? If you have it in the wrong sort yeah, of Yeah, it's, like, very volatile. If you have too much of it, it causes heart that attacks. That won't feel different with gloves, either. <laughs> but it's actually meant to help with heart problems. It's a very interesting plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's... Okay, so this is just to get us a healing item. Okay. So, see there's singing nails here, okay? I won't touch them with my bare hands. We have gloves still. We have the gloves from ages ago. Use them on exactly the right spot. There's the mistletoe. We did it. <laughs> Huzzah. And now, scroll through my massive inventory by this point and use it on... Oh, maybe I have to click on him first. I don't fucking know. There you go. I've got the mistletoe. What do I have to do now? Maglor? Maglor! He's dead. Damn it. Okay, we, kept the, we keep the mistletoe, but Maglor is dead. Let's take his shit. <laughs> we got a spinning top. Of course. That number one thing I expected Druid to have. All right, time to go through the temples, baby. Let's go. We'll do the left-hand one first. We have to solve the puzzle of each temple, baby. I think we just have to go up the hill first here. You looking forward to saving the world, baby? I mean, I'm looking forward not to having to see uh, this guy in his Farquad face. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, you heard me. But he's such a nonkin. <laughs> he's such a likeable character as well. He's not. He, he won't stoop to any low at all. <laughs> I think this is the left-hand temple. I don't really fucking know. Alright, so we've got a table. Wonderful. Now, you use the spinning top on the table. I don't know why. It makes a design, I guess. Oh, it's running along a groove in a ta in the table. Oh, that's true. Okay. You know, considering this is ancient fucking times, this is like pretty advanced, like mechanical bullshit. <laughs> oh, 
Like, look at that. Look this at this This is like thing. the final dungeon in a JRPG, isn't it? Look at this thing. You're telling me they made that in medieval times. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is the puzzle here. Ah, they look like switches. I would never be able to do this. I would just go insane. This is like a final JRPG dungeon, right, though? Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I guess we were at the end of the game as well, so I guess it is in this instance. <laughs> okay. What did I do? What is... What is I wish he'd say what it is. It's a flint. It's a flint. Okay, that makes sense. We can start fires with that, baby. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. Let's head up here. There's another pedestal up here. With a massive spoon or ladle or whatever you want to call it. A ladle. Oh, a ladle. Okay, he called it a ladle, not a spoon. That's good. Mm. I think we just go back into this again now. For whatever reason. This is hell. This is like my idea of video game hell, by the way. Like, this is the sort of shit that whenever it's in a game, I just... I hate it. You know what I mean? I don't understand how any of this is working. All right, a different. What the fuck is this? That is the turkey hawk of ages. I don't know if that's the right term. It looks like a gigantic turkey leg. That's what I'm saying. I can't. Take oh, it's a water it seems thing. To be some kind of invisible <laughs> yeah, over it's a. It's it's like a gourd. It has okay. an invisible barrier around it. Though. In my defense. That just looks like a turkey. It does leg. look like a turkey leg from this perspective. <laughs> when you're closer up, it looks better. Yeah. <laughs> turkey leg. You've got like a trowel of some kind. <laughs> I think it's a trowel. It's it's it could be a turkey leg. I'm not sure. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. <laughs> could be a sea urchin. Okay, that was you. I know, but that's what I'm meaning. You see. All right. Back into whatever this is. And then back in again. <laughs> For some reason, I'm not able to get it. It's because it's a liquid. Some kind of invisible barrier over the bowl. Okay, well, what we can do is use this ladle to scoop up some water, and then we're gonna balance this water in the ladle in our pocket and carry it around. I'm not kidding, by the way. That is actually what we're gonna do. And then up here for the next one. More flint? Fantastic. I love a good flint, baby. It's amazing. Amazing. Oh. This is so fucking... Another room! Oh, we got dirt. We know what to do here, huh? Eat it. Or dig up some with the trowel. That is the other option, obviously. Hmm. It looks like poop. It, maybe it is. Eek. And we have some bellows. I love how even in medieval ages, everything looks rusted. <laughs> it's called a rustic aesthetic. <laughs> hmm. That's one thing they never get right in, like, historical dramas. Like, everything is still rusted back then, even though it would have been shiny and new. But all we ever have to go on is, like, rusted artifacts, so... It's like every Roman movie is wrong because they weren't just Marvel at the time. They had paint on them. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I may have got lost, baby. This could be... No, no, I didn't. Thank fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the turkey lake. It's there. That's not how they work! <laughs> or is it? I don't know. I would assume the second you uncorked it, if it's yeah. laying on its side, it would just gush everything out. <laughs> I don't, this is such a fucking bizarre thing. 
Okay, I think we're done with the first temple already. Imagine how hard this would be without a guide. Oh my god. I couldn't do it. I just lose my mind. <laughs> yeah, we're done. We can leave. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the second temple, I guess. Alright, in we go. Hmm. Oh, I have to click again to enter. Sorry, everyone. I'm sorry for making you wait. Okay, this temple at least doesn't seem to have, like, weird spinny shit everywhere. Okay. Alright, what do we have here? A key! I can't. I don't know why, but I can't take <laughs> anything from the altar. Is there like an any? There's not even like an. They didn't even make an effort of like having like a force field around it or something. It's like I just can't take it. My hands can't handle it. All right. I guess we're gonna go in here. All right. It says, by the way, our wonderful walkthrough says this part is the most important information in the game to finishing at the game. So make sure you take a note of this. Okay. I don't really know what it's talking about, but we'll find out. Okay. Okay. We're going to be in four rooms, and each of them has a symbol inscribed somewhere, and a window that you can take a close look at the symbol. This is a code to take note of. Okay. There should be a symbol with a cross here with wavy lines. See this? So that is the first clue. So you can take a picture of that, I guess. We're going to have to take four pictures though, okay. And this is fire. So save it as fire, so we know, okay. Okay. All right, let's look around a bit more. I actually need to do this. The There's fuck? a megalith outside in front of the window. It's just a big rock, dude. I think you're exaggerating. God, can we get round here at all? Yes, I want to get around the back of it because there's like a different lock on the other side of it. At least I think there is. Nope, he's going to... Aha! Aha ha 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 ha! <laughs> I don't know what this means. <laughs> do we have the amulet of transformation? We do. Oh, look, it matches it. There you go. Boom. There's like French music playing again, by Wait, the way, at so the moment. Do I need that screenshot? Yeah. Okay. I love how you kept your cursor over the I, thing. <laughs> I did? Yes, you did. <laughs> I didn't notice. I mean, I can kind of see it. <laughs> All right, we have a fire. Genius. I'm glad that we invented this. And we need this torch. Where the fuck is the torch? Here it is. Oh, hang on. Do I have to look at it again first? I think I do. Yeah. I can't see any connection there. I don't want that. Do I have to open you up again? It's such a weird engine, this, by the way. Like, really odd. Like, you know, with, like, these weird, like, CG transitions in the middle and stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay, there's really creepy music playing now, and I don't know why. To make you feel like, oh my god, what's happening? Alright, we're gonna go through all the rooms now. There's four rooms here, one for each element, I guess. And we're gonna have to learn each symbol. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, so Long here's our next symbol, which is these three lines, and that's gonna be Earth. Okay. okay? 
Don't ask me why three lines is Earth. I guess it's meant to be like layers of soil or some shit. I wouldn't think too hard about it. Ah! Okay. There's a megalith outside in front of the window. Oh, there's wind blowing here as well. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we have the earth from the previous temple, right? I guess we're going to be using each thing from the previous... That just, that just dawned on me. <laughs> okay, and now we need to boil the earth. I think. Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Like, can we do that? Yes. I don't think it'll cook that. What did we just light? Eh? <laughs> yes. Okay. I don't know. Maybe there's a gas line. All right. Well, apparently this is that puzzle solved. So let's move on to the next room in the joyous collection of uh, of everything. Of all the things. Yes. Maybe even four things. Okay. So there's this one. Okay, what's... Okay, move your cursor out of the way. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> you keep doing that. Oh, this is water. Another megalith, There's I guess? There's a megalith outside in front of the window. I love how I sassed you, and you didn't do it in time. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, do you want me to do that again? No, it's fine. I can, I can, I can kind of see around it, because it's the skinny cursor. Okay. So this seems pretty... Open and shut. <laughs> uh, I'm really glad we don't have to balance this. You know what this... these remind me of? What? Those things that you put the tea leaves in and then, like, the loose ones. Yeah, that makes sense. It's also a Pokeball. <laughs> it is also. Oh my god, Nintendo's going to sue. I think it's supposed to be like magic, like a magic disc of fire. I guess so, yeah. So the last one must be the bellows, so I'm assuming it's going to be <clears throat> air, right? Maybe. So that is air. Alright. E. Okay, Which so... Is, uh, there probably is a faster way to do this, but... Shove that in the hole. <laughs> I thought it was like wine in there, but apparently it's just air. Which is really strange. Why? <laughs> I don't know, okay? Don't ask. <laughs> oh my god. Yay! We can get the key now. We still we definitely we need to remember those That's symbols for like an end game puzzle. Okay. Where the fuck has the room gone? <laughs> I, I hate the way I have to go round in a circle to see the key that's in the middle of this room. There you go. <laughs> Ta-da! God, we're a genius, baby. And I think, I'm assuming it opens this door over here. That doesn't have a lock, by the way. We did it, baby. Yay! Whenever I like, we do something. I imagine like the Rugrats like opening credit thing playing. You know what I mean? <laughs> da 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 da. -da. <laughs> <laughs> I I think about that all the time. I think about the Rugrats a lot, by the way. Like just the just the music. It was so fucking weird. Anyway, let's have a look deeper into the temple now. Boom boom boom. Probably should drop a save actually after all that. It's been a while. I'm surprised the saves for this work. Apparently in the Steam version, the saving doesn't work. We're playing the GOG version, by the way. Oh, hang on, what's this? What's this? What's this? A slit. Okay. 
What did I pick up? A stone plate. There's a symbol on it. Okay, so I guess we need to collect one for each of the different elements. Hmm. I might have missed some, but we can always go back up if we need to. I wasn't really looking out for shit like that. There's one here. Wibbly wobblies, perfect, my favorite. And another so one. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. And then we need one more, I guess, which we don't have yet. Take your time, there's no rush, it's not like the end of the world's gonna happen in a few hours or something. I don't see one here, so I think we might have missed one. We definitely missed one. Alright. We have all these tiles, we found eight tiles in total, by the way, not four. Okay. And here's the scepter oh, we need. Work. Something is preventing me from taking the staff. Looks like... Never mind, I'm mm. not going to say what else look like. I'm going to keep YouTube happy. <laughs> what do you mean, keep YouTube happy? I'm going to keep YouTube happy, don't worry about it. Okay, so we, now we need to match things up. Okay. Which is going to be tough. Because we have to, like... Uh, so this is the megalith, okay? Mm-hmm. All right, I think we did it. I think we can go and get the staff now. Isn't that wonderful, baby? So numb. Oh my god, that puzzle sucked. <laughs> okay, we go and get this. And everything is sorted, right? No more problems. What are you doing? Melanie! Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> He's going to kill oh. me! <laughs> oh. Let her go. She hasn't got anything to do with this. Oh. She's fine. I came here on my own. She's fine. She's fine. You have something that belongs to me. Give it to me. Now! Brent, do what he says. He's serious. You heard what she said. She's absolutely right. Brent, please. No. When he has the staff, he'll kill us both. Listen, Sir Stan. I'll give you the staff on one condition. You must swear that nothing will happen to either Melanie or me afterwards. What? That is your condition? Swear on your honor. It doesn't mean anything to me whether you sad creatures live or die. If you really want to hear it, I swear it. On your honor. On my honor. Okay, now let Melanie go. Give me the staff. I'll put it down here as soon as you let her go. Come here, Melanie. Why do we do this? Now our fates will be sealed. The <laughs> ritual may begin. But first, I will take care of you two. Why did we trust the evil druid? You miserable fools. <laughs> oh. He's sending us back in time. He actually kept his word. Fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> so now we, we changed nothing in the past and we need to go and rush to stop the other ritual taking place right now. So that was worth absolutely fucking nothing at all, by the way. That was just a complete waste of our fucking time. Oh, I'm glad it put us back across the brig so we don't have to get back again. Yeah. Oh my god, this game. <laughs> Brent? Yes. I mean, he did say he looked into the future and the past. So, I mean, it was about to... This... Bridges are ruined. We must be back in our own time. My god, the ritual! We must get to Stonehenge immediately! Sinclair is going to complete the ritual. Come on, Melanie, we've got to try to stop him.
So Thurston made a promise, okay, that if either of us dies, is hurt, right, the ritual won't be completed. Mm -hmm. That was the deal we made just then, okay? And we gave him the thing, okay? So uh, is, is there talking in this cutscene? No. They're just standing around like Muppets. Okay. So the deal is, if one of us is hurt, the ritual won't work anymore. That's part of the ritual that he cast. Do you see the plan here? Sinclair! Oh my god, the running. Mr. Halligan, have you come to witness our finest hour? Very well, my friend. You are most welcome to come and watch. Damn it! Well, we can't get close. The time has come. Let us begin. Alright, so uh, the ritual gets broken, by the way, if one of us gets hurt, okay? Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is grab these broken scissors and stab Melanie to death. We're seriously going to kill her? Yeah. But that won't let me. Hmm. Do you have to talk to her about it first? Maybe. I can't do anything at the moment. I'm going to drop a save here. Hmm. Resume game. Sorry, I was zoning out. No, it's okay. I say talk to her first. Oh, hang on. We need the shears, not the scissors. That's why. She'll be fine, don't worry. I've got a plan. Ah! <laughs> Brent! So we couldn't have done that to ourselves? Well, he could have done not. it to himself, yeah. He's <laughs> just a dickhead. Sestan! The vow is broken! The vow is broken! Get fucked! He didn't even, like, warn her or anything. He just stabbed her. It's alright, we got a plan. It doesn't matter! Everyone is not saying a word, by the way. It's just silent. No! 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 Oh, he's possessed by Thurston. We won. Melanie's dead, but you know, we won. Right? That's a net win. Melanie. Have... Have they gone now? Yes. Yes, they've gone. The last Everything thing you see okay. before you die is this Muppet face. Brent. Brent, am I going to die? Nonsense. You're going to be just fine. Just lie completely still. I'll go and get help. Don't leave me, Brent. It's cold here. I'm so cold. Melanie! Who'd have thought stabbing someone would kill them? Alright, final thing we need to do to get the good ending, baby. Right? Use the mistletoe. I call mess! Oh, Bullshit. Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end. Ending cutscene right now. If she still ends up fucking him, I'm going to be upset. If they kiss, I'm going to be so mad. What did you do? I just practiced a bit of magic, that's all. Brent. Oh no! Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> what the hell is the? Oh, for fuck's sake.
Listen, I don't care if you just saved the world. You just fucking stabbed me, and you didn't even give me a heads up. You just fucking stabbed me. <laughs> you could have at least said, like, don't worry, it's fine. You'll be okay, and then stab me. Nothing! I mean, I can't hear, so I don't know if he did, but I'm pretty sure he did. He didn't say anything. I'm pretty sure he just he stabbed just, he her. He just stabbed her, <laughs> and then said, I'll get help, and then put mistletoe on her. That's it. So anyway, um... I'm so fucking mad. What are your thoughts she on this? She should have punched him in the face! <laughs> At the very least, if you were gonna have a kiss scene, punch him in the face, and then you can kiss him. What do you think the mystery of the Druids is? It was terrible. <laughs> it it is... doesn't matter that I don't have the context of any single fucking cutscene that happened. I don't care. It was terrible. It was trash. And any redeeming qualities any of this game could have had was ruined by that fucking cutscene of, yeah, I'm still going to make out with you after you fucking stabbed me. Listen, I'm sure you developers worked very hard on this game. It's quite a long game, an evolved game, I will say that. And it it, is it's very old, and at least it's functional, which is a lot more than I can say for some of the other crap we've played. But this was hot garbage. <laughs> it, it's just, it's a very particular kind of like 90s jank <laughs> that I, I, I don't really like. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I, I didn't enjoy this very much. Like, there were some very funny moments, don't get me wrong, with just how bizarre everything is, mm -hmm. and how weird everything is, and just how the characters look and everything. But generally speaking, I thought this was a pretty terrible game. Um, like, it's just... It's just... The puzzles are ter- Oh, God, the pu I can't imagine playing this with that guy. I go insane. Like, the puzzles are so cryptic and bizarre for the most part. And it's just, like... It's very specific sometimes in what you have to do, too. Mm -hmm. Which is very frustrating. Um, it's just, it's just a relic of a time gone by, really, more than anything else. Yeah, I like, guess so. It's like a relic of the really old cryptic adventure games. Mm -hmm. um, is there an end credit scene or not? Let's see. I'm guessing no. Nope. Nope. Well, that's it. We're back in the room again. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching The Mystery of the Druids. Uh, the next long play is going to be White Day. Thank you to our patrons for nominating that. If you want to get in on the nominations and the voting on which game we play, and, consider... And, you know, uh, helping us support uh, yes, this channel. Exactly. Please head over to our Patreon and pledge. Every little bit helps, and you can get really involved in the community and our long plays and all that kind of stuff. There's really cool stuff there, including exclusive playthroughs as well that show up on there from time to time. Exclusive vlogs and other pretty non content that you should check out yes um i think that's pretty much everything though no I'm kidding. yeah if you want to watch us on twitch we do that uh, we stream on twitch twitch.tv you should <laughs> what nothing don't worry about it um and uh if you want to see minx be an old hipster lady follow her on twitter yep and if you want to commission crescent for some art there's a commissioning link uh, for her coffee in the description Okay, thank you. Go watch. What's what's another game they can watch? You should One watch. That's a, better you should watch this. another amazing game, Escape from Bug Island, which was oh involved, god, like, I said plays. better. <laughs> <laughs> There's a link for that in the description. Go check it out, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye. Bye.